Don't worry. Jim, That's fine. Ask the question done. again in like 15 minutes. Whenever <laughs> this okay, we have to table. The Commerce Casino and Hotel. Experience the thrill of the world's largest poker room, Macau Style Baccarat and Cal Blackjack, all right here in the heart of Los Angeles. At the Commerce, you can count on more action and more tables than anywhere else in L.A. Not to mention our players won over $20 million last year alone. So come play your game, find your local getaway, and most importantly, win big at the Commerce. More money, more tables, more action. That's why you choose the Commerce Casino and Hotel. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Bally Live, live at the Commerce. We got an action-packed game for you guys this Wednesday afternoon. Hope you guys are all doing well. Okay. Uh, action's already underway, but this is Jared Greiner oh, here in the shit. booth. I'm going to be with you guys all day, and I'm joined today as well by Mr. Paul Heiser. What's up, Paul? <laughs> What's up, Jared? How you doing? Yeah, I should go all Doing well. Paul is a WSOP bracelet winner. This man shipped the Colossus, 12,000-person field. How much did you win in that one? Oh, yeah. Uh, I feel like that's the most painful way to lose. 415,000. Very lucky. From 400 bucks, 1,000 extra money. It's pretty sick. Oh, that's a bit of yeah, yeah. They, call so, me the, uh, they call me the luckiest man in Vegas, Garrett. Well, yeah, that seems appropriate. So here we got in the, the lineup today, we got Olvin, we got Hoppa, a.k.a. Peter Cross, Considering Professor Turbo, <laughs> Alan Allen, Dr. H, the accountant, Armenian Mike. Man, this, these are all action players, so I expect uh, some fireworks today. Dr. H is my homie. Him and I go back, and I'm always happy to watch him play. You know any of uh, these guys in here uh, t playing today, Paul? Peter, only Peter. Peter's the only guy that I, I know. I'm looking forward to, to, to seeing some, some fun action today. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm actually playing myself tomorrow, and I don't know if any of these guys are going to be back on the stream, but, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the action and, and, and seeing what I can, and I can learn about stream poker. All right. Well, I do know one player for sure who's playing today, and that is Miss Kitty Kuo, who has been uh, on hiatus from live poker. She had a baby, so congrats to her. But uh, Kitty and I go back from uh, the old live stream days and uh, love to see her play. Uh, she should be taking her seat any second now. I saw her over in there, so... Uh, yeah, we got a good game, and like you said, you know Peter, Peter Cross. Uh, if you play tournaments or cash games here in L.A., you definitely have played with this guy before. Just an absolute crusher. Mm -hmm. um, looks like a pretty nice lineup for him, too. I like, uh, I like his odds today. So it looks like uh, right off the bat we have Allen Allen with pocket tens. You can play prop games. Blind versus blind versus turbo. Yeah. Decent flop here for turbo. Yeah. Flop in the open ender. Is, is, um, Not really the flop you want to see with uh, with two tens necessarily. The button or three hundred. Yeah, yeah. That thing builds. Yeah. I ripped it in a small blind with Ace Five suited for thirty k. That's good hand though to be fair. Yeah. And uh, what ended up the worst part was flop came Ace Five, but the guy on my left, the big blind, had pocket. He had aces. Oh, he's hard, that's hard to beat, so, yeah. so pre-flop, so pre he calls me, and then he's like, I have aces. I'm like, fuck, and the guy on my right had tens. 100K pot. Wow. Uh, but uh, this was in uh, the No Gamble, No Future stream. Okay. And uh, the only problem, I'm like, well, it would have gone in all in on the flop anyway when I saw the... Uh, Turbo gets the bluff through. Really? Jack on the river, so missed the draw, but you got the ace. pretty good hand to, to get pocket tens out of there. So Turbo wins a nice one. Real big. I mean, I what do you think of Turbo's chain? You like it? Oh yeah, <laughs> Turbo's always got uh, got big time swag. Bling, big bling. Yeah. Forty eight hundred. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, there was already ten k in the pot besides that. So for me to rip thirty, it wasn't. Jared, did you watch Peter on the um, on the bigger game a couple I did. days ago? Yeah, it was a pretty sick game. It was a really really sick game. Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> tough, tough opposition. Yeah, tough kudos opposition. to Peter for hopping in the streets there. He had two massive all ins. Ace king suited against kings and ace king suited against queens, and he lost both. Yes. He would have won one of those. He would have booked a win. But really? you know, it's okay. We'll give you the. It's okay. We'll give you the edge. Okay. Move on to the next day. Professional I courtesy. seriously don't understand, like uh, the shadow. Is that beneficial for yourself? No, it's no, definitely it's not. Beneficial for, for you. It's for the house. For, for everybody for the house. else. It's for sure. Yeah. It's a negative EV for the guys traveling. Mm -hmm. It's dead money. Oh. Yeah. You'll play blackjack. Okay. But I do it every time I get a chance to. You coming, Brock? Turbo would do uh, dead money things every time. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, 
the straddle, if it's not going permanently, you know, you got some players that don't want to straddle, then yeah, it is kind of, you are sacrificing a little bit to straddle yourself, but I think that's kind of something that if you want the game to be bigger you, and you want to encourage people to do it, you just got to, you know, hop in there and, and put out the, the straddle. He's never here, guys. He's, he's in Taiwan thinking. It's a smart thing to do, unless you're the only one doing it. But, you know, I think, like, Armenian Mike doesn't like straddling, so, like, last time he was in, we just got everybody to straddle besides him, you know, and that's fine. But it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. If the game's a little too big for you, I could get, you know, not wanting to. Do you think we'll get the straddle on the later the, the game goes? I believe so, yeah. It usually always is. Nice. So Dr. H in the hijack here with Queen Jack off suit. <laughs> Allen going to call on the button with pocket sevens. And now the accountant, who he's a, a old school guy too. He used to play. Wow, he folded the big blind there with King Jack. Pretty shocking. Unless there was a three bet that I missed. I was there, yeah. I don't think so, though. No, single race spot this one. So heads up to the flop. King 4-4, four, four, so pocket sevens in the lead. Dr. H probably going to see bet. Maybe more shaking, shaking, shaking. Oh. So you start praying to whoever uh, got it. Honestly, in Taipei, it wasn't. It makes it 225. It's probably like a five. Yeah. So Pocket not seven's like, not going anywhere. Too hard, yeah, yeah. It is hey. Do you know much about All In Allen? How did nothing. he get the nickname, Jared? Don't know, but uh, that's. Yeah. I'm looking forward to finding out. Yes. So. <laughs> that's a promising nickname if you want action. Big, big deal. Big steps. So Ace of Diamonds on the turn. Pretty good card for Dr. H to continue betting on. He does have a diamond as well. Pretty brutal card for pocket sevens. Exactly, no no choice, right? It should be Q. 100. Sounds like Kitty's taking her seat right now. You know how he does the poker streaming. So yeah, Dr. H recognizing that this is a really strong turn card for his range and for his actual hand. One, one, two. But and then that's 975. With him, and I'm like, wait, pretty big bet. It's like a pot bet. Almost pot size bet. Yeah. Now pocket sevens here. Because we kind of like can't really love it because there really isn't any any good rivers for you unless you just river a seven. Yes. Okay. He's not a believer. Wow. He's made the call. Yeah, and I could see that, you know, that this, if you understand that this is a, a good card for Dr. H just to bet anything on, but the problem is, what are you going to do on the river? Pretty safe river. Yeah, Mike? Okay. See if Dr. H has one more barrel in him. Yeah, two bottles. Yeah. Yeah, just let one breathe. Yeah, you have a uh, decant? Yeah, perfect. Oh, you do one, I do one, okay? Yeah, first one. Yeah, 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 let the other one breathe. Check. We're going to drink two. Yeah, this is really nice. Like, to play anywhere like this. Those check checks. So, what do you think about that give up there from Dr. H? Or was it Um, I think uh, once uh, huh? once Allen Allen calls the turn, I think uh, okay. Dr. H just thinks his range is too strong and it's just not going to get many folds. So. Allowed, apparently. I agree with you there. It's it's really tough because you don't really expect a hand like pocket sevens, pocket sixes to call turn. Exactly. Yeah. So once they have called the turn, Are you, coming in? you know that should be setting off some alarm bells. It'd be pretty ambitious bluff. Yeah, it just looks like some stubborn king X, some some ace high floats, some flushes. So. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, here's Kitty. Kitty's here. All right, Kitty Kuo, welcome to the game, Kitty. Welcome. Long time no see. Happy to have you here at the Commerce, making your debut. Is that debut? So first time on? Yes, she's been, uh, she's been out of the country. Like She just had a new baby just a couple weeks ago. So, yeah, congrats. I actually saw Kitty in, uh, in Vegas. She was shopping in Hermes. Very high-end brand. Yes, Kitty does love the shopping, so I'm not shocked by that. No, okay, no, no. Straddle, straddle, straddle. No blind race, no blind race. Yeah, it's considered as a blind race. Oh, okay. That's no, why no, no, no blind race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the way we would do it. Well, is you can do. We can do it. But and then, then somebody min race. Make sure we're, we're you come in race. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you oh, come okay. in, yeah. That way it gives you the option to. Yeah. 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 Okay. Just call. I was thinking about. It. <laughs> you would never think about folding, right? <laughs> no. uh, Peter's raised it up with Ace King off. Definitely called by Dr. H. I was yeah, premium about. hand for Dr. H. This time the accountant is going to come along with the Ace 5 off. And yeah, Olven comes along as well. Everybody I look, believe Olven. Uh, be very, very strong with their. Uh, actually, I, I don't know if I played with him before either. So we got some new faces. I know some people <laughs> flew in for this game. Nice to have. Uh, <laughs> Some changes of scenery here, so nice up here for, for Peter, though. He does flop top pair, top kicker. Uh, what do I owe you? Kind of looks like nobody else has anything. Uh, should just go back and fold, fold, fold. 
next time. Tell you put yeah, and Peter with a nice two hundred dollar bat, yeah. like twenty percent pot. Every day, almost. You know, multi weight pots like this, uh, small bet size, and he's usually good on a board like this. Wow, Whoa, the accountant's got some bad thoughts here. <laughs> he's come to play, clearly. Yes, he has, right. and I'm not surprised by that. He makes it seven hundred. Peter quickly calls. Welcome back to poker. I know you missed it. I never that. I just found mine. I know. Wow. Oh, and now top two for Peter. Yeah, you think he's going to lose a lot of money now on the ace, right? Yeah, I think the accountant, now that he uh, decided to go with the bluff and uh, gets there, oh, he ships. Yeah. Wow. wow. Peter snaps it off. Then I'm, then I'm dead. Yeah, accountant drawing dead here. Pretty sick spot for Peter right off the bat. He's going to stack the accountant. Ten thousand dollar pot. Uh, I'll counter. I'll, I'll get yeah, no your chips. Uh, two, two and a half. I guess it depends which. Uh, if, if we do get the straddle on today, what do you think the biggest pot's going to be today, Jared? We have a big family. Good question. In these games, you know, my my guess is like. 40k. The best 40? Yeah. Wow. I mean, I'm yet to see one of the games uh, on a Wednesday, but uh, I'd imagine there's going to be a lot of action, right? Oh, yeah. There's, you know, I don't think this game is going to be massive compared to other ones, but it's going to be super action, which is kind of preferable sometimes in these really huge games. I know some people have like three. People play a little more straightforwardly. Wow, that's right. But as you can see in a game like this, you know, the accountants, he came to battle. And it's kind of tricky there after he hits the ace on the turn. He shouldn't be up against too many ASEX hands. I mean, it makes, it makes for a good game, right? When, when somebody loses uh, loses their stack straight away within the first 30 minutes. Yep. I mean, it's probably going to be a lot of action, a lot of dynamic now between Peter and Accountant. It should be three betting and a lot of hands now. Agreed. Because you're ice. Not because you're English. But yeah, last Wednesday, for example, the game was 25.50, and then we put the 100 on automatically, and then most of the time it was 200. Where were you in the earthquake? Wow. So it can be a, a wide range of, uh, of outcomes here in these games, depending on the player dynamic. You know, people get stuck right away, like you said. Yeah. It's, only, it's crazy how... Uh, I just caught Armenian Mike changing his hat. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see that. Switched yeah, it up. He's got his he's got his second hat next to him. He's just changed to, to a new hat. I see. He's going for the uh, America hat. I like it. Yeah. Or her family. Yeah. Color code as well. You have very many. My my girlfriend. New uh, Taipei where? Fanchao. Uh, new Taipei. Um, new Taipei is big. I don't know where in New Taipei, okay. but somewhere in New Taipei, yeah. We want. All right. Yeah. So Turbo with the king queen off. Crazy. Peter defends. Uh, Ace nine from the big. Flops a pair. Gut shot now for Turbo. Your doctor is your daughter still living in Vegas? Yeah. Working there. Oh. Turbo butts 300 on this flop, and Peter makes the call. Pretty bricky turn here. You, you got a boy or a girl? Boy. Boy. Let's check, check. Wow. And there it is for Turbo. Thank you. Probably a good check on the turn. He has a gutter. He has two overs. Oh, yeah. I kind of want to see a river. 800? Yeah. So, yeah. I can see Peter calling here sometimes. I think he would expect uh, Turbo to bet King Queen, King Jack on the turn. Yeah. As like a second barrel. Oh, no. Discipline yeah, just fold, Peter's played a lot of hands with Turbo, I think, because Turbo's a tournament player. Yeah, okay. Um, nice. He's in the tournament streets a lot, and so nice. is Peter. Oh, you played with Turbo in the tournaments before? Many, many, many times, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah Young Wawa. He's a good player. You know, he's, he's got a really good feel for uh, where people are at. And... He's my kind of player. I like a feel player. I don't yeah, like that's kind of his style. GTO wizard, you know? Me too. Is it good? I like the feel players. I like the creative players. Exactly. Players. Way more fun. Mm -hmm. yeah, Poker's more fun to play that way, too, honestly. So that's why I like, you know, playing some fields like the Colossus. That's kind of how you have to play to win those, to be honest. Yeah, I agree. And I think I think with regards to cash game poker, a lot of the time you just see small blind, big blind. But here with the ante, just introduces a lot more action, uh, influences, sorry, a lot more action. And uh, uh, the, the range is going to be a lot wider. Um, a game I played actually here a, a couple of weeks ago, there was so much re-raising from the, from the big blind. So, yeah, um, yeah, I think this could be the future of poker. Who knows? I hope it is. Definitely makes the game better every time. Definitely, so, yeah. all right, we got a big hand situation here. Dr. H with ace king offsuit and Kitty has jacks on the button. So Kitty with a pretty big size in here. Dr. H made a 250. Accountant called in the cutoff. Interesting that he folded the king jack before and now he's uh, flat at the, the 340. You also like that. 
and Dr. H with the four bet. These guys are probably going to get it in. Wow. Maybe not. I don't know how many hands Kitty's played with Dr. H. Mom's house was no English allowed. All right, that's pretty good. <laughs> I get in trouble for speaking English. Yeah, in yeah, that's, that's pretty good. The Japanese has a Japanese. How long we had? Pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it is a 4x4 four bet. It's a big 4 bet. It is. And Dr. H, you know, he's an action player, but if he's 4 betting, he has the goods. American white. Are you going to show me? You look different. Kitty considering folding. I think she knows that. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Me, and, me and Kitty's son, similar. You know. oh, okay. Maybe she thinks she's crushed or she's flipping. Yes. And I don't blame her for thinking that. I, I really wouldn't be uh, too shocked if she lays this down. Yeah. Meow, meow, meow. Outside table, I can't answer any of your questions. How about we, I call 48 and then we on the river? Nope. Uh, <laughs> Good job, Dr. H. Don't let him do that to you. Kitty trying to negotiate. No. Like. I, my teacher already taught me everything. Ah, everything. Yeah, you know all the answers already, <laughs> huh? Already. Uh, I cannot call, I can only show her. Show her 10, Dr. Wow. Show her 10, Show her one card. Show her 10. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm, not so, I'm not going to show. <laughs> it's cool. oh. There you go, Dr. H. You didn't play the show. Yeah, I know how I felt when I first uh, played the stream. I was like, for the first 30 minutes, I just want to settle in nicely, play a few small parts. Uh huh. And then she's on the receiving end of a big four bet like that, straight up, straight off. Sure, the bat, you know. did. I okay, maybe in the big game. I, I recall like the very first orbit, I opened under the gun and you three bet with some deuce four suited or some shit. So that's your that's your idea of uh, easing into it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. You gotta give him credit. Four deuce suited was one of the better hands I think I four bet during that game. Yeah, you were de you definitely went off. You had a sick game too. What, you won like 30k, right? 33, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was very lucky. I was very lucky. That's fun, though. Just when it mattered, I had the nuts, you know? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Yeah, that's what L did the other day on Wednesday. I know you got him in a couple big ones when we played, and then he uh, did, did the same thing. He uh, played a ton of hands, and I think... Come uh, on, Rodrigo. One player won like 5k in the game. He won 60, and everyone else lost. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. <laughs> L bluffed me good. He bluffed me for 10,000 bucks on the river. L, if you're listening, I'm coming for you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. I was in the, tomorrow's going to be a sick game, man. I hope you're ready. Tomorrow's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of action. Yeah. I like this dynamic between me and L now, you know? I love playing with L. Oh, wow. Look at this flop. Wow. Yeah. Turbo top and bottom. Armenian Mike top pair with the nut flush draw. It's a city, but a lot of trees every day. Now, Armenian Mike has sort of a passive playing style, so Thank you. I don't know if he's going to raise this. Uh, well, actually, it's him betting. Thank you, Turbo coming in with the race. Uh -huh. And Armenian Mike is only playing 5K. Mm -hmm. So, let's see how he wants to proceed. Are you still hanging out with Justin? Yeah, I hung out with him uh, two days ago. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, he always like it. Yeah, so, you play with Kitty? Yeah, I think call is good. What do you think, Jared? Nice. Do I think what now? Call. Do you think call is good or, or, or race? Yeah, I think facing a race here, just calling is fine. Honestly, with his stack size, I think I probably would have just stuck it in there. Name a day. Oh, okay. I don't like I'm not, I'm not But I don't think calling can be a, a bad play either. I don't like Asia, so. But then now, with, with the, the, your stack, you know, what are you going to do here on this turn when Turbo blasts at it? <laughs> Hey, I am recording, okay? So don't worry. <laughs> the reason I don't like Asia because... No, you don't need to say... Throw some of the Asian <laughs> No, because I want to miss baby. So it's cuter. Oh. I'm joking. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, no, always, no, always work. <laughs> All right, Mike calls the turn. Big river coming up. Yeah, and you can see here with four and a half thousand in the pot. Wow. And wow. Jeez. It's a chop. It's a chop. It is going to be a chop. And that's a horrible card for Turbo. Mm. He probably expects Armenian Mike to have a better ace than him. Okay, may I look old now. Yeah. But now, you know. Mike's got 2.7k, so this is a very tricky situation, and I'm not sure you know, what the play is now. What's the problem with two pairs like this? They're just so easily counterfeited. Very vulnerable. Did I date Lynn before? Yeah. No. Looks like it's going to check, check. Never. Never. Oh, wow. Turbo went all in. He went all in, okay. Yeah, which I think at the end of the day, like... No, I've never dated Lynn. I, I I don't know. Are you going to check call? Because I mean, Mike could also have a queen. So it's just sort of a spot where. I, what do you think the best play is? There? I mean, yeah, I mean. Um, I like his. Well, if you're in turbo shoes, what's yeah, the best yeah. play? Uh, 
alone. He's got there's like there's like 4.5k in the pot. Mike has 2.7k. Can you get called by worse if you jam? Uh, probably not. No, I'll probably check in and get in the Armenian Mike to, to bluff some I don't know jacks and a diamond. Some miss yeah. Like that, yeah. Exactly. You said Armenian Mike's more on the passive side, right? Is he, he more is. likely to is he likely to bluff if, if check two? I don't know. See, that's the tricky part. Is I, I I guess like if he f shows up with jack and a diamonds, he, he's not just gonna oh. check. Most players realize like okay, I have jack eye, I got to oh, yeah. do something. Yeah, that's a tough spot on the river for uh, for Turbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we're definitely having a good game today. Look at oh. everybody with the wine. Wow. Yeah, the whole table, besides Armenian Mike. Me and the good doctor. The oh, Armenian and, uh, Mike doesn't drink, Jared? Yeah, probably. I think he doesn't. Smart man. As you get up in years, drinking's not the best thing for you. I mean, it's not the best thing for you, period. But mm, Letting everyone else get drunk and uh, taking all the money, yes, good, good, good strategy. It won't be as fun, right? We get to play poker and, and have fun. Once the cream come, I knew I was in trouble. That's why I, 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 and Armenian Mike does love a limp. Hoping you call Last time, most of the hands he played, he came in with an open limp. Let me see a picture of your baby. Yeah. I, I guess we both didn't like it, huh? Yeah, I love to see. Also. Uh, what's his name? Antony. And now Turbo, Turbo in the straddle here, or the big blind, the ace jack off suit. Yeah, it's Italian. His, his father is Italian. Italian no. Yeah, so Italian traditional. Makes it 350, and now all in Allen. Let me know my baby rule like with the real hand, ace king and diamonds. Um, yeah. Sometimes it's hard. It's only a couple months, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so uh, how, how old is your baby? Yeah. I used to not look like my dad, but now I look a lot like my weeks. dad. Yeah. Wow, but really? Oh, wow, you're 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 in it. Wow, Kitty's baby's only seven weeks old. Yeah. She's back out. She's grinding. dying. I mean, the day after her baby was born, she was tweeting about how much she wanted to play poker. So she loves it, man. Mm -hmm. She loves it more than almost anyone I know. Part of life. Yeah. Good work, I think. I like it. Yeah, gotta love the, the dedication, the love of the game. Yeah, cute. She said she was playing online this whole time anyways. Yeah, he does. I, think so. I don't know, I don't, I, those are pink chips, right? So, wow, Turbo's four betting here. Here's the baby pictures, yeah? That is a interesting play here. So he three, he, he raised, he ISO'd from the blind. Alan came in with the th cold uh, three bet there, and now... Wait, give me a second. Yeah. Turbo four betting out of position. Yeah, Alan's just gonna make the call. This could be that 40k pot you were talking could about. Could be with stacks this deep. Do you, I think I like a call versus You're the, the four bet. Dragon, right? Yeah. Golden dragon. Disappointing flop. Yeah, I'll see how Turbo wants to proceed. <laughs> yeah, we want to see blood, don't we, Jared? Yeah, it's good you. Always, unless I'm in the hand <laughs> and I have the losing hand, then I always want to see blood. Yeah. It's the only scenario when I don't. Uh huh. Oh, man. Forty-two thousand. Two thousand. Forty-five to forty-five so I can't tell if Turbo bet 2,500 or 45. 45, so. You take a 1,200 for me. It's like a half pot bet, and this is a pretty freaking bad flop for Ace King of Diamonds. Don't worry, you got all of it. Yeah, you got it. And wow, the aggression pays off there from Turbo. Fair? Fair, right? I'm a fair guy, Kitty, you know that. Just on me winning the classes, Jared. The, uh, did, you, did you ever hear the story about how how, uh, how I came to even play the tournament? No, tell me what happened. Okay, so this this was my planned day off on my on my WSOP schedule. I wasn't planning on playing the, the Colossus. Gotcha. Um, I've actually came in to, 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 to see a friend uh, who was um, who was playing that day. I didn't know the Colossus was on on that specific day. Right. I believe it's day one B. Um, and I, I said to I remember saying to one of my friends, I was like, "What's that line that's like sneaking out of the of the room?" You know. Yes. Um, and and that was the uh, the line for the Colossus. Right. I went and saw my friend who was in the field. I didn't know he was obviously playing that tournament. Gotcha. And um, you know, I was like, oh, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna, gonna line up for a, for a tournament like this because right. it's such a small buy. Three hundred fifty dollar buy. Yeah. Something. And I've been hearing that the line can take sort of three, four hours yes. in some of the previous smaller events. Yeah, I skipped and, that uh, one. Yeah. Just on the way out, I've seen a friend of mine. So big shout out to uh, Mark LeBlanc, who was uh, oh, nice. in line. You, do you know Mark LeBlanc? I do know him. Yeah. Yes. yeah he's been he's been around for a while. And um, he was about twenty people from the front. And uh, I just got challenged to him okay. and uh, I said uh, you don't mind if I if I join in for you oh no yeah. so you squeezed in the line I with him I squeezed and in. then you shipped I squeezed in oh my yeah. god I squeezed in. man yeah I, I, I was in my wow. seat playing day 1b within about 10 minutes you skipped dirty. the whole line oh, yeah. man. and um, yeah, it was just it was you just... know what Matt Salzberg says poker rewards scum that's his uh, that's exactly. his saying so if you skip the line yeah. you're probably gonna win exactly that's why <laughs> that's why he's called commerce scum exactly wow that's sick man that's an yeah. awesome story yeah, I actually remember my friend messaging me on um, 
on the uh, on day one, he said to me, uh, he said to me, well, you know, why, why are we playing this tournament? There's 13 and a half thousand runners, and I, I, rem I remember replying to him saying that uh, uh, to leave me alone because I've got a bracelet to win. You know? <laughs> and uh, four days later, there I was on the final well, that's table. That's so amazing. And, yeah. The just, times that I've gone deep and won stuff like that, it, it's felt like that too, where it just feels yeah. like destiny. Yeah. You just know just, I mean? just, just a like, shout. Just yeah, shout out to anyone that likes to play tournaments. If uh, if you're at the WSOP and um, you're feeling a little down, just uh, always, always, always uh, get back in the mix because uh, and keep positive because you never know what can happen. Dreams do come true, that's for sure. Nice man, great story, and I totally agree with that. The times when I felt like I'm just getting my ass kicked over and over, and mm -hmm. I, I muster up the fortitude to go and play again, it usually ends well. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just you just got to keep mm -hmm. keep lasting. Yeah, the highs and lows of poker are polar opposites. And, yes, uh, yeah, you got to stay humble when you're when you're on top, and you got to stay uh, you got to stay positive when you're feeling down. That's, uh, that's it. Agreed. Yeah, that's exactly it. Very anyway. good advice there. Yeah, anyway, back to the action. Yeah, so it looks like Olven here opened to 250. Armenian Mike called in the... the oh, no, he didn't call. Small blind, three bet. <laughs> Makes it 1K to go. I like Alan Starr. He's very aggressive, right? Yeah, and from the blinds, I think pocket eights is a nice hand to three bet here. We don't really want to play this hand uh, out of position necessarily as a call. Um, plays well as a three bet. And then Olven here. All right, Kitty, me and you, whoever... King, queen off. Two more hundred. If you, if you pay... Decent hand to continue with, but folding's fine, too. Okay, we gamble for fun. So, okay. so whoever loses, pay the time, have to pay two more hundred. Yeah, but if we both yeah. now... No, yeah, we don't pay. Yeah, yeah. Three! Oh, almost. <laughs> Looks like the wine's kicking in already. Yeah, I expect a, a talkative table here, and as usual, if the mm. table talk is flowing, I will let you guys enjoy that because they're definitely more entertaining than us. No, no, oh, this guy, this I had a great time the other day. I was drinking with uh, Harry. Yeah. Yes. Shout out to Harry. I had a few uh, few wines with him and some Macallan, um, and uh, yeah, I was I was very drunk actually during the stream. Yeah, I noticed that actually. <laughs> I had a couple sips of the Macallan too. That stuff's strong. Mm. But uh, Harry, uh, Harry was very nice to you in multiple ways that game. He was. He was. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad. I like Harry a lot. I like Harry a lot. He's a, I great, love he's Harry. a great character. Yeah, great character. same. Come here. Him and I go way back. But uh, Harry, if you're listening, uh, my car still needs uh, some repair. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get greedy. <laughs> I'm happy yeah, to pay and, Harry. I'm and happy the crazy to pay. thing about that hand is Paul would have stacked me on the hand if if, uh, if Harry hadn't played it the way he did. Harry flopped like a gut shot straight draw, and I just had top pair. Harry check raised, so I folded, and I would have turned top two pair. And meanwhile, Paul was sitting over there with the nuts. <laughs> but it got me good, so. Mm. You were winning a lot on that hand, no matter how the action went. Yeah. You can thank Harry next time you see him. Yeah, I haven't seen him since then, but I've, uh, I owe him a thank you card for sure. Do you know the lineup for tomorrow? Do you know who's playing? I don't. I know Kitty's in the game, you're in the game, L, and yeah. then a couple other big action players. So I, I expect it to be a much bigger game uh, stack-wise than today. Um, but probably just as entertaining. Nick, we are nice. about drinking. <laughs> Who's here comes here? Nick, I believe, is about to sit down. Happy hour. Water's yeah. warm. Come Regular here on the show. On okay. empty stomach, too, so you guys yeah. get extra, oh, extra, extra no, you got We're nine-handed now? I'm not sure if it's nine or eight. Yeah, oh, oh, right. I, had yeah. I think it's eight. You know, I had... Hot pot. Yeah, hot pot. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like the accountant rebought for... No, no, no. Four or five thousand? I believe so, yeah. I think he put 5K more on. Oh, I recognize Nick. I think I've played with him before. Yeah, he was in, he was in the show uh, that day. You and I both played together. Fairly certain. Nice. But yeah, he's uh, he's in a lot of our Wednesday Thursday games. He's always out there battling. I call him Mr. Suited Connectors because he loves to play <laughs> any kind of suited hand, even if it's not too connected. Like the other day, he played the seven three suited against me, and I, he flopped trips, and I just had a backdoor flush draw, and he had the same backdoor flush draw, and it came running spades, and I flush over flush. Oh, I did see this hand. Did he manage to fold he, the river, right? Somehow, yeah. Wow, that was amazing. That was yeah, amazing I just like fold. clicked it on the river and he folded. Oops, yeah. I actually saw the hand. He has a three too, so it's like it's hard for me to have, you know. It was a paired board, right? Houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flop came like. Three 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 six with two spades, and he had seven three spades uh, with one spade. He mm -hmm. had seven three spades, and then it came spade um, spade. I the, you guys seen the movie Stanford. Crazy Rich Asians? Yes. Yeah. I'm like, oh man, I just want to go there for the food. Like it looks like. Yeah. Uh, Singapore food is horrible. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> it's also really expensive for Asia. Uh, Kitty, I love Kitty's one-liner. She's always.
is uh, very straight to the point. She seems quite sarcastic. She is, and she's also very blunt. You know what I mean? If uh, she she speaks her mind, let's say that. I like that. That's the English way. We're very sarcastic. Yes, true, true. What food in Japan? Uh, what, sorry? what did you eat when you were in Japan? Uh, what do we have? We had shabu shabu one day. We had sushi. We had some street food. Um, we had um, they, uh, one of their. Um, some poor American restaurants, Indian, yeah, like, uh, but different next level. Next level. I don't know if they're first year, they're battered up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 super yeah. light. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Doctor, yeah. order the yeah. yeah. expert. Yeah. 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 Like some of it, they give you matcha Yeah, we have the wine. We have no problem. And they, like, the way that Japanese people approach any task, it's second to none. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, he takes one that puts it in. Specific time. You want it out? Yeah. And it just like, and then serves it to you. Yeah. No, the fruit in America is so like, what yeah. like this oily batter and like, yeah, it's very like, oil. They're trying to cater to the people who like French fries, kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah that's 500. Yeah. You, um, you make this. Have you, did you have any uh, Kobe beef? Yes. Uh, yeah, of course. Go to Kobe. Uh, yeah, we you. went, we were the in. The doctor um, taking care of the professor right here. Thanks. Uh, we're, I don't, I don't, I don't know the exact city, but they have like the whole monkeys where there's like a Arashama, Kyoto. Yeah, and then it's near right? Kyoto, and then we just Arashama went. Problem. Yeah, we went to a highly rated restaurant. So basically, tiny. Mike. Okay. It was like five Mike, tables. Everybody got else just tried to. It was on empty. Me, uh, yeah. I'm on the bike. Um, anyway, so we, we walk in. We sit down. We walk out. Thank like you. Hundred people yeah. waiting. Oh, we were like first wave. We walk out the first wave. I just whatever's here. It's like three k. Mike said you talk too much. I'm translating. No, no. <laughs> 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 no, no. Okay. Mark is too nice. Hey. Doctor is okay. Yeah, he's yeah, great. You know, I previous him yeah. a few times, you know. We, hey, we have to take care of each other as, as elderly guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. Hey, can you not mention elderly? We gotta, we gotta take care of each other. Yeah. Uh, young guys. Young, young, guys young, <laughs> young good looking guys. Yeah. Take care of each other, old elder uh, guys. Alex. Okay, take I care still, of Turbo just called Dr. H elderly. Uh, elderly guy. There you go. He was also speaking for himself. This is a pretty nice uh, board here for, for Kitty. She has eight nine of diamonds, so she's got a straight draw and a flush draw. It looks like nobody else has anything, so this bet should take it down unless the accountant wants to get sticky. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I love playing with Dr. H. has ace high. And a gutter. Let's it go. Let's see the river. Last time we was on score, I think you, at the end you got No, you got me. You remember that I got two no, pairs? No, I lost. Three? I lost so much last time. Not to me. Yeah. Me too, Dr. H. You me too. Remember your nut brush? <laughs> <laughs> he just bluffed yeah. L yeah. once big. Yeah. So I saw he bluffed this time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Turbo ran such yeah. a sick bluff last week. Bad play. They have a what did he do? He, what was the hand? He had 10 8 diamonds, mm -hmm. which was a, a gutter. <laughs> he bet flop. That turn and then check shove the river. Wow. That's why I want to play. And I'm not that bad. L had 6 4 offsuit for bottom pair. <laughs> You're not that bad either. Wow, I'll go down. Like a crazy board. And L tanked forever and called off as like a 20k all in river shove. And L called. Wow. So he, L called the flop bet with bottom pair, the turn bet with bottom pair. Yes. Turbo check shoved. Yes. And so L still called. So L bet, tur bet river with that hand wow. and then called the shove. Yeah. It was one of the sickest calls I've ever seen. Like L tanked, used all his time banks and called it off. I need to see this hand. I assume he was bluffing the river, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, turbo. Uh, yeah, I guess he was bluffing. I mean, I don't know. Like he was bluffing bottom pair, and he's been rebluffed yeah. by ten high. Yeah, I like it. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. That, if you want to see that hand, it's definitely a thumbnail on our um, on our YouTube page. So check it out. I will be. I'll be. I'll be checking it out Epic for sure. Hand. Yeah, it's definitely one of the sickest hero calls I've ever seen. You didn't even bother re-raising money. Bad. The flop. Yeah. yeah you got a real so Peter here flops yeah, trips. Yeah, real, yeah, looks like a limp pot. And Kitty's betting a hundred bucks here with a pair of sixes. Where's the name Hapa come from? Like so a Hapa is uh, half American, half Japanese. Yeah, oh wow! Okay. Yeah, that's the slang word for that. And that's what Peter is. Peter's uh, I think Peter's um, dad is American and his mom is Japanese. Oh man! Ace of spades on the turn. No player has a spade. And now Peter going to come in here with a value bet, I assume. Yeah. I can't keep it still. I already have half a glass of wine and like a quarter glass of beer. It's all down here. You just mix them together. I'm doing it in my stomach. No problem. Pretty bad run out for Kitty's hand. She just loses to so many hands here now. Who, who was it that we drank? Uh, Eric Hicks. 
Uh, Mad Genius? But yeah, Mad Genius. Him and I, we drank she like bottles go. and bottles. Okay. And, and Lynn. Mm. With Lynn, we would, when she was... Yeah, Peter. Drink. Drink. Huh? No, no. <laughs> Lynn's the best. Do you know if uh, Kitty plays much cash games or, or mostly tournaments, I believe? She, yeah, she's mostly a tournament girl, but uh, if she plays any live stream games she can get into. I know she plays online a lot. I think she, she does it all. And, you know, she's a, she's a legend. She's been playing for a long time. I was looking at she's won five different tournaments. Oh, well, yeah, I can see she's absolutely crushed tournaments over the last 10 years, right? Yeah, I think she had uh, her biggest cash. She won uh, 500K or something like that. Wow. <laughs> Eat the fucking cookie. I don't know if you guys a lot of wins in, in Asia. I got it. 557,000 Hong Kong dollars. Oh, yeah. See, you get... You, you get right. Which I don't know how much that is in American money, but... Yeah, it looks like she won the ladies' event, um, WSOP event. You know that? So she won a bracelet. Yeah, and a circuit oh, ring. Oh, circuit, circuit yeah. ring event, yeah. Wow. So she's a circuit ring winner just like me. Same thing. Hasn't quite got there in the bracelet events. We're not all as lucky as Paul. <laughs> Or as lucky as Peter here, who has pocket aces, and Dr. H has pocket jacks. So, big hand incoming. Nick raised a plus three. This is nice. Peter with the 1.2K three bet. Wow. And Dr. H is just going to cold call. I'm going to hang out with Mike. From the blinds, given the that, that Peter's a pretty active player, I think a four bet is a good play here. Nick is in real bad shape. To bring Nick along, and yeah, he's a... He's in trouble. Both of these players are in trouble here. Nick's got one of Dr. H's outs. Do we have a waitress for Hati? King 9-5. Not really the action plot Peter's hoping for, but it's still a decent uh, board here for pocket aces. What's Dr. H's style? Do you think it's to, to hold on for one street, or do you think he'll just uh, let it go with uh, ace-king so much in Peter's uh, I range? I think after he just cold called, he's going to call one time here, but I could be wrong. Peter down bets here. Turbo's money. 28. Wow. Yeah, wow. Dr. H, get him. Get him. And Dr. H, when he slow plays these p pairs, he does like to kind of amp up the aggression post-flop. Yes, the accountant. Peter's got red aces, which is nice, so he unblocks the, the nut flush draw hands. Um, the cold call from Dr. H could definitely be pocket nines, pocket fives. The cards are we're definitely continuing here. Happen blind. Probably. I like your style. I trust whatever Peter does is going to be the right decision. Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> you know, I play with him. He plays very, very well. He does, and he studies really hard. You know, he, he's one of the most studied players. This guy gets invited. And yeah, he just goes with it. Oh, that I don't man. He collects all the money. Oh, my God. I think he expects Dr. H to have more like a flush draw here, Bang. flush draw straight draw. And so yeah. that's why he shoves, because Dr. H may call off with that hand. Yeah, definitely some king-queen, ace-king that he hasn't uh, decided to, to four bet. Yeah, way more likely than, than Jax in this spot. Yeah, I don't think Peter's putting him on uh, on Jax, is he? Please, and Jafar. <clears throat> crowd goes silent. Dr. H in the tank, he's, he wants to put Peter on a flush draw here, which is perfectly reasonable. Peter could easily have ace, queen of spades. Queen jack, uh, not queen jack of spades, queen ten of spades. Um, some other combos. Yeah, ace four of spades. Yeah, exactly. Actually, any suited ace sex could be a three bet here from Peter. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. Your birth there? I think Dr. H will find the fold and, here, but uh, is the child to be determined. Citizen? Yeah, because he's is American. So he has a uh, uh, Taiwan passport and an American passport. Uh, Very cool. Yeah. Good. Now so that Peter faded good. the snap, good. he's good. loving it. it. Cool. Dr. H does let it go. I didn't make it. No chance. That was bluff. 100%. Mm -hmm. Here. Uh, Peter, 100 bucks to see it. See it? Yeah. Who thinks Peter's bluffed? Poker, um, Peter about to get an extra hundo here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no this kid is well, getting money all over the place. Right? You, you need to wear a helmet oh, yeah? next time. Money is going to just toss at you every yeah, day. Yeah. It's probably not worth a hundred, right, if he's actually bluffed here. I mean, at the end of the day, it's kind of an interesting dynamic, in, in my opinion, because I play a lot of tournaments and a lot of cash. Mm -hmm. If I'm playing a tournament, I want players to think I have it every time. Yep. Because getting bluffs through in a tournament is way more important, especially the deeper you get. That's so true. I don't really like to show my bluffs ever if I'm in a tournament. I'm mm -hmm. just like, oh, I had it, man. I had it. In a, in a cash game like this, 
you know, you, you make money by getting paid off on your value hands. Right, true. And so I want people to think I'm bluffing my ass off. So anytime I can show a bluff in a cash game, I will. That's true. No, no, it's the stone opposite. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No one wants to get bluffed on stream, do they? Exactly. There's that, there's that dynamic as well. So. Look at me. That is still young. Oh my God! I want to play one here. I already feel kind I of drunk. Zero percent B pips for zero. No, not true. He opened king queen and folded to a three bet. Pretty close to my ninety though. No, he's, he's so the accountant, uh, after getting stacked, like you, you called it, man. He, he was a little tight at the beginning, and now he's uh, guns blazing, flatting the 8-9 off here. And looks like Dr. H going to squeeze. How long do you, you only visit one for you? Visit and the problem here is that yeah. Nick's, Nick's not that deep. You know, deep, deeper stacks, I think you can, you always need to call here with hands like pocket fives. Very different. Um, given these stack sizes, I would still probably call. But All right, all in. Much, oh, my God. Wow. Good luck. The accountant's just come to gamble. He's come to gamble. Okay, so he's called and now back jammed. And it's just, you know, if Dr. H thinks this through really hard for this to ever be a, a nutted hand yeah. and also the stack size you know, I think it's like 3k and change so. I'm surprised he hasn't called by now yeah you know it looks like he's calling probably was just waiting to confirm the amount first but easy call here for Dr. H <coughs> good eye good eye good eye you can only run it once right only running it once in this game which it's kind of rough as a player as a viewer I like it Okay. Chop pots are lame, you know? I agree. I agree. We need people stuck in the game to create action further down the line. Exactly. Wow, look at this flop. Pretty freaking good flop here for 8-9-0. Uh, for Dr. H still out in front, though. I like this room. Oh, it's <laughs> I can play bad and, and, and nobody see, you know? Okay. Yeah, only half the world. Uh, Account still has a lot of outs. 9-8, yeah, yeah. queen, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But exactly. Late. That ain't it. I want to feel bad later. He's high. It's good. Mm. He's high, good. Counterfeit it. However, I got it. Will we see a third rebuy? I believe accountant? so. Yeah. He's reaching. <laughs> yeah, the accountant's, uh, wow. he comes to play. Not a king. Usually this is his type of style. He likes to play uh, small bullets, mm -hmm. just do, you know, multiple. A lot of players that are like that, they don't like to buy in deep. They just like to fire a bunch of shots. Yeah, it's a nice feeling when you buy in shorter and you can uh, run up a real big stack from a, from a short buy-in, right? Yeah, that is the best. White. Yep. The Camus is flying. Flowing. What time are finish today? Seven? Hmm? What time we finish? 7.30. Like 7.30, yeah. Because we started at 2.30, so oh, okay. yeah, a little bit late. Yeah. Only five hours? Hmm? So, man, it's five been hours. like 30, 40 minutes, and we've already had like three or four all-ins. The accountant's gotten yeah, stacked yeah. twice. No quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No. No Peter no won a decent pot with aces against Dr. H's jacks. I think Peter's the big winner in the game so far. Dr. H was down a bit, but he's probably back to even after that hand. Yeah, yeah it's too long. Who have we not seen much of so far? Is it, is it seat, seat four, I think it is? Uh, yeah, it's LA Olven hat. there, yeah. Olven. He, he, uh, yeah. You know much about Olven? I never played with him before, I don't believe. Okay. I, th I think he's a, a Spanish gentleman. Okay. I'm not sure uh, which country he's from, but I, I noticed he's got the... He uh, habla español. Solid. Uh, but yeah, he definitely hasn't had too many hands. He had the king-queen once and uh, got three-bet folded. Almost everything. I would have three-bet the 9-6 uh, who did that. He decides to fold. Of course he would. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I stay away Me from too, you. Peter now with the three bet. Yeah. Now I start a no. I like uh I really like when we see the same hands play against each other. <laughs> no yeah, it's interesting, it's right? It's kind of a uh, battle of who wants it more. <laughs> Usually first bet takes it. <laughs> yeah, and the aggressor, you know, so obviously Peter's a huge favorite to win the hand in my opinion. Fifteen. Oh. Never mind. Wow. Fifteen. Bang, bang. Yeah. Fifteen. Well played, Nick. I have some hands, Good, good. But, but I learned from you. <coughs> oh, I need to... Want to see some more action from Armenian Mike? Can only play aces, isn't he? Yeah, we'll see. He's going to have to get some good hands for that to happen. <laughs>
He plays on the Tyler side these days. He does, yeah. You know, it's uh, I mean, yeah, sometimes you get wiser as, as the years go by, mm -hmm. so maybe that's the case. But nice play by Nick. Anyone play uh, one, one thing I'll say for Nick is he has a really good sense of where he's at in hands. I, I agree. Of, most of the time when he's four betting or check raising or doing these things, he, I hope so. he's usually right. The, the, his opponents are weak, you know, when he makes those moves. So. All the Asia Poker Tour. Nice. Yeah. Seoul? No, Jeju. Jeju? Island. Island. Oh. Yeah, it looked like a fun times over there in Jeju. I've always wanted to go play in Asia. Like eight years ago, yeah. Sometime soon. Remember when they had WPT Korea? Yeah, that'd be really cool, right? They just had the Triton in uh, Jeju. Yes, and they also had the Asian Poker Tour there, so they had like some mid stakes buy ins as well. Nice. It would be a dream to go play the Triton events, though. Yeah, that Triton is the real pinnacle of poker, right? Yeah, it's become the premier series. I've heard from there. some of the high stakes regs, they get like the, the best treatment, the best, yeah, the best hotels, the best food. And at the same time, like yeah. some of these Asian players, there's some real rich guys that come in and play so that even mm -hmm. though all the crushers are there the yeah. fields are still pretty good so wow. nothing compares to the world series of poker though i'm getting excited for that i'm and, very uh, excited yeah it's coming up very soon it's like we're like a month away are we oh uh, well, yeah like 45 days or something like that wow. and then uh even shorter than that if, if you want to play the world series of poker circuit here at the commerce starting on may 10th the world series of poker circuit is here it's going to be massive probably the biggest circuit series ever in la in my opinion because the tournament of champions is here so when Anybody who's won a ring or a bracelet over the past year qualifies for a million dollar free roll. So Check. if you guys live in L.A. or you don't, you want to come out and get a little warm up for the World Series. I, I think the 1700 is going to be like two and a half million dollar prize pool, maybe. Really? Yeah, that's the main event. That's, that's towards the end. It's like the last three, yeah, four like days the of the 16th, 17th, 18th of May, something like that. And, uh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's like, yeah. you know, a tournament like that as it stands. In L.A. would probably be like 1.5. Mm -hmm. Last year, the tur Tournament of Champions had 730 entries. Wow. Now, because it's in L.A., I don't think that many people are going to come, but it's a million-dollar free roll. So anybody who's anywhere near or they're coming to the World Series, they're going to stop here for so I think there's probably going to be an additional three or 400 people in town just because of that. Which is going to juice that uh, that prize pool up a lot. Right. So the tournament of the champions is only from uh, people who have won th won this year. Yes. In the past year, either last World Series or, or all the uh, ring events between now and then, you had to have won first place. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got patience. Yeah, I remember playing it myself um, back in 2022 after the Colossus win, and uh, yes, yeah. I ran kings into aces. I couldn't complain, but. Uh, yeah, I was disappointed to. to yeah, to I played that last one. year. I won a ring last year, and the same same deal. I just kind of, it was just sick. I was expecting it to be tougher than it was because everyone in there has won a tournament in the past nice. year. But there's so many online events. Oh my gosh, Doctor H. Flop quads. Has the quad balls, but unfortunately, uh, as is usually the case when you flop quads, n nobody else has a piece. So, he's gonna check wisely and ho hopefully get something on the turn. Yeah, I think he's unlucky actually because uh, Nick's got a uh, two overs, so is the accountant and and Peter. So yeah, we could have seen an ace, king, jack, queen on the turn, and, mm -hmm. and Doctor H would have got action. Yeah. Um, however, the accountant wants to go for it on this one. Forehanded, he's going to bet five hundred bucks into this pot. A little, a little under half pot. Doctor H mm -hmm. just goes for the call here. And the accountant does not want to see a king or a jack on this river. No, no, no. She's, she's American. Wow. It's definitely a card you can, I can see him bluffing, all right, with the king of hearts and uh, yeah. blocking the jack ten. No doubt, but I no, think uh, gives up. he senses that Dr. H has got something over there, so mm -hmm. yeah. it's hard for him not to have something. Yeah. Dr. H is going to pot it. But uh, we, it's my second time. Her family lives there. Yeah. My, mom, my, my family lives in Japan, so I, we'll go back a lot. Okay. You know. Double paired board. Yeah. You know, maybe the accountant uh, last, last time, last thinks King High could be good on this this board here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Be pretty tough, but it's, uh, it's good timing to Mr. anything's Japan. possible. Yeah, yeah. I went to Japan too much last year, three times. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like the accountant wants to do something a little silly here. <laughs> yeah, it looked like he wanted to shove or something there for a sec. Mm -hmm. Doctor H was loving it, but <laughs> wisely lets it go this time. <laughs> Fucking deuce is good in that board, or what? <laughs> For sure. The last time I went to Taiwan, I went everywhere. I went like Bali, I went Ali Khan. I like his attitude though. National Park. Doctor H didn't show the quads. I don't think. Taipei, Taipei. That's true. Excuse me. Come on, come on. Everyone's having a lot of fun. I like it. Fucking who's the what? Is it free or is it? Three pairs. Okay, that's true. Thank you. Is that three pairs I have? 
Dr. H is just such a nice guy. He's always in a good mood. He's always laughing, buying everybody wine. Even when he's stuck piles, he still has just got this infectious laugh. Uh, I, I really love the guy. He's uh, taken me out to dinner a few times in Vegas. He hooked nice. me up with a room at the Wynn once because he plays there a lot. And, uh, My teacher told me. Cannot tell. He's <laughs> talking about me. Huh? <laughs> I cannot tell. Cannot tell. <laughs> he plays well, too. From what I've seen, he's playing well. Yeah, Dr. H and I, uh, we've done a, a couple sessions, too, where I've tried to help him out with his tournament game, and I told him not to show his hands. So oh, okay. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> like, don't show, man. Don't, don't give, him, give away what you're doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> other than the main event, uh, Jared, at the WSOP, is there any other tournament that's um, a little special for you or something that you're really looking forward to playing, like the Mystery Millions or, or Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, I, I really love the Monster Stack, the Millionaire Maker. Mm -hmm. I haven't made a, a deep run in either of those, but the fields in those are just so unbelievable. It's so big, life-changing money. Yeah, I feel like you, I feel like you get a lot for your money in those. You pay, I think it's fifteen hundred bucks is the buying. Yes. and uh, the the structure is pretty good. The, the 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 clocks are quite long, and yeah. Yeah, it's a great great tournament, and they, this year's a little different. They've added an extra day too. I don't know if you saw. Oh that. no, I didn't so see that. There's three flights for all three of those tournaments. Oh wow, okay. So the monster stacks a freeze out on each day. Nice. So oh, okay, so, you, so one buying per day. Three bullets in that. Got it. Millionaire maker, you can re-enter once. So okay. now we get six shots at the millionaire maker, three shots at the monster stack. Wow. Obviously, it's going to make the prize pool way bigger as well. Mm -hmm. It's like Kitty has a straight here on this board, and the accountant's got two pair. Just has the second best hand every time in these spots. There is a flush on board. Let's see if Kitty can find a raise. She's just going to call. Much? With this many players in the hand, <coughs> I don't blame her. An Armenian Mike just has ace high, right? Uh, two pair of death no good. Did Armenian Mike just call with ace high? Overcalled. That's, That's a better, a, yeah. Do you think he misread Does his he hand? I think he had a straight. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but that's an ambitious call from Armenian Mike. Versus two players, there's a bet and a call. <laughs> a side can never be good in that spot. Is it true, Jared, that the uh, WSOP they've um, they've made the the day slightly shorter, so you're not finishing, you're not putting your chips in a bag like, at like 1 a.m. or something? Yeah, I think I heard something like that. And, and then the nice thing too, which I thought was brutal last year, is a lot of the restarts were at 10 a.m. Yeah, exactly. the tournament started at 10 a.m., mm -hmm. ended at like one in the morning, and then the restart was 10 a.m. the next day, and they pushed it now to 11. Like if the tournament starts at 11, mm -hmm. the restarts at noon. If the tournament starts at 10, the restarts at 11. Got it. I think that's a huge improvement. Definitely. Yeah, I remember some, speaking to some people that either sleep poorly or lived uh, maybe like 45 minutes away from the yeah. from the venue. Um, yeah. yeah. Even, even on top of that, last year they had that construction for the Formula One. Mm -hmm. my, my, my place was 15 minutes away, and there was times when I bagged up and the construction was going, and it took me an hour to wow. get home at 2 in the morning, and I had to play at 10 a.m. the next day. Yeah. yeah that was rough, so I, I like the change there. Mm -hmm. The World Series is fun but it's also grueling and here we go we're getting a lot of uh, big confrontations here kitty with pocket queens and armenian mike like i told you he likes the limp this stack size what's he gonna do now he's limped good goal and in right the accountant raised yeah if you as played i think he's got to stick it in does just call Wants to see that nine high flop first. <laughs> now, Nick's coming along. Accountant's coming along. Pocket Queen's a huge favorite here, but now four-handed, you can see she only has 56% equity, so she's flipping to win this hand. Yeah, I really don't like these spots when you go like moldy way and you've got queens. You're never yeah. too sure what you want to see on the flop. Well, how about oh, this flop? That'll do quite nicely. Okay. Kitty with top set. I'm kind of unfortunate for her that... Uh, Nobody else really has much. Mm. She bet 10% of the pot. I like it. Look, Armenian Smart. might call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a, such a sick bet because now the accountant with his backdoor flush dresser, he's got 1%. He's running diamonds without a paired board. Oh, well, no, that's going to be it for the accountant on this end, I think. He has been very loose since we've uh, started the stream, but I feel like he's run bad. I feel oh. like he's turned the ace twice, once, yes. one again here, and yeah, uh, the, once the against the runouts are not, uh, not helping him out too much at all. He's only got 4K. Armenian Mike's out of there, and the accountant will be all in. 
very shortly. Well, he does just call, and I can see uh, how that makes sense because Kitty should have a lot of strong ace X as well. Five of diamonds on the turn really doesn't change much. 10K yeah, I mean, in the pot, though, and the account has 2,500, so... Kitty puts him in. And the accountant is just hoping she has a missed flush draw. She did bet into four people and then bet turn. You put 9-8 off uh, in, the, in the middle quicker than the uh, the top pair. Yes. <laughs> I mean, he, he has a, an understanding, though, that his is a dicey spot. He thought the 8-9 off might, you know, if, if the three better was bluffing, you know, could have gotten it through. But now... Look at the price he's getting, you know, two and a half K to win, I think, 12 K, 13 K. Yeah, the alarm bells are going. I feel, I feel like he knows that Kitty's got like a really strong hand. Yeah, she has to in this this spot. Bet, bet, bet. Yeah. Three bet, 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 bet. Yeah. Takes a lot of inner discipline here to, to find the fold, right? Yeah, and I mean, she could just have ace king of clubs, ace jack of clubs, ace ten of clubs. <clears throat> so the miss flush draws also, a lot of them are now better aces than his. Yeah, he's only got a bluff catcher, right? Yeah, but at best, you know, it's just like he's just hoping that she has so, some kind of... I mean, if Kitty had, like, jack, jack 10, it's a, it's a very credible bluff. It's credible, but at the end of the day, like you, like I said, she, she bet flop into four people, and then, you know, they all called, and then she bet again anyways on the turn, you know? It's just really... Uh, well, he's, I think he's folded. Okay. I see, I see he looks one. like he's... Wow. Yeah, he lets it go. Yeah, good so. for him. <laughs> Saved himself two and a half thousand by not sticking it in on the turn. You never know. That fold could be the uh, the start of something, you know, for this for the stream for him. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, don't know what would have happened if he got stacked a third time there, but he he lives to fight another day. You had ace. So yeah, uh, A Lee says poor account and second best hand every time. And yeah, that's been it for him. He just keeps uh, he didn't he didn't have having something, but not quite enough. Uh, you take it. You, if you have ace, you take it. Cause that's a bad fold. I know. Need five bucks back. <laughs> <laughs> the twenty dollars. That's twenty five, right? Good. Are you folding an ace? Come on. Here's your stats so far, guys. Nick, 77% VPIP. That's a lot. Uh, he did join the game late, but he's played most of the hands since then. Accountant almost halfway there. And just like that, Kitty's up 7.7K. Welcome back to Poker Kitty. Peter Cross up 10K. And then the accountant having a rough day at the office. So far, we've only been playing for an hour, so four more hours to go. Anything can happen. Uh, you know, last week, the game I commentated on last Thursday, it was a huge game. And who was it? There was a player who, who got coolered and lost 30K on the second hand of the game. So he was stuck 30K, and then he was the big winner in the game. Came all the way back and he won like four. Who was that? You remember? It was Tan. Oh, nice. Yeah, Tan's a. Uh, oh, I think I know Tan. I think I've seen him in the. Half Vietnamese, in the... half Chinese guy. Yeah. He travels over here to play sometimes. Really nice guy. But yeah, he. Uh, <laughs> came off. Actually, you know what? Never mind. Tan was the one who won that hand. So oh. he was up 30K right away and then he ended up booking a small win. And it was uh, another traveling player. I forget his name. Another Asian guy. Really nice guy as well, but he uh, cool. he battled all the way back and wow! Oh my God, look at this hand! Holy Kitty's cow! Flopped the, Kitty's flopped the boat. The There's full an house. action flop for you. Full house for Kitty. Pocket kings for Allen. Open-ended straight flush draw for Armenian Mike, who's only playing 1.5k. And look at his equity. He's got an open-ended straight flush draw, and he has less than one percent. I mean, if Armenian Mike had uh, the same stack as Kitty, we could see a 55k pot here. Yes, but you know, Mike doesn't like to race. He just calls. We want to see a king on the turn or an eight of hearts? Uh, well, eight of hearts would be really fun. Alan's got the king of hearts, so no straight flush on that end for Mike. If we want to see blood and big pots, we want to see a king, right? Yes, absolutely. A king would be so sick. It would be brutal for Kitty, but it would be a sick, sick turn. And Kitty fast playing the full house here, which on a board like this, I kind of like it. Um, you know. You can credibly have a lot of different draws. Two hundred. We don't have to worry. You have a headache. Yeah. <laughs> I'm turning to the strategy for the professional. Alan does have the uh, king of hearts. Oh my God! And he snap folded. Wow. 
You will win this that's one. A, yeah. That's a pretty disciplined fold there by Allen. Um, I'm definitely continuing there with Kings. Yeah. yeah, I don't think you should fold to one to one raise, right? Yeah, you got to call. Are you open for fun? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mike sticks it in, drawing almost stone dead. And only winning the eight of hearts. Or running queens. <laughs> Has Kitty put her wine in the uh, in the coffee cup, or uh, or, or do, you call, do you think she's drinking coffee? Well, seeing as how she just gave birth you recently, I bet you she's off the alcohol. Mike's got one out. Wow, it's the eight of diamonds, not the eight of hearts. Yes. Wow, see? Wow. Oh, wow. Eight of heart one time. Wow. <laughs> and Alan loving life after he folded the skings like that. It's so nice to, to make a, a tight fold like that and see that you were, you were spot on. I feel bad for Mike. He's got there and uh, hasn't got there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way you can get away from that flop of his hand. I'm surprised he didn't just stick it in in the flop, but same result. Two, we're already winning. Just like that, Kitty stacking up chips. Welcome back to L.A., Kitty. You want to show she's so proud. She has cool house you want to show. She represents Natural 8, the uh, partner of our sponsor, GG Poker. This is bluffing last hand for sure. Oh, my God. Oh. Torture me. It's okay? No problem. Man, I love games like this when, when the cards are cooperating. It's really, there's no dull moment. You know, every hand we've had action. There's yeah. really been very few, like, raise and take it. Yeah. And then every time there's a multi-way flop, a couple people have a piece. No, I agree. It's been a really fun stream so far, right? Yeah, it's expected to get better as we've got multiple players that are stuck. Yeah. Armenian Mike added on another 5K bullet. And yeah, when, when he's stuck, he loosens up too. So this is the case with a lot of these players, you know. They kind of take it easy when they're winning up, uh, winning or, or, or even, and then once they get in the hole, it, they, they want to battle for it. Yeah. Speaking of which... <clears throat> and contrary to that, Kitty, Kitty's winning, Peter's winning, and I don't, I don't think they're the sort of uh, player type to, they're not locking to it take up. their foot off the gas, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Your trick, you're doing from different people. And you can see these ranges here. It's, we don't know what's going on. Turbo's made it uh, 150. Nick, three bets to 10-9 off. The accountant cold calls, the king four suited. And it's anybody's game here. That's just what the accountant wanted to see, but Nick also has an open ender. King high with the flush draw has the most equity by far. Interesting that the accountant didn't bet there, however. So now King high is the best hand. Uh, Turbo's counterfeited on the return, but he, uh, actually, sorry, I thought it was a double pair board. Turbo's got a boat. Don't worry. Wait, what? No way, Thank you. Yeah, Turbo bet the turn and uh, the account unfolded. I see. Yeah, with three tri sevens tripped, on there. tripped board there is bad for a flush draw because you lose to any pair. You to buy flush was no longer Please good, so. I want to get for dinner. Good fold. Yeah. We trip. Don't worry. <laughs> Next time I trip. Yeah. I know, I know you always trip. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. yeah Doctor, it's nice to Mommy dinner once. We, I and his wife and his daughter have a dinner in Vegas. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, he will never introduce us to his wife and daughter, so he's more special. <laughs> hey, Turbo! <laughs> we just know each other for a few days. I feel kind of sad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if I was you, I would do the same thing, Dr. Yeah, so. don't worry. Whoa, welcome to the game! <laughs> Where have you been? Hey, I'm Peter. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, yeah. You'll see the music. <laughs> What's your name, bro? Obi. Obi, Obi. Welcome to the game. You got any traffic? You missed fucking traffic? Huh? It just suddenly. I'm cold. He's king. Out of here. <laughs> Turbo's always good with the needles, needling Olvin for not playing too many hands, but he has been very card dead, and as you see here, he's he's in the mix. We'll use some more. Yeah. Raising it up with 5-4 uh, suited. Ah, uh, he's getting garbage. Let me, let me do this. Not the flop you wanted to see. Yeah? Oh, thank you for the yeah, service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, take care of our yeah. VIP. We take care of us first, and then we take yeah. care of the VIP. We gotta go to the ladies. Yeah. Thanks, given his image, says he's just been getting garbage, this it's should be a good flop for his oh, range. So Enjoy. Celebrate life, okay? Congratulations. It's not gonna work, though. You no, know, Armenian Mike's got a pair of aces Peter, with a 10 kicker. Congratulations, kicking my ass. <laughs> Okay, early, you know, man. my son is to watch the TV now. Form, my mom, why you okay. <laughs> At least I got your boy for a couple of hands. Okay, sure. <laughs> All right. You, Turn some you. equity. He's got an open ender now. I almost double you up. Armenian Mike checks to see if Olven wants no, to fire another uh, barrel. Hand. I, seriously, I, I want to four-bet you. 
Oh. Oh, Nick, I forgot. I got you. Give me a second. King Queen suited? No. no. I don't mind the check back there. Okay, Just kind of take your equity. Send think it. that Armenian Mike's, Eight if he's putting chips in this pot, he probably has a strong yeah, hand. <clears throat> now, though, he's got five high on the river. With no way to win the pot unless we bet. Enjoy it. We hear it. Yeah, you did mention this is Armenian Mike style. Just to check the river, play passively. I want. Exactly. In this case, he's got to work out well for him. Yeah, whatever chips Olvin puts in here, it's it's getting called. Either you have a big high wager, frost jaw, or something. He gave up. Yeah, or or a hand like that. No bluff this time. Yeah. And you know, he bet into three people, and he got a call from Armenian Mike. I think. Uh, I'm still learning. Yeah. I think a give up is okay. Yeah. Armenian Mike definitely could have had a missed flush draw or something like that, though, so I wouldn't have hated uh, True. trying to win the pot. If you guys want to get sponsored and become a member of the Commerce Pro Poker team, come over to the Commerce. If you get 100 hours or more in cash game play during the month of April, you will be entered into a free roll where the Commerce is giving away 20 $30,000 packages. So 600 k they're giving away. Includes a main event seat for the World Series, $5,000 travel voucher for uh, travel expenses, and uh, a bunch of entrance into the entries into the World Series of Poker circuit here at Commerce. So if you play cash in L.A., Come play at the Commerce for the rest of this month. Get your hours in, and this is going to be a sick opportunity. You could parlay that into $12 million if you win the main event. The 30000 package, if um, if you were lucky enough to be one of the 20 people and, and, and win that, you can use it for the circuit event, you said, right? Here? Yeah, so the, the, it comes with multiple things. It comes with a seat to the World Series of Poker main event, yep. $5,000 in cash for travel expenses, yep. and uh, entrance into the main event at the work Commerce, and like I think like a bunch of other events. Like, yeah, because they have lots of other side like events, right? Serve, yeah, a bunch of side events. Nice. So you get to play all of them. So okay. meanwhile... Can you cherry pick? Uh, I'm not sure. I think they give you like select buy-in levels like you get three four hundred dollar bullets three seventeen hundred dollar bullets And then also you can use those for future commerce tournaments. So it's a fantastic promotion, right? I've seen the I've seen the cash game areas Really really busy over the last uh, last couple weeks. It's only gonna get bigger from there Because uh, everyone's gonna battle for it and then yeah. next month uh, You know we got the series so the accountant now trip Kings Holden finally has a hand but second best Oh no. Moves all in. The accountant was only playing. He, the accountant only had like a thousand bucks. So he gets the double. Olvin kind of lucky he wasn't playing more. He was due one. And you know, if he was playing more, Olvin probably would have just called River. I think the shove there, it's not. Not uh, anything crazy because it was for like six hundred dollars more or something. Yeah. It looks like. Yeah. Just wanted to get max value versus another yeah. race, right? Yeah. Race. So in, in the moment, I thought like, oh, well, why'd you do that? But now I see the stack sizes. Oh, it's okay. I could get him to call with you uh, with a worse ace. Almost, almost, almost. But not. I had a little sneaky feeling this could be the start of something for the accountant. That fold that he made earlier to uh, Kitty with the a six of diamonds, I think yeah, it was. Yeah, you called it. Yeah. Exactly. It's been uh, the spin cycle has been initiated. Yeah. So we'll see how, see yeah. This, is, up. this is the spin up. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> say the, um, the the set at live at the commerce is. is amazing isn't it it's beautiful yeah i love the the space too a lot of these cash game streams are kind of in like a cramped room i agree tons of room here there's even room for friends and family to watch you play over there yeah the production though the lighting the sound i think everything's uh it's everything's all great. amazing yeah yeah as usual you know with anything starting out you know it's mm -hmm. they had to figure out a couple things and i think now they've really dialed it in it's a it's a great show the graphics are amazing yeah it's not anything sometimes you have some teething problems but everything seems uh, good i mean i felt very comfortable myself when i played uh, That's last the thing. week as a player it's really nice i yeah. think I, I really like it they have you know waters and drinks and coffee for everybody too when you're playing it's yeah. just right there and obviously full service as well yeah regardless of the result it's definitely something i want i want to come back and play for sure <laughs> likewise uh, yeah stuck money so far on live at the commerce but i promise you you know it's not over yet oh, okay. that is true i mean the game's are big right so when you lose it, it seems uh it seems like it's a lot of a, amount per you know yeah. if, you're if you're talking about dollars but in terms of like big blinds because the games are very very big yeah, it's, it's maybe not that much. But. Like, uh, let's see, I played four times. The first time, I lost 9K. Yeah. Second time, I won 13. Mm -hmm. The third time, I was with you, I broke even. Yeah. And then I lost 19 last week. So. Okay, so you stuck about 20, 25? A little less. I think, I, okay. I, I, I think I'm stuck like 9K. I won, lost 9, won 12, nice. broke even, lost 19. Okay. When are, you, when are you back on yourself, Jared? 
Next week. Nice. I'm uh I'm heading tomorrow. I'm heading to Florida for a big poker tournament down in uh, at the Hard Rock. Oh, is that the the 3500 buy-in? Yes. Nice. Yeah, I wish so you luck. I really thank you. Appreciate that. So send me good vibes, guys. Last year, first place in this one was uh, 1.2 million dollars. So. Never. That'd be a nice little uh, I you, I know. little win if I could somehow get that done. I just have to beat a thousand people, not not even twelve thousand. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna lie with the bike. You, I know. I yeah, top. I fought top top. There's a lot of brawl in this pot. raised me from. Yeah, as usual, everybody's got a got something. Kitty with the best hand by far. Yeah, you're like pretty uh savvy call from from Peter here. Kitty opened uh, an EP facing an limp a limp from the accountant. And he gets a pretty good flop for his hand, King Jack of Clubs. E -E he checks the kitty, and she checks. To the two champions at the table. I don't see how Peter wants to proceed. I am a champion. Does check it. I think he could have bet there, but given that there's so many other players in the hand, probably doesn't expect to get too many folds. Wow, Mike just goes all in oh. for three times the pot, is it? Four yeah. times? It turns top pair, and now this is Not kind of a annoying spot for a flush draw but mm. i don't really think we can call as it turns out it's actually not a bad all-in from from mike because he delights yeah. a lot of equity from from the hands he's up against so. yes thinking about? exactly <laughs> quad eight eight nine pocket too much nine. Pocket too much too much, too much. Oh, he's probably folding pocket nine. Nine. there's like 1500 in the pot and, uh, like i mean everybody. mike's bet 5.8k here yeah. so peter's gonna fold but you can see he really wanted a gamble right yeah it's so annoying when you have a flush draw like you get this flop and you're like all right let's go and then <clears throat> Enough. Banger. Wow. Oh, had I known that's coming, I would have shoved. So now yeah. I'm 81 pick a river initiative here. There. All right, guys, let's make this, let's make this four fun. Back, four back. How about this? You, you guys want a prop game? That, <laughs> you guys want a prop game they can't control? How about this? You show each hand. hand. You, show you, one one card. Card. No. you don't Maybe show one card. In the you box, you 200 to every player. Wait, what did you say, sir? I said, each hand you show one card. The winner must show one card. You don't show one card and you mock your hand, 200 to every player. Oh, wow. Ah, no. I'm okay with that. Uh, okay. Doctor said no. No, that's too yeah, complicated yeah, yeah, yeah. for elderly. That's too hard. <laughs> Yeah. I cannot even remember. Uh, we'll remind you. I can't if you really, fuck your head, we'll remind I you. I keep right? forgetting. I'm just it saying. It's always welcome to pay. Okay? Huh? Welcome to pay. I will show every single time as long as you pay. Interesting dynamic here. Peter has opened the king we know. It's enough. And Turbo just smooth calls with Jax in the cutoff. Yesterday, Alan, stand up game, my three best the ace ten suited. Peter smartly gets out of the way. Yeah, that's the worst when you forget. Turbo with the slow plate jacks <laughs> makes the call. Banger. But I was excited. Finally, I beat uh, Luda, Luda Grace. <laughs> and then I keep fold. I, I was excited. I forgot the show. So you only play two. Pretty good flop for pocket jacks. Checks to the maybe. aggressor here. Another private game. I love Dr. H's laugh. It's uh, infectious. It is. It's amazing. But very limited. I tried to Yesterday, not, I, not I train so much. Turbo check calls. The social game. You retire. What else do you want to do? Oh, well, action card retired. on the turn. You're not retired? No. Alan now with but the nut flush draw. So and two overs. No. This is his job. <laughs> yeah. This is not the Gambo do. Gambo so hard. <laughs> so hard, yeah. So hard. Um, what's the biggest flip you've ever done? Dollar wise. This one? No, flip, flip, like, like, yeah, cards, gamble? flip, yeah, gamble, flip. What's the biggest flip you've done? Looks like Alan has potted it. Did my biggest 4.9k in the pot, he bets 5k. Seven and a half per person. Ready? Oh, wow. I, 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 and huh? Turbo now huh? in a tricky huh? spot. Seven and a half thousand, yeah. Seven Alan's got 10k behind, a 9.2. The first one for three or whatever, for four. I don't think Turbo's gonna fold, but this is a, it wasn't me a very aggressive line. Okay, that's it. From Alan, and Big game. the problem I think is that Turbo's Seven hand is very so, under-repped because Peter opened oh. and Turbo just flatted here with Jax. So everybody gets four cards, they run it so up. So Alan definitely not yep. expecting him to have you a big over there. And then they open the last card. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think he's got the, the diamond and the club um, in his hands, which obviously blocks a lot of the, the, the bluffs that all in Allen can have, right? Fair point. So it is uh, kind of an ugly spot. 
Oh, man. And it was like nothing on the board. Maybe? Feels like you're up against kings, queens, aces. And that was good. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Yeah. Hello to Parker Cooper. Nine Saying hi to me in the chat. Yeah, it was crazy. crazy. I was, I was so... Shout out to Parker. What's up? Uh, you uh, Turbo does make the fold, so usually, yeah. reasonable, I think. Heads up again. Especially if he's like, if he's maybe heard the, the Allen fold up the kings earlier in that spot. You know, it's... it's uh, all good. And I like put my three... Like you mentioned, blocking the, the potential flush, flush draws that are out there. You have to beat their hand, you know what I mean? And I like kept going. I like the way all in Allen plays. It's, um, it's, it's, it's very sort of controlled I aggression. Yeah, I feel like he knows where he is in every spot. Uh, in the first um, and I had... Yeah, I mean, the Kings fold against Kitty. When Kitty had a, a full house in the flop was amazing. Yeah, so spot on. That last card that wasn't turned over. Turbo's not going to like it when he sees what he uh, was up against there, but given the action, I like, you know it's a reasonable fold. Sure. <laughs> when? The split you're talking about. No, I lost. Oh, okay. Lost the split. Who's got the Celine glasses? Is that, is that Turbo? I don't know, but I'm guessing yes. Someone in the chat's mentioned the, uh, the Celine glasses. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's got to be Turbo. He's the, he's the guy who's got the swag, so. <laughs> They're not cheap, those Celine glasses, I can tell you that. Now the river ship is coming. Oh, river. So Peter here with King Ten suited picks up action from some dusty hands and Armenian Mike's ace deuce of diamonds. Peter sand best on the swap. He is going to check. Asia, right? Yeah, yeah. Where is Asia? Uh, four spades on the turn. Come go to Thailand. Mm -hmm. Nick thinks his pair of fives might be good. Oh. Countin also thinks his pair of fives might be good. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. But now Peter here. Has top pair, pretty really, easy call uh, for him. Here, right? <laughs> Permanently, right? <laughs> I'm looking for him. <laughs> yes, we are. Harry, we are waiting for you. Stop hiding from us. Me and Kitty, Dr. H, we're waiting for you. But yeah, we know you're watching here. And now Peter improves. He's got top two. Bring it back. <laughs> and it's going to go check, check. Peter here with a pretty easy value bet. <laughs> You're gonna text in like half an hour being like, I'm coming. Hmm? You're gonna get a text in half an hour like, I'm coming. I'm not sure, it looks like Peter bet pretty big. I'm holding my cruise. 1.3k in the pot. Oh, okay. yeah. Give me a second. I saw two 500 chips, so Peter's bet at least 1,000. I think he might have bet 1,500. Oh, he just bet 1k. Good bet sizing here. And Nick's already folded, the accountant now in the tank. He's got fives and fours with a king kicker. He can beat misdraws. Nuts or nothing? Pretty good assessment Fairly. that Peter either has a very strong hand or a misdraw. Well, like, considering kin, king, <laughs> ace king beating the nuts, you know? Uh, can you beat ace king? After the hand, I can tell you. Is the coffee no, good? No, after the hand is useless. I want to know now. Is the coffee good? All right, I'll uh, I'll show you one card. Counting shows the five. Wants to get a read here. Is that good? Peter, as usual, gives away no information. <laughs> yeah, I fold. Takes a sip of wine. Maybe that was a little information there. Convinced me. Uh, should have tried harder. I like the way Peter played the hand there, actually. He, um, he, didn't, he didn't just see about the flop into yes. four people, I, I guess. I think that's smart, you know, multi-way like that, four-handed, you know. You don't really want to face a check raise with a hand like that. I put him, I put him on my three hands some, some additional action, hand. so. You know, queens, kings, or aces, or ace, king. Really? The accountant's than you. insinuating that uh, Peter has a tight range, Probably. but he's actually pretty far off on that one. Peter's kind of a maniac. I'm pretty. He, uh, he goes for it in every spot that he should go for it. Yeah, me too. But uh, I would. Did you see the hand that Peter played with Sergio on the stream um, a few days ago? Yeah. Makes sense for you to do anything. Yeah, I watched the whole thing. Yeah, he raised the river with uh, top two pair king queen. Yeah. And um, I think it was a one. Uh, I think it was a three Sergio, flush board. Yeah, Sergio just had like a, a small flush. Yeah. And it sucks he ran into it, that, but like he almost got Sergio to fold. Yeah. And not a lot of people consider like turning top two like that into a into a bluff, but he uh, went for it, which you know, I thought it was pretty good play. Yeah, it just shows that Peter's yeah. thinking uh, out of the box further than most people do. Exactly. So we're three ways to this flop. Doctor H best with King Jack.
Okay, Nick sticks around with pocket fours. The accountant sticks around with uh, some back doors. But uh, Dr. H, 83% equity here. And Check. basically Check. locks it up for him. Accountant drawing dead. Nick has one out. Check. Let's check, check. We'll see if that induces a bluff from uh, the accountant or Nick. That's a smart play from Dr. H, given, yeah. given the two hands that he's up against. Yeah, exactly. It's going to work out for him if one of these guys bets. It's like they're, they're giving up. Okay. Go ahead. Um, King. And Dr. H could have went for some value there, but I don't blame him for, for checking he back this round. missed out on value, Dr. Hard H. Hard to get called by uh, worse. He missed out on value. Uh, I'd rather keep this way. <laughs> the accountant says he missed out on value when he had five high. Yeah, hey, every dollar counts. Yeah. Now Kitty knows about it. Every diaper counts, right, Kitty? <laughs> diaper. Every unit is diapers now, yeah. isn't it? No, one diaper, two diaper. <laughs> <laughs> it's a high stakes game, right? One diaper, two diaper. I was trying to retire in five years. Now I need to retire in 10 million. Oh, yeah, you oh, wow. 18 more years. 18 more. more years. Thank you. That's crazy. You want to have more kids? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did, did. I oh, cannot answer that. My bank is mine as well, so I cannot answer the question. <laughs> Kitty said she was going to retire in five years, and now that she's had a kid, she's going to have to extend it out a while longer. <laughs> Kids are expensive, man. Dr. H versus the accountant again. Looks like Dr. H went with the uh, King Six King Six suited raise an EP and the accountant called button. Ace high was good, not anymore. Check, check. There's check, check on the turn. And Dr. H good, pretty good river card for him. Um, makes a small value bet. And the accountant considering. Got the seven, blocking a straight. Pays it off. Six. Really well done there by Dr. H. Getting, getting a little thin value there with his six. Six is good. And I'm not sure if this is correct or not. We'll, I, I gotta take a look at the accountant stack, but looks like it is right. It's sitting on 600 bucks. Well, if the accountant takes a hike uh, soon, one of you, you and I might have to bail on commentary and go hop in this game. <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, we'll see if the accountant's got another bull in them. Or maybe, like, I've seen crazier things. I've seen players spend $200 up to, like, 10 k before. If you guys are just joining us, welcome to the game. We're playing 25-50-50. $100 straddle is on almost every hand. And we got a lot of fun players in the game today. A couple friends of mine, Dr. H and Peter Cross, Kitty Kuo. And uh, keep in mind, tomorrow, it's Kitty Kuo back with a game that's double the stakes of this, 25-50-100. L, Live at the Commerce Legend. All right, only the toughest players is also going to be in the house. I commit. Looks like the accountant just open jam Jack Eight here, and Turbo. Uh, sorry, Doctor H called with Ace Nine. Turbo's going to give action here. He's got King High. And your board. Doctor H with the Ace High flop. Gutter now for the accountant. See if he can pull out a miracle. Look. Dr. H has got his number every time. Yeah, he does. Every time. Dr. H has just uh, punished the accountant today. This is very easy straight. Two, six. Six, two, six. Deuce or a six makes a straight, but the accountant does bad, not have bad, it. Bad, bad. <laughs> Jack, I know good. Mike, you want to give me five? You have five on you? Accountant's uh, gonna grab an extra 5k here, so he is back in action. Got one more bullet in him.
Dr. H stacking chips. Love to see it. Our sponsor today is GG Poker. As usual, it's a great game. Where everybody Eco says the accountant needs a seat change. Yeah, he does, man. Maybe. You know what I've always thought would be kind of a fun game is uh, you play like one hour mm -hmm. or two, and then everybody draws for <laughs> yeah, seats yeah, again, yeah. Yeah. and then the seats change. That would be quite cool. Maybe yeah. do that mm -hmm. three okay, times right. during the game just to kind of switch up the dynamic. Yeah, it would be fun. I'll have to try that out sometime. It's like a sick flop for Turbo here. He's flopped a pair of nines and the nut flush draw. Uh, Armenian Mike and Nick don't have too much going on, though. Wayne says in the chat, Jared, what's your biggest score and why is Paul's bigger than yours? <laughs> well, Wayne, let me educate you. How, how much did you win there in the Colossus, Paul? Uh, 415,000. Okay, well, my biggest score is 428,000. So, wow. in your face, Wayne, in wow. your face. <laughs> Wayne, you got it completely wrong. <laughs> yours wow. was a win, though. Mine was a third place finish here at the Commerce, actually, back in the day at the LAPC main event. Wow. The field, how, how big was the field in that one to get? 400? 600 people, yeah. It was 1.1 oh, okay. up top, 1.2 okay. up top, back in the glory days of the LAPC. My, my buddy uh, Daniel Strelitz won first place. Oh, I know this guy, yeah. He's, a, he's been around for a long time, right? Yeah, he's a legend. He still plays? He has a kid and just chills. He lives in Orange County and just kind of hangs out, but then nice. he plays like a full schedule at the World Series. No, you know? You, were, you just missed, you missed the small line also. I'd probably be doing that too if I just could have won first like place. Okay. Oh, big one. Okay. <laughs> An extra 700 something thousand dollars would help me out a lot right now, I'll tell you that. Yeah, the sound of a million dollar score this year at the WSOP. Oh, man, that sounds, please. That sounds good, right? Please. So we got kind of an even spread here. Uh, oftentimes we find that like one player's up a ton and everybody else is in the middle, but mm -hmm. Kitty and Peter both up 10K. Dr. H up 4.3, Turbo 3.5. I could give you 2,800. Yeah, oh. The accountant needs to come back. He just bought in for 5K more, I think, though, so easily could spin this back to, to being in the green. Mm -hmm. For sure, so it's okay, it's only 125. You know, the funny thing about poker is this uh, this score that I had was back in 2017. Huh? And I had just kind of gotten started. You know, I still had my, my job that I did as, you know, sometimes. I'd had a couple of really good scores. Like, I'd won, like, 100K before and grinding cash. But, like, the reality is, is I was not very good at poker. Free money. Brutal on people. Even relatively speaking, we're always better as time goes on. You know, that was a long time ago. But... <laughs> Legitimately, there was I'd never gotten coaching before. I just kind of played, <laughs> figured it out on my own. So I do a lot of things, just kind of like yeah, yeah, trial yeah. and error. Yeah. But there were just some huge leaks that I had that I didn't even know. I think that's fine. And, you know, obviously, yeah, can, after I won that much money, I'm like, all right, I got to figure this shit out now. Yeah. And I did, you know, but looking back on it, it's, okay. it's been, I haven't had a score that big since then. And I'm like a hundred times better player now than exactly. I was. Yeah, that's just the variance of tournament poker, right? Yeah, it just goes to show. Yeah. Yeah. I've been lucky enough to have huh? multiple six-figure scores since then, but nothing, uh, nothing yeah. quite 20, like 430. I mean, that's, that, that is still a massive achievement in, in itself, you know? Just because you haven't beat the score that you had back in 2017 doesn't mean that you haven't... Um, improved or it doesn't mean that uh, you know no you're, you're not worthy of winning a big one again soon yeah I'm pretty proud of myself because honestly there's a lot of players as you, if anyone who knows if you play poker there's guys that have been around forever and they just play the same they keep making the same mistakes that they were always making mm -hmm. um, that's not my style you know if I'm doing something I want to be always improving for sure yeah that's that's my that's my take I just always keep asking questions to myself you know whether I when, when I win or whether I lose I, I still ask questions to myself exactly. you know, how can I improve you know could I have done something better you know when I value Bet the river could I have value bet more or could I have lost 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 the minimum? Exactly. You know, is, is, a lot of that comes to also being willing to ask for help. For sure. Um, shout yeah. out to Chance Corneth, one of my best friends. Uh, shortly after I won that money, I uh, reached out to him and got some coaching. <clears throat> so we got a spicy uh, spicy hand brewing here. The wow. accountant looks like he's uh, well on his way to a comeback here. He's got trip tens, and so does Alan Allen. Kitty, you will be the like the end of. Uh... I mean, Alan's good at making big folds, but I can't no. see him folding this one. Oh, Two and a half k effective. Sorry, no. Nah, not gonna happen. His only hope here is to hit a nine or a four. Yeah. Yeah, they have a tournament, and and now I go to. Oh my <laughs> gosh, the accountant's going to be sick. Yeah, He's actually this is going really to be really dirty, you guys. Really dirty. You will not play the WSOP. I will play the WSOP. But that's a. They start gym something, right? 
Uh, no. Chuck's lame, eh, but all yeah. the... Wow, so since the pot's I only got 2k in it, it goes check, check on the turn. It doesn't really matter, though. This is getting in. Uh, this, the flush, backdoor flush drop does get there on the river. That's a... One I want to play is a mystic. The cannon has the snaps, is he? Yeah, he checked back the turn, which with this draw, you know, possible on the turn, I think I would have just gone with it on the turn. The line's long. Um, now he doesn't love it. You can see he's not not sticking it in quickly here with the ten because there's possible straights and flushes out here. I mean, Allen's in the big blind, right? So he can have ten eight, uh, queen ten. Right? It's. It's folded. Oh my yes, God, sicko! Yeah, we'll be getting better. You know what? The cannon's what actually made the some very, very good folds. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, the fact that the, so the, the turn went check check just okay. absolutely okay. bailed the account yeah. out there. Mm -hmm. Like a uh, I, uh, huh? I'm always betting turn there with with trip ten. Mm. Yeah, I will be there. How do you approach the uh, World Series of Poker, Jared, when it comes to maybe like swapping some action with friends and stuff? You know. <laughs> you know, it just depends. I, I honestly like. Yeah, once a while. Once it's got to be someone very specific for me to do any kind of like long-term swap like swapping yeah. for the whole series because mm -hmm. I've, I've played so many times that yeah. I, that you're going to get your ass kicked you know and the way someone plays at the beginning could be vastly different from three weeks in to where they're on max tilt and it's just horrible and I don't really trust yeah Hey, wait. Too many people, no, you know, to, to, to be that way. Mm -hmm. I, my, as far as swapping goes, I prefer to do it on an individual tournament basis. Yeah, and so I, if you're I, deep into a tournament and you see somebody you know maybe in day two or day three, then the it's... Those are by far, those are where most of my swaps have come. There's some play, people that I'll swap with at the beginning of the tournament. You know, I've done it with Peter a couple times. Mm -hmm. But generally... Uh, I know it's probably smart to swap a lot, but for, for, for myself, yeah. maybe because I'm not a trusting so person. Like a I don't know what other people are doing, okay. you know what I mean? Well, and like, I've just... Then I'll come back. I, I prefer oh, where there's a little more equity in the swap. Like you said, when it's later in the tournament, there's three tables left, we have a similar stack. Yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there it's just like a no-brainer to swap. Yeah. yeah, I'm really hoping to have a deep run in the main event this year. That would be very nice. I, I haven't actually got out of day. I've only played it twice, lifetime, and um, I haven't been out of day two yet, so I'm hoping to improve. The money's in day three, is that correct? Yeah, and I'll tell you, I've played it seven times and I haven't been out of day two, so well, okay. you're, you're not in bad company. You played eight-handed, nine-handed poker. Um, You're a handed that. You know, you feel boring. Looks like Turbo's gonna Only six take a little stab here. Oh, at Ace High. Oh, uh, no. Always in there. And and also play the three K, five K, ten K because the more. Can't believe the accountant folded trip tens on that end. You don't want to play fifteen hundred. Most of professional oh. poker player, you no fun. You know. Mm -hmm. Good to hear. King of Hearts on the turn, and Turbo sure wants to keep telling this story. Me. I will play his house every day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mini and Mike is, like we said, on the tight side. <laughs> we definitely have some Queen Jack here. We have some sets. But, you know, he can have some folds, so I don't blame Turbo necessarily for going for it here. Thank you, my behavior. Makes the call. Turbo drawing dead. Okay, though. Interesting river card. Jack makes a straight. Sheesh. Oh, but Armenian Mike's just going to lead jam, so he does not give Turbo the chance to bluff it off. We've got Xander Stone in the chat. You know Xander? I know him via the chat. I think uh, we met in person. Actually, I know we met in person the other day. Yeah, he's a really nice guy, actually. I played a tournament with him at the Gardens Casino just, uh, I don't know, about six months ago. He's a, he's a really nice guy. Yeah, what's um, up, man? Yeah, he's a nice dude. Hi, Xander. That was the best hand. The nine was good. Yeah. Armenian Mike showed a nine, and Turbo tells him just a pair of nines was good. He thought you were bluffing, but you weren't. He did not think he was bluffing, Turbo. Tara Harrison says, I guess if you play on a stream, that's a great time to hire a coach. Yeah, absolutely. Are you drunk? Never a bad time, but if you're playing for big money under the lights, then yeah, mm -hmm. no harm in uh, trying to get some help. For sure. Sometimes in those pressure moments, though, sometimes the coach just can't be with you, you know, in, the, in those pressure times. That's that's the reason why, you know, I've done yeah. a, quite a bit of coaching in my time. Mm -hmm. Usually uh, my specialty is coaching uh, less experienced players. I'm not out here trying to get somebody who's already a winning player to, to be better. It's more about how can I, you know, yeah. help you out. And there's, there's some guys that I just... 
coach and coach and coach, and they understand it in the lesson, but then when they sit down and they're playing, and they just can't execute it. You know, it's yeah. much understanding something is much different than when you're sitting there right. with the cards in Did front of you. That is so true. Doing right. it. Yeah. Yeah. Why they don't pick up my phone? No, dude, it's too special. You're a you put it there. VIP. 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 You see? I give a finger. Don't pick up my phone. <laughs> What do you think chances Wayne's going to come out and take her phone? Mio percent. <laughs> because they didn't know I have a phone. I'm not a special, but they just don't. All right, next time they better wrestle me down to take my phone. They'll, they'll <laughs> see if they have a spade. God damn. <laughs> they better tackle me to get my phone next time. <laughs> Interesting flop here. Armenian Mike has the ace of spades. Accountant has a gutter. Dr. H open ender with the queen of spades. A pretty strong flop for Dr. H. Checks to uh, Dr. H who bets 525. Armenian Mike makes the call. <laughs> you got the Accountant only has 1.4K behind. So hmm? let's go. The same. Ready? It's a little different, but you look same age. Rick turn. I guess them big ice. Maybe, yeah. I was like 10 years ago. What's Dr. Yeah. H want to do? He checks. Oh, shit. Yeah. Sorry, I thought Armin and Mike was the uh, button, but he's small blind, so he checks it over to Dr. H. My boys H. are more young. Yeah, he looks younger, too. <laughs> Remember, you got third in that tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Resort, we trapped, resort, yeah, we right. trapped, yeah. Dr. H bets 1K, 975. Mike That's makes Michael the call. Wayne, we got second, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. And the the river's a brick. It should be interesting if Dr. H goes for it. It's a deuce. Oh, yeah. And he touched Queen me. high, not going to be good here. In the morning. I say, oh, you know what? No chance. Uh, no chance I can wake up. Yeah. yeah. Maybe if you're. So Armenian yeah. Mike's going to take the lead and I go like for a bluff. Schedule, yeah. You know? Not too early. It should work. Yeah. Uh, but I like a cash game more tournament now because you don't need to play 12 hours per day. Yeah. I like both. I like both, both sometimes. Yeah. I like a six match. Like yeah. I want to win bracelets, though. So. Yeah. Oh, really? I want to. I just want the money. Comes with both. <laughs> <laughs> you put bracelets. You put money. Peter wants no, bracelets and Kitty just wants the money. 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 Everything's about money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Armenian Mike with the fake bluff. He loves to do shit like that. Stacks up his chips, yeah, acts like he's going to bluff, and then he really never cool. does. Yeah. <laughs> now, Dr. H pulls the trigger. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, maybe no more, more maybe spade. More but yeah, Armenian yeah, Mike yeah, shows yeah, the ace of spades and folds. So sick play, Dr. H. Well done. Bet, bet, bet. Right? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Takes it down. Shows him the queen of spades as well. Oh, Oh. Well played, Dr. H. Armenian Mike probably thinks he's made a really good fight. Yeah. What you study? What I study? Environmental science. Japanese. Japanese was to get my grade yeah. up. Yeah. Xander says, looking forward to playing with you all in the circuit series at Commerce. I'm looking forward to it as well. It's going to be awesome. And yeah, I'm going to play all the ring events, man. Even the small ones, just because the, the million dollar free roll is right at the end of the series. There's like a random, you know, $300 one day event. But, 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 kind of small field. It's a nice chance to win, and, and you get like, you know, a million dollar free roll. And you ship it. So. Did I see that there was a, um, like a satellite for the main event on there as well? Oh, yeah. Yep, there is. Yeah. Yep, there's at the end of the series, there's two 1.2K buy in uh, World Series of Poker main event satellites. I've actually got WSOP fever. I'm actually going to go to the uh, going to go to Vegas a week early this this year. Get get acclimatized, right. get settled in. I and, like uh, that. Yeah, I'm just uh, I just feel like there's a good maybe maybe a good chance to win one of the smaller events maybe before before everything gets going. You know, maybe like give you a little free roll for the for the rest of the summer. You know, I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, planning on coming out. I think May 30th, but okay. What? If I final what? table this uh, Florida tournament, the final table is actually in Vegas on May 28th. Oh, wow. So that would be amazing. I'm going to be wow. there for that. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be on your rail, Jared. I'll be there with the, uh, with the uh, pom-poms. All right, bro. I'll see you there. <laughs> but uh, as far as the World Series goes, <laughs> I, think, I, I might go out a little early because I want to play this 5K freeze-out that starts the, tournament, the, the series. I don't know if you saw this. I didn't see that, no. It's a 5K freeze-out, and there's a bounty on any previous World Series main event I don't have player. A wow. That's so pretty cool. So they're in there. I think it's like a 10K yeah, bounty or something if you knock them out. But uh, it should be huge. You know, a 5K freeze out to start this series. Let's do the game. Nice. You cost what? Even <laughs> I can make a winner out of you. Yeah.
So you said Turbo was a tournament player? Is that what you said? Yeah. He just started playing uh, cash games, ah, you know, more okay. recently. Well said played. it's better for his schedule and stuff. And he's yeah. been here on stream like five or six times. Yeah. Has he had any good scores uh, tournament-wise in, his, in, in, yeah. in the past? Yeah, he has. Yeah, he's shipped a couple tournaments. Yeah. You know, he's been playing for a long time. It so. doesn't surprise me. The way he's playing today, he's playing good uh, good I, poker. I yeah, he's solid. I, I uh, definitely have a lot of respect for Turbo's game. And he's also you very friendly, always time? always makes the table fun, you always joking around. Yeah. You know, at the cash games, he's always a... Uh, Times. Good to have some, more, some drinks with. Yeah, that's another thing about the stream games that I that I really like from what I've seen um, is that everyone's always in good spirits and uh, no one ever yeah. takes it too personally when they when they win or lose and um, it's just it's just a fun atmosphere to play in, you know. Yeah, exactly. It's it's pretty hard when when you know everybody's watching you for you to kind of freak out if you lose a hand or yeah, something exactly. like that. Yeah, exactly. That's a great pull, but uh, <laughs> a game like this always gets a lot of table talk. When it's the 100, 200, 200, it's a little bit of a different vibe, but very entertaining as well. Yeah, exactly. I, I felt when I played the, my first stream uh, three weeks ago in the in the bigger game with the big straddles, and uh, it was it was only five handed. It was very intense. There wasn't much table talk going on because uh, I think everyone was very active. Serious game, yeah. yeah. Everybody's playing a lot of big pots every other hand, you know. Yeah, exactly. But uh, we got another game like that on Sunday, which honestly I prefer. I like watching it. We're gonna have 100, 200, 200 action. Wow. Well. <laughs> be a pretty sick lineup. So That's we'll a big game. Yeah, everyone's gonna be at least 20k deep. Is that right? At least. At least, yeah. yeah. We'll update you guys on the lineup for that later this week. But, uh, Lineup's not out yet. No. Okay. We'll, we'll confirm the players later. But tomorrow, oh, yeah. you know, it's gonna be a similar lineup to this with a couple other way bigger action players like L. Mm -hmm. And you. So. I'll have nice. my popcorn ready. I'm going to watch it on my, uh, on my flight. And how are we going to help you change chips if you're not the bike? How long was the flight from here to uh, to Florida? It's five hours. Okay. Not that bad. I can't do a layover, so I got a direct flight. It's not a far. Layover. Was, layover. Right now. Me a five hour flight is pretty brutal. Mm. No, the bike's right there. So I'm going straight there. Let's hear from. Uh, check how far the bike is. Time wise. Should be interesting though, because I'm going with my girlfriend, and she's. We have a puppy, and she has another dog. Okay. She's so attached to them. She's convinced me, and we're bringing the dogs with us to Florida. They're coming. Yep. Nice. So I'm flying to Florida. I'm gonna have two dogs, one under each seat <laughs> yeah. <laughs> flying over there. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any dogs to bring to my uh, WSOP trip, but uh, I, I do feel like when you when, when you have that kind of um, like company and you bring like home from home, yes. it kind of makes you feel a, little, a lot more settled. You yeah, know? that's why I don't mind doing it, having her there, go, yeah. coming home to, to, you know, to my dogs yeah. and, and everything. Yeah, life feels very normal, whereas when you travel by yourself and you, maybe you've had a bad day 1A and you... you, you, you yeah, you're, and there's no support when you get home. Exactly. You're just kind of like, ah, oh, shit, so, yeah. sit here and feel my pain. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what people don't realize sometimes about poker. It seems very glamorous, but sometimes the sometimes you just need a, a shoulder to cry on, so to speak. You know, when you when you get home, you know, when you've not had a good day. It makes such a huge difference. Yeah, exactly. And someone to share it with when you've uh, when you've done well. Yeah, I had a time during COVID when I was single and you know playing poker every day and coming uh, coming home after a big loss was you know not as easy. Yeah. And I had a definitely uh, makes a big difference. So. You cost him money. Thank you, bud. I presume he can beat a six. And I'm not going hey. anywhere. <laughs> Although, maybe I'll get Make sure not better, sure better spots. Right. If I had two cards that... I haven't seen any pictures today. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. So you stick my axe you have a screen? Huh? You have a screen? When? When you see, I can see you have a screen. Yeah, it is king. Too much. I did not have ace queen. Yeah, but it is ace, right? Ace, yeah. yeah. Three, so we're gonna have six I fold. tournaments, like in person. World Series of them. Okay. Yeah, they have a few, a few a year. Yeah. Nick coming in with the spicy raise with four, three offsuit for the cutoff. Last year, huh? it was like three or four, six match tournaments. Yeah. Right? No, World Series. They Summer. have a fifteen hundred. Yeah. Okay. Five K, ten K, four tournaments. Yeah, four of them. Peter, what's the largest tournament you bought in for? Bought in for? Yeah. yeah. They were <laughs> ten thousand four hundred. Yeah. Yeah. That's you never played oh, like the twenty-five k or the fifty k. Uh, I'm going to this year. Yeah, but twenty-five k is expensive. It's expensive, man. No, no shit. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, uh, that uh, ten thousand. It's literally the best players yeah, in the yeah. fucking world. Yeah. By a by a mile too. It's like tables and tables of crushers. Yeah, I mean you can find good twenty-five k's, but like typically, yeah. The fifty k that Brad Owen posted, vlogged about. Oh yeah, that my one's god, really tough. But none, none <laughs> are that tough, you know. That's like <laughs> one of the toughest ones. Literally. Table of superstars. Yeah, like. he did well though. He yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's, he's, he's a very smart, deliberate poker player. He is, yeah. But I mean, the guys he's playing. Yeah. Just hearing Peter talking about the uh, 
WSOP this year. Sounds like he's going to play his first ever 25K. Before that, right, the uh, 10K was the biggest buy-in he's ever played. So good luck to you, Peter. <laughs> Kitty, what the fuck? I mean, it's like a little hair. The accountant's got all in here for 1700 with King Tenor Clubs. You're like, good luck. And uh, we've got Professor Turbo and uh, Peter behind with King Ten and, uh, sorry, Ace Ten and uh, King Queen. <laughs> you guys poured me the wine. It was your, your, your you guys started it, so. I... You know what? Come on, good luck, good luck. Send me home. Good luck. Send me to the bike. <laughs> send me to the bike. <laughs> send me home, yeah, yeah, yeah. Send you home, or send me home. Oh, for, wow. just, for $1,700? That's cool. Oh, okay, Nick gives uh, the accountant some action with A7. Huh? King, I know, King, King, I know. Right? The equities are pretty close here, but let's see who wins. King, 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 Queen. I want the accountant to win. Wow, that is a good flop for the, for the accountant. Any King, right. any Club, any Queen, any Seven for the win. Give me a 10. No, 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 don't no, hurt no, me like no, that. Yeah, queen or King, don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. There it is. Um, He's got the nuts with the redraw. So good. You. You queen got the nuts. Of, queen of clubs. Basically, you got queen the nuts. No, 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 no. Wow, I would have checked you. Ooh. No, I said chop. No, I have no king. Chop. No chop. I have king queen. Good. Yeah, I know, I win. All right, the accountant doubles up. He's back up to 3,700. Still got a long way to go before he's breaking even, but uh, you've got to start somewhere. <laughs> I'm still in it. I don't have to go to the bike yet. I said I don't have to go to the bike yet. Nick, if I call you fold. Mm -hmm. You so, call Apple. Yeah. You lose to me well, too. I'd rather now. you than me then, I guess. It's always a cab, so you can that, was a really good, that was a really good flop. I saw that flop, I'm like, yes, <laughs> I'm probably not losing this one. Yeah. Right, excellent. You guys can don't want me more one? drunk. They get more obnoxious. Uh, more drinks yeah, this guy, one. <laughs> No more drugs. For that man. <laughs> Thank you. Tara Harrison in the chat talking about Korean barbecue in Vegas. Uh, Tara, if you know any good places, I love Korean barbecue. One more, one more. So, uh, yeah, write in the chat some recommendations and I'll, I'll definitely check them out when I, when I go. It's really good, but it's not expensive. How about the Opus? Yeah, Opus is good. Actually, Opus is more expensive. Not good. But I still... I have at least one at yeah. home. I'm just joking. EKO in the chat, yeah. I think Jared was telling me he does go home and tell his girlfriend uh, bad beat stories. Whether or not I crush the rest of the game. I'll say no. Uh, <laughs> Even money? I think you're behind. Just while there's a breaking hands as well, there's a, uh, a floor guy at the Commerce. Um, he's a lovely guy called James. Um, I'll see, I saw him this morning just after I was finishing my uh, cash game session and asked me to shout him out. So, James, if you're listening, shout out to you. Thanks very much for uh, bringing me some water when I was uh, thirsty this morning. I appreciate you. And, um, yeah, hopefully see you soon. You got American Mike in front of you. Olvin's here with a rare raise <laughs> on the bottom. King Six suited. <laughs> and Dr. H looks like he's going to defend the big blind. I just, he talked to play with I mean, any indication of how tight the table is. When I bluff Armenian Mike. the flop, he All right, you know what? for 200 and made it seven. He flatted you. with Ace King. He Turbo's in there with the Ace Five off. No draws, dick all on the board. He turns an Ace, I ship. I believed you for Snap like call, two Ace weeks. King. Art was in it too. Art, Art said he wasn't. I was so confused. I have no chance in this game. Mm. It's not my style, you know? I mean, maybe, Ace King, maybe, yeah. the moment I Remember make it seven, seven, I make That is about as good as you can ask for when you've got King Six who did like, six high flop. He like fished me in. Mm -hmm. Bingo <laughs> on the turn. Honestly, when people like try to like throw my leg, I'm not a, I'm more of a live player, like, as, like I never oh, play. Full color? I mean, I know. But people here is not. Well, nice. Turbo with the ace five off, an overcard and a gut shot to the uh, six high straight. He's going to come in with the check raise. Come on, kitty. You played all your life. Holding calls. Child, you were, uh, when I was a child, you were playing poker. <laughs> no, don't say that. Come on. That's a little bit too much. What you said. No. Lotus of Siam. Yes, Santa. Yeah, but why here? I don't know. That. I'll be going to eat Thai food there when I'm in Vegas for sure. You know. It's a good spot. A, 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 Asians, a lot of white hair because Asians, Asians age really well. <laughs> And, uh, I have a... Okay, back to the action. Nine on the turn. Bet 2K and call. And Professor Turbo gets there on the river. Uh, wow. I believe you. Russian women are the prettiest. My wife is beautiful. No argument. Yeah. Wow, this is a great value bet. He's bet 5,000 on the river into to 6.8. How many wives? I don't see how Olby can call this unless he puts him on a stone cold bluff. Okay. I think three is uh, perfect. Three really well, young kids. Like you said, actually, never mind. The way Olvin's been playing so far, kind of on the tighter side, you can see him making the tight fold here, but... Yeah. Like a stir yet? He'd have to put yeah. Professor Turbo on a crazy hand to find the call here. It smells like currency. 
Yeah. It's just, he tapped out too much. Uh, yeah. You know, his legs keep pushing me out across the middle. Who woke up in the middle of the night? You or your boyfriend when the baby's crying in the middle of the night? Your One thing to be said, though, is when you're kind of card dead yeah. and not playing many hands, Very good. Yeah. and you finally have something, even just a pair in these spots, you're kind of just like, well, shit, man, I need yeah. to win a hand. Like, <laughs> like, I, I, you know, you get what I'm saying? Like, when you haven't you pulled have many pots you. towards yeah. yourself, yeah. you sort of just, like, yeah. you I, want that bad. feeling. Mm -hmm. And I, I've definitely been in the spot and made some bad hero calls because that. Yeah, it's very possible as well that the, your opponents just have it every time, and then eventually, after the third or fourth or fifth time, you feel like they're playing with you. You know, they feel like they're bluffing you off your chair every time. You know, exactly. When usually, honestly, it's just not the case. Yeah, exactly. In your mind, if this was like the first hand of the session, you'd, 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 you'd always fold this spot. Exactly. Yeah. That, that's the psychological part of this game that I love, though. Yeah. There's so much incomplete information, and in, in your mind, mm -hmm. the human mind itself, just it's not impossible for you. It, it makes assumptions based on the information that you do have. Mm -hmm. And it's hard, it's hard to really fight that and, and realize that maybe this is a, an incorrect assumption that I'm making. So. Yeah, exactly. He does make the fold. Yeah. Well done. Mimi in the chat says, Kitty's back, ready to attack. Is this, is this the first session she's played since she's had a, her child? I, yes, as far wow. as I know, I think this is the first live poker. Wow. Maybe, maybe she went uh, over and played one one thing uh, tournament yeah. stop in Asia. Mm. Well, I mean, if this if that's the case, she's had two months off and she's playing like some very very good poker. She's yeah. clearly like very talented, right? She is, and she uh, she told me she's been playing online the whole time, anyways, too. Oh so. right, okay, yeah, <laughs> keeping herself busy while the uh, yeah. while the baby's asleep or yeah, crying. Yeah, so she's probably played more hands of poker <laughs> over the past couple months oh, nice. than she did yeah, before. Nice. I don't know. Yeah. Wait, wait. Because you know, yeah, when the baby around you, it's it's a perfect time to play online poker because oh, you can rock the baby, feed the baby, do whatever while you're clicking buttons. Exactly, yeah. Oh, look who's popped up in the chat. Toby C, a good friend of mine. He's just wild. Like, Big no Paul in the booth. No How are you, Toby? I hope you're doing well. Um, are you back playing at uh, the Commerce today? Or are you um, are you uh, still in uh, Coachella for uh, for weekend number two? Oh, yeah. I almost went know. to Coachella. I heard Toby was having a rather good time. Yeah, uh, from what I've heard, yeah. Fun times are had at Coachella. Is, is Toby uh, one of your fellow countrymen? Or? Yeah, he is. He's English. Sounds yeah, like yeah. it. To yeah, he, Toby's a He's lived here for many years. There. Yeah, he's a good guy. Right there. Shout right. out, Toby. Yeah, what's up, Toby? Not the best flop here for pocket queens. All right, Kitty, send me home. I'm all in. Oh, no. I didn't even notice the accountant has flopped top and bottom. Kitty's got top pair. And based on the accountant's been playing, you know, I, I wouldn't put it past her to call. She, she's seen the hands he's been shipping it pre with. 34, 24. I mean, the that. problem, you yeah. See, Armenian Mike's behind, so that kind of saved her there. Mike, water's warm. Come on in. Good hand, buddy. Good hand. Our guy waiting in the chat is uh, is asking if he's a good enough poker player to win a bracelet. 34, 25. Well, he crushed. I don't know if you know this, but Wayne's like the number one winner on global poker. Yeah, wow, that's tournament test, side. Yeah, he, that's he not easy to do. He crushes it, man. Up so, here, if you can win on global poker, you can win at the World Series, Wayne. You, we need to see you out there in the streets, no, I don't man. Want to see it. Yeah, yeah, Wayne. Let us know in the chat if you're actually going to go to the World Series this year and play some play some tournaments. We want to see you win a we want to see you win a bracelet. Put it in. We run it once. Good. Yeah. yeah. Just to play with you again. Yeah. All right. Oh, an Armenian Mike makes the call. Accountant talked Good him into money. it. Two clubs. Oh wow. Uh, Armenian and Mike was hoping he had a flush draw. So accountant just opened shift this flop. So yeah, it looks like a flush draw. Whoa, whoa. And Kitty had the best hand. Four eight. Yeah. Full fold. For now. Seven and two Kitty had ace eight. Yeah, you'll win. Wow, don't want to come back. I love that celebration from the accountant. He's such a character, man. I actually love this guy. He's so fun to play with. And always funny. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Yeah, yeah. You feel good to see those hands. No? Me and Dr. Do you like Korean barbecue, Jerry? I do, yeah. Okay, nice. Tara Harris in the chat going to come up with some uh, recommendations for us. All right, let's hear it. Yeah, but which one of you calls $300 pre-flop with Jack-5, huh? None of you. None of you. Really, everyone That's why you earned it. That's why you earned it. You earned it. Everyone about me. Yeah. Her, she never. She won't put a quarter in with that hand. And then you stay two hours longer. 
I, I take all your for, money. For, oh. <laughs> There's zero chance, by the way, of that happening. You taking all my money. I promise you. All right, let's go. I yeah. love it. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm boy. I'm just Hi, talking like this. <laughs> Kitty, no, Kitty, don't joke. Okay, give me, give me I, a one hour. Kitty, I will take it. Kitty, I get so excited when you talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. He said, don't threaten him with a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the accountant says, don't tempt me with a good time. He wants the battle. You got him all excited, Kitty. He's got, uh, he's got talking chips now. Yeah, man, I'm just getting started. Are you actually an accountant? Yes. Oh, okay. CPA. CPA. Respect. Peter over there has been pretty card dead for the past hour and a half, but he's up 10K because the hands that he has played, he's, uh, he's won. You know, two days ago, it was busy until a week ago? No, I, I, deal, I work with companies. Okay. So, um, different. I'm, I'm busy here. Always extension, oh, okay. right? Always. Yeah, the, the biggest issue is payments. Uh, the, the forms don't really matter. It's more about like um, crystal, crystallizing your tax liability so you figure out what you actually owe, where your deductions are, what you can do, what your planning is. That, that's the, the forms, you know, computers will fill out the forms. Toby says yeah. he hasn't recovered the brain cells uh, needed to return to the, the commerce yet. And yes, that's very uh, fact, right? well understood, my friend. Uh, it's really I went all three days to Coachella two years ago, and yeah, man. None of them are like It was one of the funnest yeah, times yeah. of my life, but after I was done yeah. and after I got home, uh, uh, yeah. I couldn't really, uh, yeah. I couldn't really function yeah. properly for a couple days. Finally. Yeah. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't believe you. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. You, you did. So, see for me, guys. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's, he, he can keep his cards. Don't worry. All right. It's, it's a thousand romance. Yeah. I don't know if he wanted to keep that one. It was King Eight suited, but <laughs> yeah, good on you, Olvin. Scooping a pot finally. You got some firing shots. He's had really good patience though, despite not having good cards. Huh? Now be careful. Made some good folds. We just we just cheer for you, and then now you just be careful. <laughs> For now. So the accountant spun it back up to 7.9k turbo with the big stack, along with Papa, aka Peter. There's your B pips. Pretty expected. What's the lifestyle? Can I tell you? The accountant. You know what? Come on, you can't. Far out front. I'm actually like. Before I ate that salmon, I was like. And nothing's changed much in the past 30 minutes as far as who's up and who's down, except for the, the accountant uh, recovered 5k and Armenian Mike took a dip. The problem is you're a very shrewd professional poker player, and I'm a donkey that'll jump. Social person, I talk. You don't think I'm I, social? I dress, I dress as sex. You don't dress sex, you know. <laughs> I love Kitty. Wow. What's just the way she says stuff with her accent is just so, he, so good. He, he, well, two married, two married people. <laughs> she was trying to say she dresses sexy, but she says, I dress sex. I dress very sex. <laughs> and I was like, why not? I'm the social person. Okay. I'm just like. Nice. normal. Yeah. I'm a degenerate gambler and an alcoholic. I'm very social. <laughs> right. Come, give three, three. I need 200 from Kitty. Huh? I need, there's a collection for I need a three. Oh, uh, 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 okay. I need no a show of hands. Wait, what's your hand? Seven? Seven, ten. Okay. I need a show of hands who's interested in doubling me up one more time. Turbo? I'm, I'm, not I'm always interested in WL. I'm awesome. not greedy. So seven, seven, seven. What's that? Okay, with three, we triple. Yeah. With two, triple. double. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got okay. it. First card, okay. First Nothing doing there, and Peter with Deuce Four suited here in the hijack, mixing it up, and he flops a flush. I, I want to make sure I'm not super drunk before the. Doctor H, six seven with the seven of hearts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Let's drink the half hour. All right. Could have raised there, Peter, but he does just call. Uh, yes. Wow. These uh, low card flushes are kind of vulnerable, but we want to keep our opponents batting. Holding all your hands. That's two. And three on the river. Doctor H is probably done with his hand. Peter going to try and get some value, I imagine. I want to know what the preflop action was, though. I didn't quite see it. I guess Peter opened Deuce Four suited. Trying to channel his inner Paul Heiser. Oh, and Peter going to go big. Overbat, huh? Overbat. <laughs> Unlucky for him, Dr. H didn't have anything, but I like the, I like the big bet there because there's a lot of hands Dr. H can have on that board. That is a flush, Peter. That is an ace deuce of hearts is what that is. Yeah. Promise you, no worries. You're halfway there. Correction. Uh, how much do I owe? did have the deuce of hearts. Pretty stupid hand to try to play a bluff, and I flopped the nuts. Do you want me to bluff up there? Yes. How much? 450. No, no, no. 
One hundred something. One eighty. Yeah. See, well, I do. I played a shitty hand just to try to bluff, and I popped the flush. Yeah. If I hit your That's hand, literally what happened. This Peter's been two card dead. He's trying to keep his beat pip up. Gotta work with what you got. Opens the deuce four suited. It flops the flush. Some of us brains, others beauty. Yeah. Gotta work with what you got. One eighty four, right? You know that was a re-raise pot, right? Was it right? And I was out of position. I showed it too. All right, more respect, more respect. But I want to see the second card before so I make it. Before start? I okay, let me ask. It was a four of hearts, but well, you know, once you fought the flush, yeah, you're what not can gonna I do? Happen. Like, I promise you, I would have bluffed if I didn't hit it. Jago. Then I hit it. Bingo, dingo. It's the the tricky part about playing these games when you're a seasoned pro like Peter is that. Uh, Yes. You know, you kind of always have to make sure that people don't think you're just there sitting around waiting for the nuts. And obviously that's not what Peter's doing. However, when you're really card dead, it's kind of tricky because people kind of make that assumption sometimes. They're like, no, I've just been getting very bad hands. Um, and that's kind of the social part of cash games and navigating those if you play them full time is that you really have to, you know, no, you have to make yourself likable in a lot of ways as far as the way you play even. Yeah, my understanding is that Peter's a very likable character. Oh, he is. I don't, yeah. I don't think he'd be uh, last this long yeah, poker, uh, having yeah, the yeah, reputation yeah. he does if, yeah. if he didn't uh, mix it up. Oh, and he does, and he also, like, he, Peter just goes for it, you know what I mean? Like, I've seen some sick bluffs that he's, he's, he's made, and so forty-five minutes. Uh, when, when you make a sick bluff like that, and obviously people see you, you know, show down, yeah. that buys you a lot of uh, goodwill. It's only stuck 20, and I was like, all right, I don't... And it's a, you know, it's a winning strategy, like, like I said. It's not like we're out here just doing stupid stuff, but, like, you know, making reasonable bluffs is a big part of, uh, part yeah, of this game. Yeah, that's definitely my, my style, is to, 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 to play... A wide range of hands, be creative, and uh, let people see some kind of uh, hands that are, you know, are not, not necessarily the norm in certain spots, and uh, that will that'll pay dividends uh, later on in the, yeah, in the game. Yeah, and then when you flop the nuts, like you did twice the other day, exactly. you, you literally got the match. Exactly, yeah, because you know? Harry, Harry knew I was up to no good for the four and a half hours, and he, he right. took a stand at the wrong time, you know? Yeah. I felt bad, I like Harry. Do you play, do you play the mini, the mini it would have worked because I was out of line so much, so it yeah, would have worked exactly. for most of the time. You know? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you need to play that one? The million dollar? No, who do you? I'm not rampage poker. I'm just. I'm just I'm not, I'm not. No, but personally, right. rampage, I saw 10 times, he lost 10 times. Ra rampage. Oh, 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 sicko. Oh, 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 oh. He's on a rampage. The, the same did you see it. his uh, last one when he no. walked into. <clears throat> fucking ace ten nothing uh, on the flop uh, ships it against the set of queens. The ships it for a million dollars and gets the fucking set top set to flop. Oh, I've seen that one. That was a while ago. That was a yeah, while ago. That was ago, the right? last million dollar game. Oh, uh, was it? Yeah. By the way, EKO, thank you for the recommendations on the barbecue. Definitely take some of those and check it out. Um, Best thing, you know. No, not yeah, yeah. Poker. Um, what's his name? Oh, hands, hands, hands. 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 supposed to quit the poker. Hans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peter now with a real hand. He's got pocket nines and turbo. Puts in a three bet. It's just not very effective. <clears throat> no straddle on this hand, so Peter's open us to 200. Turbo makes it eight. I watch you a lot. Why, why I have a baby? Uh, but now I also need a double up. <laughs> Peter likely going to come in with a call here. Hey, hey, Kitty, we are yeah, in camera. Just say yes. Yeah. Uh, we are one, just in here. We say. Hey, just say yes. You need. Okay. I like it watching you and again you're funny to watch. You know? I don't like it just watching people play and quiet. I, you are you are funny to watch. Yeah. Is this a three butt pot? Uh, it is. Yeah. Nice. So Change your tone. Just Peter open pocket nines. Now, turbo three bet. Said? Peter call. I say you are fun to watch. Pretty good flop here for two nines. <laughs> <laughs> you think Peter ever ever check raises on this board? Do you think he just? Uh, um, I think now he's just going to call. I think uh, Turbo bet like two thirds pot. Is that right? He bet like twelve yeah. into eighteen, so it's quite a big bet. Yeah, he three bet eight hundred pre and then bet twelve hundred, which is, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Sure Not typical, and, and that sizing. Oh, he's going to raise. Yeah, see, I had my sense. I, I well, know my guy here. Make sure Maybe Peter knows more about turbo than I do. Otherwise, I don't want a photo. <laughs> <laughs> Your work. Turbo does have the ace of spades. <laughs> 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 
Turbo's been very aggressive lately. He's kind of amped it up since he started playing these cash games. I've seen him just like blast people off of hands. So yeah, I think it's where Peter probably gets the worst price on a call and uh, you know, maybe denying equity from the kind of hand that Turbo has. Maybe to yeah. check raise is, is a good play. They're very yeah, because for nines there's a, there's so many bad turn cards, you know, yep. that that hit Turbo's range. And you're out of position. Yeah, when you see it, I think the more standard thing is to call. That's what I would probably do more often, especially versus a small bet sizing. Mm. But yeah, this is nice. Uh, Gets it done. Websites. Takes down this spot. <laughs> we might not have the same problem at the, the World Series this year when uh, you're only playing 20 or 30 big blinds effective. You know, here yeah. they're playing uh, a lot deeper, you know? Of course. I mean, I'm like getting it in with pocket nines on that flop, you know? Exactly. Have 30 big blinds. Yeah, exactly. You know, if you check jam the flop, you, you know, you can never make a mistake, right? Yeah. Yeah, funny. No, but, yeah so I thought I'd tell her. But I will. Uh, the video. Like I said, I'll never question anything Peter does because he's a great player. So. Yeah, exactly. It, it, there's been even been some weird stuff he's done. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? And then he, he, he pulls up the solver and shows me that that's actually what it says yeah. to do. And I'm like, what the yeah, hell? Well, that's man? the thing. He's, 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 he's obviously very well studied, but he's obviously got great intuition as well because poker is obviously just about intuition as well as, as much as it is the, the the whole study part. 100%. And he's definitely got both of those. Um, the other thing about Peter, which you and I both do too, but I think it's kind of rare is we play a lot of cash games and a lot of tournaments. Yeah. Um, yeah. Most people who are successful in poker, in my experience, kind of stick to one or the other because yeah. the strategy is so much different. Yeah. Um, you know, the mindset's so much different that it's a little bit tr tricky right. to, you know, hop back and forth right, between the two, but no Peter does that better than almost anyone I know. Yeah. What do you What do you tend to do, Jared, in terms of uh, trying to sort of keep ahead of the curve in cash games and tournaments? Do you kind of um, set one week for cash game study and then tournament study, or do you just... Uh... Well, at heart, I'm a tournament guy, yep. so when there's a lot of tournaments going on, that's what I focus on. Yep. Um, if there's a big tournament in L.A., I'm almost never going to play a cash game uh, instead. Yeah. I'll go play the tournament. Yeah. And also, that, that holds true with studying. You know, I've done a good amount of studying with cash games, but it's mostly just been with my friends talking over hands, kind of yeah. thinking about some things. I've done, you know, a little mm -hmm. bit of some, some, some cash game courses, but like 90% of the poker that I've studied is poker tournaments, to be honest nice. with Nice. Yeah. No, it's just interesting for people in the chat, you know, to hear, you know, your, your view on it, because obviously you've been playing and doing very well for many, many years now. And, and, uh, you know, there's going to be some people in the chat who, uh, who aspire to, to do as well as you've done in the past. And uh, I think it's good to have an yeah. insight on, on, on how you approach it, you know? Uh, honestly, my, my personal opinion is that winning at tournaments and going deep in tournaments is a more complex and difficult strategy than playing a cash game. I agree. And so there's so much more questions that I have. There's so much more spots where I really don't know what to do or I need to figure this out. Whereas, you know, not, not to... Not to and I like a poo poo cash game strategy, but I feel like you can sit in these type of cash games and just play a very solid strategy, which you know, and be a very big winner. No, I agree. I agree. If I was out here battling regs every day or playing cash online or something, that's different. Like, you need yeah. a lot of studying for that. But yeah. Like that, it, yeah, I feel like with tournaments, the finer details and the margins are a lot closer. Uh, yeah. There's a lot more intricacies um, that people don't necessarily know about if you don't play tournaments. With, uh, you know, what you do with 20 big blinds and 25 big blinds is a lot different, right? So. Yep. Yeah, that's why I kind of get into it sometimes with cash game players about that because they think that it's yeah. less complicated than it is somehow, but they could be more wrong. Armenian well, Mike here has the nuts. I'm taking it uh -huh. on my Do you think Nick knows uh, that Armenian Mike's kind of on the more passive side in these spots? And, uh, yeah, he's played with them a decent amount, so he should know that. Okay. Um, although Armenian Mike has ran a couple bluffs today. I still got my call. But yeah, I could have sworn I had Jack and all. Way, way, way more better hands to call with here than a seven with no kicker. I feel like Nick gets very unlucky. I mean, he had a straight on the turn here, right? And then the uh, the seven that he blocks has come on the river and given Mike the higher straight. So, yeah, it's, yeah, I see that actually. Yeah, so it's it's just a uh, yeah. Nick is a savvy player as far as understanding kind of where he's at in his hands. And we both have nothing. Jack, Jack, five, five, eight. We chop. Wow. And you're like. Yeah, he was also like... Alexander Wang says, is that you commentating, Paul? What, you don't recognize this uh, sultry British voice over here? Of course it's Paul. It is me, Alexander. How are you doing? Yeah. He's a nice guy. I'm glad to 
Glad we sorted it out. Who'd you do it to? Who's that? It's gonna name Rahul. I feel like everyone knows my voice at the comments now. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you've been around and you, you, you're you one of the chattier players compared to most. So yeah. people are at your table, they, they definitely get a good dose of it. Yeah, I like to have a lot of fun when I'm playing and I like to be vocal. Can and uh, for me to do that? Yeah, I guess Sorry. Yeah, occasionally it can rub people up the wrong way. But uh, yeah, there's, no, there's never any malice. I get on well with pretty much everyone that, that I play with. Yeah, so, uh, you know what? I'm the same way and I'll definitely needle people and say certain <laughs> things. But it's always yeah. with good intent. But I've definitely, uh, just like you, since I talk so much, I've gotten into it with some people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, as long as you're not too sensitive, you're pretty thick-skinned. And, uh, yeah, and yeah. actually, real quick here, we have a we have a big hand in process. Oh, wow, Allen Island, who has ran into some real unlucky situations, is in another one now. Yeah, but finally, we've got two big hands here, and both both players have got big stacks, right? So yeah. we could have a big pot here. Yeah, and Allen, I think, is a little more on the conservative sides. Um, facing a, a four bet here, he does just call, which is totally fine. Yeah. Gets a pretty he would have to catch ugly flop like for Ace King off, off yeah. which they don't clip. he doesn't like, but well, he's, he's glad a king didn't come. He just doesn't know it. Very few streams I've watched. Alexander, I'll be spicing it up tomorrow. So if you tune in tomorrow for the uh, 25, 50, 50, 100 game, um, I'll be uh, I'll be spicing it up. I believe you on that one. I'm not a good poker player. Yeah. You're a good poker player, but I, I want to see you like, you know, like Garrett sit down. and then. You if you've got any friends, Alexander, that wants to tune in tomorrow, please let them know. So live at the Commerce, we're going to be starting around 2, 2.30 tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be big action. See you guys there. I'll be checking it out. You guess me, you guess me. You know. So, 256 Rainbow. I used to play with him sometimes. Kitties. Yes, but I got that pretty lucky. big here. 3.5K. <laughs> And then he would try to play 10, 20. Yeah. Interesting sizing here. She's gone really big. Just kind of hoping that Allen's got, you know, eights, nines, tens, jacks. Yeah, yeah. I remember why he doubled me up. Which would never be folding on this flop. What does that mean? I didn't know who he was. Allen, though, with one of the weaker parts of his four bet, continuing ranges. He's king here. Why are you copying my style? He, he, Not a lot. He always said he's like, I'm a good player to win against because he's sitting deep. Don't and, copy yeah. Kitty's style. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's great to play with because he'll, you know. <laughs> And yeah, tricky spot for Allen here. He just has ace high. The, because of the big bet sizing, I think he can get away from it here. Smaller bet, maybe we continue and see what happens, but he does let it go. Can I see it? Come on, the reaver. Can I see the reaver? He just folded the flop? Yeah, it was a kitty four bet pre flop. Yep. And uh, but but kitty bet uh, pot. Okay. A little over pot actually on the flop. And I was saying if she had bet like quarter pot or third pot or something, then maybe ace king does continue. But yeah, I agree. You'd rather buy a house. Than call she was just trying to charge the max to the other over pairs in the hand. You know, it's a four bet pot. He's going to have like eight, nine, ten jacks. A yeah, lot. I think that's going to be a good good strategy. I don't see a lot of people folding over pairs on the flop to one bet, right? So yeah. So while you got a good board for your hand, like, and then their range has a lot of continues, mm -hmm. you know, betting bigger could be good. Yeah, all in all, and I really like the way he's playing though, because I feel like he's, every spot that he's had, he's just kind of made the right decision. So he could be down a lot, man. Yeah. Down a lot. If yeah, he, exactly. I bet the ace king if he didn't fold kings when Kitty had a boat. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. Exactly. There's, there's other ones I'm not thinking of either, but he definitely is losing um, way less than he you, could you be, gotta which is part of a like, part of winning at cash games. Yeah, that's what poker's about, right? When you're when you're running bad and things are not going your way necessarily, you make the the right folds and you lose the minimum. And uh, you know sometimes the, you know you can't win every session, right? So yeah, exactly. At least like the other day, you know, in the game you and I were in, I ended up breaking even, which was annoying. So it was an amazing game. Yeah, but if I look back on it, there's a few hands I, I could have lost 25k. Exactly. You know? Yeah. I exactly. that every hand. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good flop here for pocket fours. Turbo's got a boat. I mean, it's really, really tough when you're a player. Yeah, you, you want to keep betting on these type of spots. But when I hit, um, when I with a, a low full yeah, house go, like this, right. yeah. three-handed, I think. Yeah, the, the but you're running, you know, nobody had anything, so kind of unlucky. Finish, right. But the other days, I'm stacked for 60k every day. Live by the sword, die by the sword. And I and I usually sit a lot deeper. I just I don't know any of you guys in terms of poker. So. Yeah. And I know she's pretty tight. Tight? Tight. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, compare you, I'm tight. Compare <laughs> him, I'm tight too. <laughs> compare Dr. H, I'm super tight. <laughs>
Does that mean you might ever get involved with the uh, table chat or just sort of keep yourself to himself? Quiet, man. Uh... <laughs> you know what Armenian Mike's famous for, right? No, I don't. No, tell me. Uh, so back at the uh, the old uh, uh, Live at the Bike days yeah. many years ago, he makes a, a bet on the river as a bluff. Are you cool? And then... Uh, our old buddy Ryan Feldman yeah. snaps. Yeah. Says, call. Yeah. And then immediately when he snaps the Armenian Mike, I was joking. I was, it was just a joke. It was a joke. No. I didn't mean it. I was just joking around. And like, no. just the, because it happened like instant, it was like, all in call. Yeah. He, he like somehow like convinced everybody and just like refused to pay it and was like, I'm not doing it. And then Feldman just let him off the hook. It's like, okay, fine. Wow. To keep him coming back in the game. But it went viral because it How was much a, money was in they the pot? It the joke bet. It was like a 20K pot. Wow. Like, maybe more. I don't know. Okay. So if I go on Anyways, YouTube, I can, I can check uh, it out. I'm sure if you if you Google Armenian uh, Mike joke bet, you're gonna see there's oh, okay. like articles written about it. Oh, wow, like it okay. Was, <laughs> okay. Uh, shout out to Armenian Mike. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, do they have a casino? <laughs> so you need somewhere to close the casino. Has he done anything similar since then? Or was that, was that so. a one and done, no, uh, that, one and done trick? I don't think he dare to try more antics <laughs> like that ever again. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not. Yeah. Hawaiian Garden is close yeah. to Orange County. Got the Jack Jack 5 flop. Decent flop for Dr. H, pocket threes, but he's in uh, rough shape against Olden here. Multi million dollars. He's got the snowman. Yeah. If you have your money, you shouldn't come here. Too much tax. Yeah. Too much tax? Yeah. You can also find out like a good private school and wherever you go. Yeah. You know, they always have good private schools. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, we're at, the I accountant we're continued at with King High as well here. Yeah, but Queen of Spades on the turn. Not really yeah, the turn card any of these players wanted one to one see. Well, some yeah. schools, like this, mm. my high school was like very good school, but you have to test yeah. to get in. Oh, yeah. okay. Was it a public school? No. Uh, a private, private school. school, yeah. Okay. Loyola. Four of Spades on the river. The accountant doesn't know it, but if he tries to bluff at this hand, it's going to work. Catholic? Yeah, I Jesuit. But they probably realizes it's the only way he can win the pot. They're, they're, they're pretty re like they're pretty realistic, you know. What I mean? Is there like a like a Bible study? There is, but like for example, Noah's Ark or like Adam and Eve, they teach you that it's like a myth. You know, they don't tell you that it's like actually like. I understand. You know, this is like a man. You got some nuts, like, sir. You know, we read these. Checks through, so Olden uh, gets himself another pot. The story, not for, you know, so other <laughs> other Catholic schools are like, this is like actually true. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. I'm not Catholic, but right. um, we have like Jewish kids at our school too. Mm -hmm. like, it's a good school, so a lot of, there's a lot of not Oh, yeah, yeah. So you guys all voted in the poll. Will Kitty be our big winner tonight? And it was literally a split 50-50. Looks yeah. like the people who voted yes are uh, are on their way to a victory, though, because I think Kitty's up the most now after that King's hand. Yeah. I believe in Kitty. I, I voted yes myself. Me too. Cheers, guys. Cheers. If I had to vote, I would have voted uh, Peter or Kitty, and yeah. Yeah. luck would have it. They're both uh, the big winners in the game so far. Now you're going to learn the word. I mean, from what you're watching, Jared, can you see um, can you see any sort of <laughs> dynamics about uh, you know any of these any of these guys playing like a big pot soon? Or? I mean, there hasn't been. Well, I think Olvin's going to play a pot right now. That's my guess. My read is that he's going to raise. <laughs> good read. Good read. Will someone get stacked soon? That is a good question. But yeah, there's there hasn't been like a, a ton of two people battling each other a lot besides Dr. H and the accountant. Yeah. Dr. H, I think, stacked him twice. No. Mike is um, Miss K. How can I look at him? If Dr. H and Peter had more hands since they're sitting next to each other, I really like that dynamic. Yeah. I took uh, Peter with me to dinner with Dr. H one time. How was that? They know each other, and after, as soon as he, Dr. H found out Peter was good, he wants to battle him. That's why I like Dr. H. He, he wants a challenge. You know, like he's that. not doing this to. Oh, I like make a lot of money he enjoys the game yeah it's actually a friend of mine uh, Manny who actually comes and plays uh, in the 510 game with us quite often um, and uh, yeah he, 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 kn he knows that there's a lot of guys that come in and play like pro and he likes to come and battle you know right. yeah he likes to sit deep and he likes to uh, I mean I lost uh, I think I lost like a 10k pot to him maybe bigger a 13k pot to him at, uh, at 510 yeah wow um, yeah well look at this spot here and uh, Olven with aces Dr. H flopped a boat oh. and Olven's pretty deep too you got to feel for Olven this has got to be the one where he just goes broke, surely. Yeah, unless he gets a, a, a real interesting run out here. Your mom is dead. Both, both. Dr. H could have gone with a raise here or just a call. Are you mommy's I like the call with 
the boat. Yeah. Uh, five of spades on the turn. Yeah. Very bricky turn. Yeah. Yeah, we expect uh, yeah. aces to, to bet again. The question now is, is Dr. H going to raise now? Because you really, when you have a hand like this, you want to start getting money in. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a vulnerable full house, too. Well, the new question in the chat was, will somebody get stacked soon? And... Uh, I think their timing is it's impeccable in, because I think this is... They might have spoken uh, that into existence here. Yeah, this could be showers for Olvin. And Dr. H, some good awareness here. Like I mentioned, now's the time to put this money out here. Ooh. And Olvin knows Dr. H could easily have 3-4 here. Could have a 6. Could have deuces. There are no flush draws, so it is a little tricky to, to think of too many bluffs. This is a GG moment. Yeah, we're looking at having the biggest pot of the night if Olven continues here. What do you think about Dr. H's play here? I think if he was ever going to choose sort of call or all in or, or a little raise, what do you, what do you think would, would yeah, be the rest? Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, a raise, maybe all in is better. Uh, it's it's tricky. Like I said, deuces is just kind of like, there's not, you know, there's some bad rivers for you, a five, a six, mm -hmm. you know, over cards, but like, Olven is. Oh, Olven shoves. Yeah. How much? Oh, and Dr. H is asking for a <laughs> Oh, poor Olven. Olven thinks he's got the best hand now. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, and Olven can just. He could have five, six. He could have fives, but is he really going to shove here with that? Yeah. And, and as played, you know, he bet, flop, bet, turn. Yeah, bad timing Dr. for... Uh, just has an easy call here. Yeah, bad timing for Soina Marti Martinez in the chat. It says, vamos, Olvin. This is not a good time to tell Olvin to come uh, on. Olvin necesita suerte ahora. Like, Va a requerir un, un, un Jared, I, I didn't know your Spanish was so good. Yeah, I, I speak Spanish. Lived in South America for a while back in the day. And nice. Picked up uh, Espanol. Nice, you speak All right, Dr. Well. H, come on, man. Don't put this guy through this. <laughs> What's he thinking about, man? So I already put 7K out there, and the bet's 14K, 13K. So Dr. H shows 7.2K more. Benedict wants to see a call and an ace on the river. That would be spicy. I think Holvin kind of deserves it after Dr. Yeah, H's tank he just, call here. He just slow rolled him somehow, and he knows. Oh, he, oh man, poor Olvin. He Olvin's thinks he's gonna, good for yeah. sure. He's going he's gonna to be sick when he sees Dr. Dr. H hasn't even shown his hand yet, yeah, but Dr. he's going to be sick. Dr. H likes the weight. He it likes the weight. Funny. So Olven needs a six or a deuce. He's giving him the finger oh, sorry, the one time. Me. He needs a six or an ace. One time only. Yeah. Not going to do it. Ship it to Dr. H. Oh, look at Olven's face. He just seems gutted. He's absolutely gutted. No, I don't show. Yeah, you I don't show. Yeah. Oh, he says, I don't show until the river comes out. The guy's sitting there thinking, thinking he's good. The guy's like, no. thinking he's, uh... Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. tilting, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. H taking his time on that one really rubs the rubs the sand in the wound there. It's like, boy. Just like I don't. Dr. H is going to be our big winner at the moment, right? He's yeah, our big winner tonight. That, that's thirty-two thousand dollar pot. Yeah, he's going to be up twenty k, I think. I have to show first. I mean. Don't need to. Only winning show. Oh, yeah? The chat are not happy because uh, they know that they know that Dr. H is slow rolled. Dr. H didn't mean it. I promise yeah. you it wasn't with bad intent. Oh, I don't, I don't believe that I for a second. I just wanted to, to see exactly how much it was and mm. think think it through for a minute. But mm. obviously he was never folding a full house. Mm. Yeah. I'll be back. Do you really think he thought that uh, Ovid had better? It's possible. It's I, possible. I mean, mm -hmm. I think the, the thing is, is that like he raised, he raised there on the turn. Yep. And Olven has been very tight. Yeah, that's true. And so it's like, well, hell, I mean, he, he's just shoving now. Like her age went from being a fish to being a crusher, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what I missed in the last six months, huh? Oh uh, no. Doctor E. I lost. Uh oh. So. Excuse the pun, but Doctor H has been in the lab. He and, has uh, been in the lab. That's I Heisenberg over here. <laughs> You know, uh, he, he works for a chemistry company, so that's why I call him Heisenberg. Heisenberg. Yeah. I'm like... But, uh, 
You got it, you got we it. We posted the poll, will someone get stacked soon? And I think literally the next hand was, was a 35k bot yeah. where Olven was stacked with aces. I'll just send it to you like five minutes before, right? I said, can you see, can you see some big hands? Uh... Yeah, we spoke it into existence. Yeah. Yeah. We respect okay. the rule. Really? Pretend, pretend those are not there. But technically it shouldn't not be his. <laughs> or am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't yeah, care. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like Olven was dealt in. I don't know if you get to see what's going on. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay. No, you're just doing your job. Yeah. Got my friend from the UK in the chat, Robert Hutchison. They have their own. Good friend of mine from uh, from the UK. He said, "Are there any WAPs on the table tonight, Paul?" Yeah. WAP is well, WAP in my uh, in my uh, London terminology is what a player. Got you. I see. What a player we call. Well, yeah, Peter's a WAP. Peter's a proper WAP. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I thought you were referring to the to the Cardi B song. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Everyone yeah, thinks that's like, what, what it is. What are you talking about, man? No, no. <laughs> I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Bad no. timing here. Alan, three bets here. But the straddle was not on, so it's uh, yeah, only longer, 500 right? bucks. Of course. That's why Peter's I'm got so happy. Oh, and there's a good I don't need to take care of anything. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We're hanging out I here. I came up. I came up. Have good wives, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I said, you, you, are, you, you could do it. Yeah. <laughs> and Peter just check folds. So I think... Uh, Alan, did Alan lead the flop? All right, Alan, three bet. Three. Oh, I'm wow. Peter I, calls. Okay. Yeah. And then Alan table. Yeah, just see bet the flop, and Peter's just Let's just go. folded. Yeah. Wow. Doctor's not scared to play. And I think that's an image thing too. I think Alan's been on the tighter side. <laughs> yeah. but kudos to him for, for mixing it up there. <laughs> the three bet from the big blind is pretty tense, not not too standard. I could never ever ever get away with that. My my image is shot in every single yeah. game I play in. Within the first 30 minutes, you know what? You know what? The uh, the game I played uh, at live at the Commerce here last week yeah. was like the first time I think in a long time where my image actually stayed intact despite playing so many yes. bad cards yeah. for like four four hours and a half you know yeah. and it was only until Harry took a stand that I think uh, it's just because you didn't show down many hands I know. like that was very lucky that you weren't showing down much and like yeah. not, uh, I personally I'm not looking at the stream in between or going and asking people what people had till after yeah, no, yeah. no one else is really either mm -hmm. yeah who were the guys uh, commentating that day I think it was was it Derek at like LA yeah. Roundup or something that was the LA Poker Roundup guys. yeah exactly yeah. they're nice guys they're, they were saying how uh, I should show the, the, the one of the bluffs I think at the very start of the show and uh, I think not showing that bluff has actually like stood me in very good stead yeah, for the next four hours. Yeah, it worked out for you. It's, I mean, it's just if your intention is to continue playing that way then not showing it is probably good. Yeah, exactly. If you're just doing that to set, set the tone like, you know, get it through and then like, okay, I'm going to yeah. play a little, little more. No, know, I came in with a little bit of a game plan to, to kind of keep my foot on the gas for the whole time and, um, you know, you know put, put on a show because uh, I don't think poker should ever be boring so I wanted everyone to, to have fun watching me play and uh, hopefully I can bring that again at Live at the Commerce tomorrow. I yeah. love it. Yeah, I always show. Don't worry, that's like, I'll show even if I'm the one who like. Oh, thank you. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Because I know you will take a joke. Yeah. 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 So the accountant's chilled out a little bit since he got his double up, but he's still our big yeah, B-pip winner. Dr. H, I'm going to scratch my head. Uh, we'll see if Olven is uh, coming back over. But as of now, after that big pot, Dr. H now up 20K. Yeah, I was right, 20K. It's a good like big good, winner good, in the game. Winner, yeah. These are the three players that I'm probably friendliest with that are up the most. Dr. H, Kitty, and uh, Hoppa. So I guess I'll take credit. What happened to you? What happened to you? And dealer, you got to match him up. I asked you. <laughs> match him up. It will be. It would be great you call her name, so if you will match oh, I'm up. Oh, sorry. Jennifer. Jennifer, I didn't yes. know her name. Jennifer, please match up the cards. <laughs> Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Yeah, Callan's going to get a pocket pair next time for sure now that he has polite. But I sent you a bill, okay? I've got to say, I'm really enjoying the stream so far. It's my first time uh, commentating, and uh, I feel a lot more comfortable now that we're maybe two to three hours in. And, uh, yeah, watching the stream, everyone's having fun, and uh, the, pots have been, the pots have been good. So Yeah, man. This is, uh, you know, sometimes it's just, just the way the deck cooperates. The game can be a little slower mm -hmm. just because nobody's making any hands. But there's been uh, so many confrontations, so no, many... I've been having a lot of fun. Yeah, it's kind of cool, like seeing with the whole cards, uh, whole cards up. You know. It's yeah, I fun. love it. It's a nice little uh, homework for you too, though, because a lot of these players uh, play on stream, so definitely you might be playing yeah. against some of them tomorrow. Definitely. How about Opus? Yeah, I'd love to come back and uh, commentate again if you guys will uh, have me. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll see you back in here very soon. People, you know, people love an accent. I will say. <laughs> so even if you're not doing as great of a job as you could, just the fact that you got the nice, the exactly. British tones over there. Exactly. You're already a step ahead of the game. Exactly. I'm kind of winging it a bit. If everyone's listening out there, I'm kind of winging it a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying what you're hearing and, uh, and what you're seeing. Remember their name. 
you know. No, you're Doctor. You're a hundred percent right. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. If I'm going to be commentating for the first time, I'm very lucky to have you alongside me, Jared. So thank you for uh, your support and for helping me out today. I got you, man. You're doing great. Thank I'm happy you. to be here. Thank you. Uh, interesting uh, question from Robert Hutchison. He says, thoughts on li uh, should live streams have players subbed in or out if they're not interacting or being too nitty? Mm. That would be pretty brutal, I think. You bring someone in, have them sit in a cash game. It's like, no, man, sorry, you didn't play enough. You're out. <laughs> like, yeah. I think more typical is like if you, you know, if they, if, if you play a certain way, maybe you won't come back too often. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's an interesting concept. Well, you came up with that concept about um, potentially changing the seating arrangements yeah, every hour. That would I, be kind of cool. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea. Honestly, if it was set in stone, if you have a VPIP below a certain amount of uh, number after mm -hmm. one hour, you're out. Yeah, I could get behind that yeah. as long as you're making everybody aware. Hey, this is where your VPIP's at, so I know. Okay, yeah. I got to play every hand for the next the next orbit, or I'm out. Yeah, then you kind of need to have um, a couple of uh, substitutes per say on the sidelines yeah, kind of watching exactly. in and when somebody gets subbed out you get somebody subbed in straight away to, to fill the void you know? yeah horrible hmm, it's an interesting idea i kind of like it i know but it's a terrible it's a terrible you hand. can make a straight you know tournament i'm not even kidding if someone raises and you have like up to 30 bigs king 10 suited you're all in sometimes really yeah sometimes depends on the situation based on the position very good hand to go all in it's like i really like this from dr h this is a really really cool play what do you think the gun raises and it goes yeah. call, call call and you have king 10 for 40. Got two overcasts to the jack Back door, straight draw. Dr. H is a, he's a savvy man. He's, he's playing really well, really yeah, well. Yeah, I think he's killing it today. He's a, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've known Dr. H for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And comparing his game now to, to when I first met him, he's, yeah. he's learned some tricks, man. Yeah, that's another thing about poker as well, is that when things are going well, you have the confidence to try things that you wouldn't necessarily normally try, you know? Dr. H was, had just got stacked recently, he wouldn't have done that, I, I agree. guarantee you, actually. I agree. Then King 10. I'd rather have a King Queen. Kitty says she would rather have yeah. king queen than king ten. Wow. Shocking. I feel sorry for uh, <laughs> Peter because uh, I feel like we want to see, you know, what, what what kind of tools he's got in his uh, in his arsenal, and he's just been very card dead in the last. Uh, yeah, he last, hasn't like, even had anything to really mess around with any like light three bet hands that he should be three betting, like none of that. So. Yeah, just some kind of like, you know, like cause one or two gap at uh, two gap at. Uh, uh, you exactly, know? but uh, sometimes that's how it goes. And honestly, if that if that's how it goes, and you're winning twelve thousand dollars, then like oh, yeah. you know, yeah. you take it. Of course, it's only so. hundred fifty. No way. Yeah. That's, that's what she's fishing. Armenian Mike Grace cut off and Nick calls on the button with deuce four suited. Excuse me, deuce four off suit. Of course, I buy the six fifty. No way, one fifty. Yeah. Well, she's she's gonna bring me two bottles. I'm gonna. Wait. Armenian Mike with a pair of threes. Check calls. It's open. And now Nick's got an open ender, but he decides no not to bet. Great <laughs> <laughs> from China. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta bet now if he wants to win the hand. <laughs> this, sir, is a very tight. <laughs> <laughs> but it's me because it's too big. Huh? You may be skinny. Oh, so gets it through. You said they're going to change the table, right? Armenian Mike's had another uh, wardrobe change. I he's noticed taken, that. Yeah, he's taken the All American hat off, and he's got like a um, poker-related hat now. Yeah, it seems more uh, more appropriate for the game. I mean, my you know. Yeah, we know that, but we know that. But it's going to get up as a half pass, was a one fifty. All right, uh, you guys, Opus or Camus, pick. Uh, one each. <laughs> okay, one each. Yeah, fair. One each. We are yet to see the return of Olvin. He's um, he's having a little break after that. Thank you. Yeah, I would be lucky had he had with the aces. Too. Yeah. Yeah, 299 is not bad. Yeah, not bad. But the 150 is definitely not real. That's poker in a nutshell. Sometimes you don't do anything wrong and you can find yourself on the receiving end of uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, a bad we beat. Yeah, know that one for sure. Yeah. We've all been there. You're not a poker player if you haven't been there, right, Jared? Yeah, if you played poker for more, more than four or five times, then you, have, you, know, exactly. you understand. Exactly. One year to fold. <laughs> all right, call check down. All right, all right. Call check down. Call check down. Yeah, okay, call. Call check down. Is that okay? Yeah. Peter agrees to call and check it down after he folds the face up. Run a dealer. Run a dealer. Run a dealer. Run a run a run a club. We just all run all the cards. 
Why you do it to him and not me? Little nine hundred dollar flip, ten seven versus four three. I like ten seven. Four three's got no chance. Drawing stone dead. <laughs> One more card. One more card. <laughs> <laughs> Left cash man. So he squeezed the hundred and fifty bucks out of uh, Peter there. Respect. Man, just I like how you said no when you had ten seven. <laughs> I shook my hand. <laughs> Well, you said you want me to fold. I'm like, I'm looking at my hand. Uh, by the way, if it was suited, I'd tell you, uh, fold, fold. No, 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 I, I, I want to fold it. Get rid of it. <sighs> I usually win the call check downs, to be honest. Me too. We just spike a three on the river. It would have given you the straight. Hmm? It would have given you the straight. Yeah, something like that, I don't know. Uh, Dr. H, which bottle do you want to open first? No, I still have my Camus. No, you don't. There's nothing in there. Which bottle do you want to open first? I think we should do Camus. Uh, yeah, open the Camus first, please. Yeah, leave it open. Uh, no, I think we're, we're okay. It's the same wine. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Dr. H, you your turn. We've got a four-way pot oh, brewing here. Me up. Yeah. All kinds of random hands. Seven, seven, three. Not this pot. It's this? not in your range. Check. You don't think so? Yeah. Mm, Turbo's got the uh, king high flush draw. He's got the most equity. Pocket five is currently in the lead, however. No, I mean range. Not anymore, though. Accountant flops top pair, and uh, Turbo has the flush. Turbo's the range. <laughs> That's 800. Fold. Wow. Fold. He actually makes good folds, Turbo. Yeah, uh, he does. Uh, the, the accountant, accountant yeah. yeah. He's made a couple really, really savvy folds. Mm -hmm. One of those guys that, you know, he's just aware. The Dr. King H 10. makes the call, though. King 10 was the best of the fold. That was an incredible fold. Yeah, I forgot about that one. It is a red pot. Oh, Dr. H. Got sticky there with the pocket fives and the spade. Hmm. You have to, huh? Turbo? You have to. You got an A spade. Oh my god. I got two pairs. Most likely I beat you. He wants to look him up so bad. Yeah, Dr. H doesn't believe. I fold wrong. <laughs> Dr. H asking for my help. You, you folded right, Dr. H. A spade. I can tell. Oh, no. No, Dr. H, you did the right thing. Yeah, if you can hear us, Dr. H, you've done the right fold. Doctor, you're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> I know. A spade. I'm just counting you. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. Is Turbo LA based? Turbo never yeah. yeah. Yeah, he lives in Orange County. <laughs> nice. Uh, is that the nice way of saying Turbo is a fish? <laughs> <laughs> if a fish acts meek, he's got a hand. Yeah, strong, he's bluffing. Uh, he might bluff me, but he will not bluff you. It's my point. You know, because I'm female. No, I don't think that's it. It's because I don't have any folds in my range. Do I do 150? Fold, fold. This has been agonizing. We're going to be hearing from Peter here with his ace king of spades. All right. Peter uh, had Ace King of Spades versus Pocket Kings on Sunday on stream. Got it in pre-flop for like 25k. Already, maybe. this time a little, little less stressful. Yeah, but but I mean, you know, if you have an A spade, I do the you same. do the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so why you, I said sometimes yeah. that's a poker. Sometimes yeah. you just well, have cannot, to do it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to find, figure it out, Doctor. You get the headache. I don't want the headache. You figure it out. <laughs> and you can make the call. Oh, that's why I try yeah, to yeah. ask different teachers. Like, yeah. okay, what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> what would Jared do? Yeah. Uh, Robert Hutchison, accountant, oh, would be listening to Kenny Jared Rogers pre-stream, it seems. <laughs> yeah, he does know when to hold them and when to fold them, apparently. Huh. I can think of a couple times when he didn't know when to fold them. But I give you all the information he has made some pretty sick folds. Yeah, slightly embarrassing fact about me, Jared, if you didn't know. Every single time I go to Vegas for a big series, yeah. just as I'm sort of entering into Vegas, you can see the strip, you know, in the background. Yep. I always put Kenny Rogers on every single time. And I have a good sing song to myself because uh, it kind of it kind of G's me up for the for the series ahead. That's amazing. Yeah, honestly, I do. I no one knows this. I like that too, yeah. where I just do certain things to get me psyched up, you know yeah. what I mean? Just yeah. Certain, certain routines yeah. that just like get me get me in the in the zone. The lyrics are so true, man. So uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, if anyone's uh, on their way to Vegas or uh, any tournament series, they should uh, play Kenny Rogers.
Luck, the gambler. You want to win the Colossus. That's how you do it, boys and girls. Up, right? <laughs> You've been out playing me all day. You make the right bluff. And you make Ovin's the right back. Bluff. All right. Glad to see it. And Armenian Mike checks here and gets counterfeited. Ace King. Could have been a good spot for him to bet. Turn, but he does still win the hand. Banger. Good, good flop. Well, that play would have Uh, H. Don says, ask Armenian Mike where he got his hat. Which hat? You know, he's had multiple hats. It's that one, the white one with the uh, the white and black one with the with the cards on it. Yeah, I knew you were talking about that one. Just trolling. But uh, yeah, that is a cool hat. Hey, who's ever coached Look at this setting, it's beautiful. The, li the lighting's just amazing here. Exactly. Yeah, it's a big... It. Uh, That's how it all looks started. like a nice I know exactly what you're going arena for poker battle. Yeah, I'm going to get myself some good sleep tonight and uh, get ready for battle tomorrow because I know L's going to be bringing his uh, yeah, A game. Better, if L's going to be there, you better be ready, man. I'm telling you. I really hope this guy's not on my left tomorrow. Yeah, I really hope so. That's the thing, man. When he's in the game, like the seat you get is such a such a big difference maker. Yeah, I just feel for the... Feel like for the for the sake of the game, you know, if we want a, a, a better game, you know, more three betting, more four betting, I feel like I want to be just uh, okay, a couple seats away from him to his, yeah. To, yeah, to yeah. his left. Yeah. It's also kind of tricky. I've been in games where he's um, on my direct right. Okay. And that, you know, you, you like to have position on players, but for a very active player, that can also be very bad because I had a lot of hands where I would like have an easy defend from the big blind and he's just three betting every single time. Or I have a, a hand where I want a three bet and he's already three bet and it doesn't really make sense the cold four bet anymore and yeah. it's just kind of like blocking me from playing ants yeah i understand yeah sometimes as, a, as an active player yourself you just want to kind of open the action quite a lot yeah and if he's opening the action all the time or three betting other people quite a lot it kind of uh it kind of uh puts your hands behind your back a little bit you know? yeah exactly it's very frustrating Flop, you bet he called can you bet what happened? Um, the flab was... Um, <laughs> Dr. H hasn't stopped stacking chips since uh, since the start of the stream. Yeah, he's killing it. Yeah, he's Made a good well. fold earlier. Yeah. Stacked pocket aces. 750. 750. Why is it 750? He, I think he lost the minimum with Jacks versus uh, Peter's mm -hmm. uh, aces. Yeah. And the flab was... Uh, well, he raised the flop and then folded to the jam, but he could have potentially called the flop and then Peter could have or, better or get on the flop. Or he could have called four bet because it was like exactly. a late open and then a button three bet and then Dr. H was in the small blinds. So. Yeah. That's what I'm saying about intuition and spidey senses, you know, sometimes you just know when, uh, yeah. when to call, when to go in. Absolutely. You have to you tell me you block okay. me. Um, For the turn, I'm, I'm I will... Like Tool was a five. Yeah, I... I... I personally... Good call, Nick. Never fall on the Don't turn. F around, okay, yeah. bro? Uh, you're right. That would be my walkout song, EKO. If I was gonna be, uh, if I was in, uh, if I was a pro boxer. Can you imagine a fighter walking up to that song? It's just like so, like slow and chill, and they're just like. <laughs> well, my fellow countryman uh, Tyson Fury, he walks out to some fun stuff. So uh, yeah, I think I can definitely get behind that. You, I was watching you, Mike. I was watching you. Oh shoot! Now you. I read that wrong. I thought they were comparing uh, me and you to Mike Sexton and Vince Van Patten for a great duo. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that would have been nice. I don't think we can get that good of compliments. Pocket queens, pocket kings, you know, pocket jacks. I love Mike Sexton though. Yeah, legend. Uh, that tournament I final tabled and got third, my biggest score. He was actually there too. Oh really? He was the commentator yeah. still, amazing. but yeah. but this time he played and he I think yeah. he got fifth. Oh really? So I played with him, you know, a lot and yeah. played with him on TV, which was mm -hmm. a great experience. Wow. You, know, you know who I've always wanted to meet? Yeah, who's that? Norman Chad. Oh yeah. Because this guy is a legend. Come on, oh, yeah. just his voice and the way he commentates is. Uh, you know, uh, I was amazing. playing at Hollywood Park the other day and he yeah. was there. No yeah, way. Yeah, he plays a little mixed no game way. over there. So. I want to meet him. I want to get a picture yeah. with him. I want his autograph because uh, he's a character yeah since i started watching tournament poker since uh since uh, i don't know sort of like in my, in my teens you know yes, um, exactly. i think it was the like espn uh, coverage and mm -hmm. um, yeah he's just always done an amazing job in my case, yeah uh, he's with, got uh, a he's got some nice uh, <laughs> color to add to the yeah, game exactly with uh, with Lon mccarran yeah, yeah. They're, they're a great duo they really are yeah listen to them commentate just gives me flashbacks yeah like you said to when i was a kid watching That's poker it. on tv before mm -hmm. i played yeah. you range you very careful people you to play for you to play 100 nick check raising the uh Ted, is that right? Yeah. yeah. I think the, the, the flop went oh, check, check. and. very different. I think that Gary is the best. 
Like, Nick has really good instincts of where he's at with the hand. This is an interesting spot to... Uh... <laughs> Peter's not happy. Peter's trying to get involved. Yeah. He's, he's been so guarded. the seven deuce. Yeah. <laughs> you're right, Jared. What you were saying about Peter, he's like either had like the best hands or like the, 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 the bottom sort of 5% of hands, you know? Yes. And, and, not, and not much in between or not anything in between, in fact. Right. And, you know, part of, part of the know-how, like we were talking about earlier, is he's mixing it up with some of those bad hands now. You know, yeah, exactly. played the deuce four suited, played the seven deuce and showed it. It. These are good sure things did. for uh, image maintenance. No hand, no hand. <laughs> no hand, no hand. Stop me. Yeah. Oh. I was trying to study poker before I come to play. But every time I want to open a computer, I fall asleep. Take care, baby. He's very tired. <laughs> <laughs> full-time job for sure. Uh, well, yeah, it's an easy job. But I also lost the memory. You know, it's really easy to lose the memory. Should we see if Dr. H can crack aces twice in the in the last 30 minutes? Let's see. It's another guy who's who's had a hard time, but uh, I don't think he's cracking aces here. No, not this time. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. Yeah, I play 40 hours. I can't talk. Alex. Yeah, can't yeah. Love, but I can play really? poker for some reason. Really? Yeah. For, what? Like my speech will start slurring. I'm, I'm not going to try. I'm going to Uber home, all that. But the for some reason, like, poker is like, like, like the last thing that goes. Okay. It's strange. It's really strange. Because sometimes I misread my hand. Good like Dr. H. very tough. He yeah. Has yeah has outside the box. Like, yeah. Those are those spots. Imagine you, you, you flick in the 100 bucks into a $500 pot, oh. and the five comes on yes. the turn. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you be careful what you wish for. No doubt. Dr. H escaped there from top set without putting any money in. All in Allen. I don't want to play against Alan. He's too good. Yeah, I love the way he plays. He's yeah, he's played very well so far. Mm -hmm. Like we said, avoided some major damage. Yeah, for me, Alan and uh, Doctor H are the two uh, standout performers for me. Yeah, this is yeah. one of the better games I've seen Doctor H play. He's running good too, obviously, but he's he's made the right decision most yeah. of the time. What are the guys think in the chat in terms of who's who's played the best so far? Yeah, let's good see question. what you let's see your thoughts. Who's your favorite player so far? Who's playing the best? Who's playing the worst? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Can, yeah, that's what you should say. Tell us who's playing the best and who's playing the worst. <clears throat> the accountant here mixing it up from the small blend. And wow, Nick what a flop. Call. Yeah, interesting. Uh, both both players pretty light here. He's playing the 4-3 of diamonds in true Tommy Buca style. So everyone played the best main event here. So it's a key event. Shout out to my friend Tommy who flopped uh, quads with this hand. Did he really? Wow. Yeah. I know he actually rivered quads. I beg your pardon, he rivered quads and somebody had a, a top full house and uh, yeah. stacked them in a very, very big pot here at the Commerce the other day. It's hard to get paid with quads, so it's nice uh, you have quads and someone has a boat. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, I'm still awake, so don't put me in. Pretty big bet from uh, the accountant here. Trip lead after level one, you know. <laughs> 12 starting <laughs> Turbo was caught here with the eight. I mean, this is button versus uh, small blind. So you can see Nick potentially uh, continuing here. Yeah, and the accountant doesn't have much behind. So maybe Nick is considering just kind of either folding or shoving here. Let's it go. Yeah, you know what? From what I've seen of, of Nick, I feel like he's kind of got good intuition for these spots. And he kind of does actually err on the side of caution most of the times. You know? He does. Yeah, he feels, like, he feels like people kind of just generally have a better hand. You know? Yeah, he makes a lot of hero folds. Yeah. So, you can like the other day, a flush over flush versus me, and he just folded my, to my exactly. check raise on the river. Yeah. Well, on the other side of the coin, uh, Jared, if you play against Nick in, uh, in future streams, you might be able to uh, throw a few uh, cheeky bluffs in there, uh, you know? Absolutely. I definitely have in the past, but maybe I should more. I listen. Just kidding, Nick. I'm never going to bluff you. I always have it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. She just there got you go. the carnation card. She for diamond. Four. You asked for. And I and I did exactly what I what I said I was going to do. I played the hand. Yeah, cop that, huh? Robert Hutchison says Armenian Mike is the worst. Not even close. Uh, Star. What the oh. It's not about the money. It's very harsh from Robert Hutchison. That is harsh. That is very harsh. Because I want to go rich. Banger. I like Armenian Mike. He's a nice guy. Mm. Everyone else had redeeming qualities for overall play. 
Well put. Yeah, Dr. H is rich. He doesn't care about $100 that he's burning. I'm, I'm totally opposite compared to uh, Kitty. I have Check. no discipline. Okay. <laughs> the kids are older now. <laughs> you, know, you, graduate, you graduate. They're good. They're fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't need any more money. Uh, yeah. They're good. Yeah, they're good. They're set. <laughs> One thousand. Overback. Sheesh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Too much. Why don't you re-raise yeah, them? Too, the same too much. Too much. Re-raise me. <laughs> I, there's I just not, realized. Yeah. Too much. Oh jeez. You like money? No, I don't. But, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, if I liked money, I would have still had my stack. I like, um, I like a I, good time. I like a good time, and I like the game of uh, you know needling and yeah. a little bit banter yeah, and that's then fun. Yeah. throwing some chips around every now and then. Yeah, last round have some fun. Yes, sir. Those are definitely the reasons I love poker oh, too. I love it. going back and forth with people Croc. Croc. and then busting them. Can't take it with you. So Alan has ace queen here, gets three bet by Nick, and the accountant snap cold calls. Let's see how Alan wants to proceed. I have 5k behind, he's got like nine. Maybe closer to 10. Total. Sheesh. Alan's continuing the trend of knowing where he's at on the hand. Comes in with the four bet here. Hmm. And Nick can't really continue here. He lays it down. Now the accountant with a decision. Can I have a waitress, please? Can you call? Can you call a waitress for me? Please. Service. Service. I need a service. Yes. Takes the call. Easy service. In rough shape here against Ace Queen. Let's see if we can connect with this flop. Queen in the window. No back doors for the accountant either. So where are you normally yeah. here? We'll play here. Go ahead. We check here. Hollywood Park. Hollywood Park. Oh, no. Sometimes, yeah. Oh. Goes check, check, and now Jack on the turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Not the card the accountant wants to see. Sometimes a good game there. Uh -huh. um, bicycle occasionally. Yeah, I, I could buy. But mostly, mostly here now. Oh. Alan bets 1500 now. And the accountant with a decision. Got a pair of jacks, second pair, top kicker. So still no other job? Just yeah. poker? No job, yeah. Okay. Poker. That's called pro pro, right? Yeah. That's how it's no, that's pro. called lady. You Easy. don't want to go to work. <laughs> yeah. But you gotta hey, you gotta make money to feed the he family. He didn't spend that much. He didn't buy any product called Chanel, so he didn't spend the much. It's okay. Tight. I need to get this job because I need I buy a lot, okay? Oh. <laughs> Diaper. <laughs> No, I'm buying a lava bag. And after I Alan checked flop, time, like, seems a little fishy, days. but the accountant <laughs> I don't want looks like he's going to make the lay down. remember what's kidding. Don't scare in my boyfriend's <laughs> mouth. <mom. laughs> it does. That's before that. Another yeah, great before. fold by the accountant. <laughs> you know, like a four months, I didn't buy anything. Before. Only oh, buy okay. baby's clothes, diaper, uh, okay. my boyfriend's <laughs> shoes. That's all. <laughs> boyfriend's shoes. How do you know if it was a good fold or not? No, I buy stuff. Cartier. Only way it's a good fold is if you have quads. Ah, for your boyfriend. <laughs> Bag. <laughs> is it quads? Yeah. No, I don't have That's a good boyfriend. Don't spend any on oh, the On the river after that. That's good. Yeah. That's a good catch right there. Uh, probably Kings are racing. Oh, she's reasonable. She's reasonable. You got Come a free on. 1200 bucks. Oh, let's go. Yeah, it was a four bet pot, so. <laughs> for, uh, the accountant for understanding the strength there of uh, Alan's range. Are you reasonable? 
I never spend men's money. Oh, wow. Extremely, I, extremely reasonable. I'm like way too GTO. <laughs> I'm a GTO girlfriend. You ever spend what money? I never spend any men's money. Oh. I'm very independent. Other than your father's? Yeah, only my father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good story. <laughs> my dad is a sugar daddy. <laughs> Mega me no need to spend another mess much. <laughs> oh, must be nice, Kitty. Yeah. Regular daddy. All my property, everything, my my dad buy phone. Yeah. So. Yeah. so pocket 8s, pocket tens. My dad just asked me if you make a hundred k per month, you you can spend all the money, but you cannot all the money to the bank yeah. everywhere. So he said, you can spend all your money. You don't need to worry about buying the property, everything. I will pay for you. But he just don't want me overspending. You uh, know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rob wants to know if I could wear a, a, a hoodie like All In Allen tomorrow for my stream. <laughs> Imagine Jack was not there. You might have to. These colorful outfits. I really think in a If you can play like him, then maybe that's the key. Yeah. Only because you're here. So, Rob, I'll think about it. You're here. Dr. H with the best hand here, we're still with pocket tens. The way Armenian Mike played it with the limp uh, worked out. But now, what's he doing here? He's turning hand into a bluff. Goes all in for more than pot. And it's probably, probably going to work. I mean. No, he pulled oh. already. You he pulled. I pulled, I pulled it. He already fold long time yeah, ago. Yeah, already. Long That's time ago. Said. Long time ago. <laughs> Banger. All right, what? Dr. H snap folded just due to Armenian Mike's image, so. <laughs> who, said, who said Armenian Mike doesn't bluff, hey? Was he bluffing there, though? <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure he knows. <laughs> Either way, though, he takes down the pot and gets the better hand to fold, so well played, Mike. Nick, why didn't you bet? On the turn. You want your blind? Kitty. I was waiting for you to bet. I raced. Yeah, <laughs> after this ends. <laughs> you just check. God we damn. can go play heads up for like 20k if you like. Or I can play here. I have a Dino. Uh, but you can come tomorrow. I play tomorrow. No, Why not? I can't. I can't it's going to be the same game? Tomorrow? Yeah, almost the same. Uh, no, no, no. Like, it's different. 5100. Yeah. Oh, it's bigger. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got a big game tomorrow, guys, and some really big action players, too. Today's been very fun, like so many sick hands and fun showdowns, but tomorrow is going to be some big stacks, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see a, an, an 80K pot tomorrow. Uh, the biggest pot today so far has been almost 40, like I said, it was 35. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hopefully I'm on the good end of one of those 80K pots yeah, tomorrow, Jared. That's, that's the key right there. If you're going to play an 80K pot, I recommend being the winner. I've been manifesting it for the last week. And I'll be doing so tonight when I uh, when I close my eyes. No, because Love it. it's like 4%. No, uh, that's good. That's good heads up, though. That's good heads up. Because he's folding more. But yeah, I mean... I, if a play heads up, you need like... I, I, also, I also can't I, I can't really read you or him. Why? Yeah. Because he's... You're too far away. No, no, no. It's too quiet. Now, now, I will play your heads up for 20K, but the deal is, before we even start, we each drink a bottle of wine, <laughs> both of us. Okay. Are you limitless? Damn, that's, that's good. I, I've, I'm in, com I've confidence my alcohol tolerance. Huh? I've confidence my alcohol tolerance. I'm not worried, no, no, I'm not worried about tolerance. Yeah. It makes it more fun, you know, like, yeah, we're, yeah. get, get shit-faced and then let's go. You guys go ahead. <laughs> the accountant challenging uh, everyone to a drunken heads up match. Just bet you on the hand, doctor. I feel like no. he would get me on that one. Yeah, just wait for Peter just nah. doesn't want to be a part of it. Just, yeah. uh, the only reason I say heads up because you can't really get a big enough yeah. to going. <laughs> yeah, I'm 36 now, and I remember last week oh, drinking yeah. with uh, Harry uh, a couple glasses of wine and then onto the McAllen's, and I just remember waking up the next day. And then just, I'll, I'll I just bet. felt like I'd been run over. Yeah. Right? I just, just felt yeah, so, felt so sore and just. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Yeah, well, I, used I to drink like a best. decent amount, and now it's it's a rare occasion for me. Yeah, post 30s, it just hits you differently, doesn't it? Yeah, it absolutely does. All right, let's have a look. Wow, Dr. H got 36k. It's very deep in this 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 kind of. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, we got four players with over 30k. So if there's a cooler, mm -hmm. you know, we could see a 70k pot. I, I know all the like I, I play there a lot, huh? Yeah. And that? Do you want to play with? Not now with him. I'll play. Good range of e pips. <laughs> Wow! Hey, thank you. That's a job. I believe. Uh, yeah, Dr. H still the big winner of 20. And Gideon Papa still 
in the 10k range. <laughs> Olvin, who just lost a massive got it. cooler with aces against a flop boat versus Dr. H, is uh, down 20, but still got a couple hours left. So yeah, I feel like the uh, I feel like the general consensus. I know this is how I feel when I'm in one of these games. I feel like if I'm uh, kind of like on the break-even side, maybe winning a couple thousand or losing a couple thousand, I feel like uh, I really want to kind kind of try and push it for the last two hours and see if I can have like a a good win. So that's what I'm hoping to see from some kind of yeah. some of the middling middling stacks. I kind of feel that way when I'm break even too, and it's a little tricky because yeah. Yeah, you can sometimes just force it a little too much trying to do that. Yeah. But when it's a game with kind of like a hard stop that you know is going to happen, and you don't know when you're going to be in it again. You know, it's kind of a situation where yeah, you really want to. Yeah, man, I need to make something happen. Yeah. No, I don't want the people think I'm stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you talking about it already, like. I think um, he put a one call. We now have respect female race, don't you? Test. No. No male Nothing female. Nothing to do with male female. Yeah, yeah. You know. oh, looks like the accountant led. Try to make it into a kitty ISO. Yeah. And Dr. H with the three bet here on the bottom with pocket nines. Right. For me, it's a six. Nine, six, three, two diamonds coming up. Even my dad. going to call? Oh, my brother. I'm check yeah. raising my dad. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to call. I'm going to suck out you at the poker. Don't my grandma. But <laughs> I have a double position. Is this your bunch? Is that what you want to steal? No, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Straight to the buck. No. Actually. I want to see a flop, dealer. <laughs> I mean, Kitty's smart. Dr. H, like, oh, I don't want to make it you know, he, I, I think he probably has weighted towards value yeah, on these type of three bets. <laughs> mm. We haven't seen anything too light from Dr. H, have we? Uh, no, -flop? I mean, the pre pre-flop is not where he gets out of, out of line as far as three betting goes. Yeah. He'll call and raise a lot of hands that, yeah. you know, maybe are a little out of line. Yeah. But if he's three betting, four betting, you know, he's usually got, you know, got the goods. Yeah. <laughs> then post flop, you know, he'll check raise, you know, with scudders up and side before. Mm. Do you yeah. feel like this has helped you in your career, Jared? Because obviously you've you've commentated for quite quite a while, and uh, you've obviously got to do you know a lot of these type of streams at all different sort of uh, you know uh, player types yes. and uh, player levels, you know, Absolutely. and skill sets. Um, so do you feel like do you feel like you start to like overthink during hands and rivers um, when you play now, or do you feel like uh, no, you just got a very good idea? Of yeah, what I, I, feel, I feel like he might give you not just commentating but playing, but obviously commentating and seeing the hands that, that people play. I, I have a pretty good sense in these type of lineups. Yeah. You know, in a lineup that's a little tougher, it's not the same. But like in a lineup like this or a private mm -hmm. game or something like that. Yeah. We've got a pretty good handle on it, and, and definitely yeah. seeing a lot of hours of uh, of live stream hands has helped with that. Yeah, my take on it was I wasn't too sure how hard people are necessarily trying to impress by the way of, you know, going the extra mile to, to, to bluff the river or bluff the turn. And, you know, sometimes sometimes you might be on autopilot if you're just playing, um, you know, in, 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 the, in the casino floor, for example. And then when you're actually on a stream game, maybe you, you start to, like, Lever yourself into thinking that people have a lot more hands than they should do. That yeah, for sure. Um, and it, the thing that you have to keep in mind is that it goes both ways, though. Some people, when they're on, on stream, they, they make plays yeah. on the tighter side that they wouldn't in game because people see their cards. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. And so you kind of have to, it's tricky. You just have to determine which type of person it is and, yeah. you know, is it a factor or not. But mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's definitely a. Definitely a puzzle. Those, those are funny though, because like the guy with the aces. That's what makes poker great, I guess. You know, yeah. just the fact that there's so many different uh, different types of players. Uh, yeah, and so much meta psychology. To what does he think about me? What does he think I think yeah, about exactly, him? Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's my problem. I feel like everyone perceives me to be uh, pretty crazy, so it's kind of hard yeah, for me to, to bluff as thing, much. Yeah, but then the thing you have to keep in mind is like, no, that is that how they perceive you, or is that how you perceive that they perceive you? Are the you latter. actually right? Definitely you know? the latter. Yeah. You exactly. get what I'm saying? So yeah. I mean, because exactly. It's really tough. And and it's it's really important skill in poker to really have a, a lockdown on on what people think of you. Yeah, exactly. And that's why people want to play me post flop. Now I that's why we love the game. <laughs> and and then three flops too easy. Robert Hutchison didn't like the fold. I don't be from Kitty. The five yeah. four diamonds. They were so deep. So I think we should definitely at least see the flop. Yeah, I agree. I mean, if Doctor H isn't getting out of line too much, then I think uh, five four suit is probably going to perform quite well against his uh, bigger pairs or big broadways or whatever. You know? For sure. So Nick check raised the swap, and good. accountant good. continued with his straight draw and hits it on the turn. You pay her dues. Now Nick uh, with we haven't paid our dues yet. pretty much nothing. So it costs See if he wants to do something here. You owe me two hundred. You owe me two hundred. Okay? Yeah. I feel like we haven't seen Nick win any uh, big hands or anything. Yeah, he really hasn't. Today. He's he's tried a couple times. He's made some good folds, but. Mm. 
no real good pots going his way, and he does yeah. give up here. Yeah. And I feel like the previous streams that I've actually watched Nick, I feel like he's always in seat one. And going back to what you said earlier, Jared, about potentially moving seats every hour to yes. give yourself a little fresh, uh, fresh start, maybe that could be the the play for Nick. Yeah, maybe switch up the seat and uh, account and check this back here on the river. Pretty tight check back there with a straight. I said to Nick, if you check shove, I'm, uh, I'm, not, I'm not liking it. Yeah, I mean, Nick check raised the, the flop, so I can see why he was a little uh, hesitant there. Mm. Somebody asked in the chat, do you have a Yorkshire accent or where is it that you're from? Uh, I'm actually from uh, London, the capital, East London to be specific, yeah. near the Olympic Stadium. So no, Yorkshire is uh, is in the northern part of England. They speak very differently that's to the way I, I do. Say, that's a much stronger accent, I it believe. Is, yeah, exactly. I've heard that one. You've got a, a very uh, classical British accent, I would say. I do. Yeah, I, won't, I won't do the uh, typical uh, northern accent because I don't want to embarrass myself on, <laughs> yeah. on, on, on live stream. But uh, if I could, if I could hear it, then I think I could do it. I'm good at like imitating a sound once I hear it, but I don't know. It doesn't come to mind. Yeah. So are you, uh, is that, have you ever done the DNA test or do you know where your, where your heritage is from? Are you pretty much all from uh, the UK? Oh, well, you know? no, my heritage. I actually think um, deep, 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 far back in the ancestry, I think I'm actually um, like part Russian because my yeah. last name is Heiser, H-I-Z-E-R. Right. And uh, I think uh, far back, uh, I think, I think I'm yeah, of Russian descent Yeah, that sounds more like an Eastern European type name. That exactly. makes sense. Exactly. Yeah, if you ever check it out, it's pretty cheap. You can get that DNA test done, and it tells you everywhere that you're from. It's really interesting. Yeah, I'd have so. to check it out. Yeah, originally I thought I was like maybe like Polish or uh, German or something yeah. with a name like Heiser. But yeah. Uh, yeah, my last name is German, but I'm uh, I'm like 30% Irish, 40% uh, British, little Scottish, and then like 20% German. Nice. That's a good mix. Very uh, one of the most. Whoever's uh, asking in the chat about my accent, they should go on YouTube and type in some, uh, after the stream's done, go and listen to some Yorkshire accents, some uh, Liverpudlian yeah. accents. Man, some and, uh, of them are so strong. If, if it's just like some random person on the street talking fast, it doesn't even sound like English to me. I'm like, yeah, what the exactly. hell did you just say, man? Yeah, exactly. I hope everyone in the chat can understand me clearly because uh, a lot of the dealers at the commerce, they always ask me to speak English while I'm at the yeah. table. It's, uh, it's, I mean, if it's you talk little... fast and people aren't paying attention, they, I can see how they're not quite getting it. Exactly. You know? I always see the funny side of it, but sometimes to some people it could be a little bit uh, insulting. But yeah. uh, no, I, I find it quite funny. Especially if English isn't their first language, you know, there's a lot a lot of like uh, Chinese dealers that, you know, they're, they're, their English is okay, but the Chinese are main language. So, <laughs> for example, I speak Spanish, but when I talk to someone from some random weird country and they their Spanish is weird, like yeah. it's pretty, I got to pay close attention to understand. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Counting here with trip eights. That's 2400. And Nick again in a spot with the second best hand. I can see Nick calling this. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of bluffs there and and uh, a lot of draws that missed. Mm. And Nick is someone like we said uh, is on the side of caution usually. Yeah, he's he's folded in these spots so many times though. It's like kind of like you were saying earlier. You just get kind of sick of it. You're exactly. Like, Man, I yeah. Am I being pushed around again yeah. and again and again and again? <laughs> And uh, I feel like he's got a good hand to, to call. He's using the time bank, so he clearly is uh, clearly thinking about it. All right, let's do it. One ball each. <laughs> you know, Asia are very good for drink. <laughs> Not me. I am good for drink. And all these people drinking wine has me kind of wanting to drink. I might get one soon, actually. Okay, good. You know. I feel like if um, if Nick calls this, uh, the accountant's going to be up to like 7,500 in his stack, and uh, yeah. I think he started with like 15 or 20k, so he's only was halfway there in terms yeah. of getting back what he lost earlier in the stream. Yeah, it's uh, it'll be game on for him if he does. Did he call? I think he called. Call? Yeah, he called. Miss the frost, you all got banger, banger. Put him on a miss flush draw, and hey, he did have a miss flush draw. <laughs> he was right. He made running eights. You forgot about the eight eight runner runner. Flop trips, huh? Yeah. The other way. <laughs> other way. <laughs> other way you don't get other that much way. money. <laughs> Crazy guy. Wow. That was sick. EKO, where are you from? You're asking me about my accent, being from Yorkshire. Where are you from? We could hear from you. By the end of the stream, I'm, I'll be back. Did we make a bet? Huh? Did we make a bet? That I, that I don't come back? Did we make it? No, we make it no, 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 no. You said I... East London is Cockney, EKO, but I've got my no, posh voice on today. Lannister always pays... There you go, keeping it classy. Terrible always does too. True. 
Cock- Cockney. You know where that's I did a class on accents yeah. when I was in. I did, did acting back in the day, and I had to do the Cockney accent. Cool about them. Give us your best Cockney, Jared. Let's hear it. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> I don't know. There's too much pressure. There is a lot of pressure. Yeah. yeah. I don't know nothing. Yeah, I'm a little bit shy. It's my first time on the uh, in the booth here, but uh, if I'm lucky enough to come back, maybe I'll give you a little bit of my uh, my Cockney accent. If I had that drink, I'd do some accents. Oh yeah, me too. Like, yeah, me too. At the other like a, a while back, Cairo and I were in the booth, and I was doing it. You know what my best accent? I think is the Scottish accent. Oh, really? I can, I can do that one right now. Yeah, you know why? Because I learned the William Wallace speech. <laughs> I watched Braveheart, and that was my favorite movie. That was very good. So I learned how to talk like William Wallace. That was great. That was great. Well, how many are we I'm only a couple red wines again uh, away from speaking uh, in my Cockney accent. Yeah, there you so, go. Uh, I might have to do that. Yeah, EKO, if you tune in tomorrow, um, you might be hearing me speak yeah, a little Yorkshire. You better not drink Cockney. today because you're playing tomorrow, but tomorrow on stream. I can let you... let's, yeah. let's hear you break it out. Yeah, I don't really want to start the stream hungover, but I, I don't mind getting drunk during the stream because right. I feel like that's, that's exactly. fun. And, uh, See, good. I got a day off tomorrow. I'm flying, flying to Florida, so okay. it's, I'm going to have a drink. It's the day. But if they've got Wi Fi on the plane, Jared, because the flight's five hours, you said, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm the stream's five it. hours. I know. So I'll what time's your flight? My flight's in at like noon, I think. Ooh. So okay. I'll be uh, the last two hours of my flight, I'll be watching 100%. Sweet. All right, well, make sure you, make sure you tune in. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the chat. I yeah. usually hop in there when I'm watching. Yeah, you'll be raring to get off the plane, right? And get, get, to, the, uh, get to the casino, probably. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably go, to go check into my Airbnb and uh, chill tomorrow night because I don't yeah, lose three hours, so I land at like 8 p.m. Oh, or something. Yeah, different coast, right? Yeah, and then the main event's the next day, so I'll probably just go chill at the pool, have a nice dinner with my girlfriend and then uh, nice. be ready to battle the next day. Nice. I'm actually going to your 70 there this weekend so I'm hoping to uh, have a good stream tomorrow, oh, yes. hopefully a winning session and then I can uh, relax for a few days and do something nice over the weekend, do a bit of hiking. Right. Look at this, Turbo Bluff 2K on the river it gets snapped by the accountant and the accountant is... Come on the accountant, I told you. crawling back. Mate, I told you. I told you. I had faith, I had faith. Yeah, he's capable, man. He mm-hmm. plays a lot of hands, so if he starts running good, you know, he can come all the way back plus some. Yep. Yeah, you said you're going to Yosemite. That's one of my favorite spots. Was oh, it? Love it. If you guys haven't been there, check it out. Up to the turn. I've never uh, been, but I heard the Mist Trail is good. Yes, it is. I, I recommend that one. However, yeah. um, it's very difficult. It's short, but it's it's like a straight uphill up these stairs. Mm-hmm. So you're just like, it's like you're doing sta- Stairmaster. Like you're walking up steep stairs the whole time. Yeah. But, man, especially with how much rain there's been this winter, the waterfalls there are amazing yeah. and they're going to be like dumping like it's going to be really nice so okay. I, I recommend that one all right well i'm going to give it my uh, give it my best shot I'm yeah not... you can do it just take your time it's not a long hike it's just a you know uphill you can keep going and it gets real long mm. You know, what, you. you know what I did, Jared? I actually yeah. went to Dick's Sporting Goods nice. a couple of days ago, and yep. I bought myself those hiking uh, sticks. Good. Is that what you call them? Uh-huh. Sorry, I'm, I'm, in, in England, yeah, like it's not. Sticks, yeah, think, exactly. Maybe. Yeah, it's not very cultural to go uh, hiking in the UK, but uh, yeah, over here I like to hike. Okay, the those are going to help you a lot on this trail because you can use your arms a little bit oh, to, exactly. to pull yourself up. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Exactly. Um, a friend of mine told me that someone had died. People, people die at the top. They slip off. Is that true? Yes. I mean, there's some parts of when you're up there where if you're not paying attention or being an idiot or, you know, on drugs or something, like, <laughs> you, people are like, hey, let's take a picture. And then you take one step back and then you're gone, you know. But the the trail that I've done, I'll tell you after this hand because we got a big hand. Yeah. But I, I'm a huge Yosemite fan if you hadn't noticed. Yeah. So pocket tens for Olvin. He uh, had a massive cooler earlier and lost with aces. Now another tough spot. It looks like he has raised from the small blind, and Turbo is in the straddle here. Dollars? Yeah. I mean, he's stuck. He's not going to fold tens, right? I hope not. Let's it go. Wow. Why that play? It's incredible. Yeah, blind versus blind. I really think you got to continue with that hand. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I think, so I think that's going to be quite tight. You can flop a set. You can just have the best hand a lot of the time. You know, Turbo could just be three betting pocket sevens in this spot. Exactly. So. Yeah. I had the best hand, I think. Not necessary. Yeah, I think maybe. That's why I say I think, Doctor. I right, ten seven part. Right, no, I beat you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think something. He, yeah, he got. Watch, watch the stream. He got probably ace queen. Uh, eight, four, Who? Ace queen. Uh, uh. He probably got better than you. 
Doctor, you cannot tell everybody what I Oh, have. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> what you have? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I, t- I totally forgot. I'm just <laughs> you can't give them this information. They have to know it. They have to find out. Wait, Chad. They have to pay for the information. Really, you got ten seven? Like a scramble. Yeah. That's our hand in hand. <coughs> what? Seven. Huh? That's what I got. Yeah, so let me tell you about this national park, about Yosemite, all right? I've done this thing twice, and it's it's called a half dome, right? So one of the, one of the yeah, half dome, D-O-M-E. Well, yep. You'll see one of the features in Yosemite is this huge mountain that's like a dome, but it's cut in half because a big piece of it fell off, so it just yep. looks like a half dome. Yep. So you hiked up the mist trail straight up, and then you just keep going up and up and up past it, over this ridge, up some more, and basically the whole hike is uphill. Oh, my God. It's a 7 17 mile round trip hike. So you believe me? But when you get to the top, you, you actually me. climb the side, the oh face God. of Half Dome, and it's almost vertical, like almost straight up. So you're not rock climbing. They actually have these metal rods drilled into the rock. Yeah, they're kind of and like ladders in, 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 it's, in, in, in the rock. It's sort of like a ladder, but it's much sketchier. You know, it's steep. There's like a right. chain and a, and, a, and a metal rod with like a two by four, like a piece of wood. And you're not and harnessed? No. You wow. can bring a harness if you right. want to. Okay. I saw some guy with a little kid that was harnessed on there, but like it's safe. You just like lie with your stomach up against it and you just start climbing up it and then when you get to the top of Half Dome, you're literally on top of the park. Okay. It's absolutely incredible, but some people get, they freak out and they get stuck on there coming up it because then you have to come back down it. Multiple people have fallen to their deaths because um, they're not being careful, especially because you've already hiked like eight miles uphill by the time you get there. Wow. So your legs are already shot. Yeah. You know? But it's an adrenaline rush and the views, I mean, it's it's like you're on another planet. So okay. okay. If you ever want to do something epic, it, you know, it's a it's gonna it's like a 12 hour round trip deal. Yeah. You know? So I feel like if you get to the top of the mist trail, you can continue on, right? Keep going. To, You'll to see the a dome. sign that says the Half Dome Trail. Got it. Yeah. And then okay. to, you get to the base of Half Dome and to hike up those cables, you actually have to have a permit. Okay. Because it, if it gets too full, it's very dangerous. Very dangerous. So yeah. you've got to go in advance and supply yeah. for the permit. And they probably it. set a certain amount of permits per day, yeah, so it, that it doesn't uh-huh. get. And it's a lottery. So each day you you say, okay, I'm going to be there the 14th, and then the 15th, and then the 16th, and you get drawn. Like I yeah. think like one third of people get to go each day so if you're going for a couple days just put your name in for each day and you, you're going to pull it one yeah. of the days especially if you have multiple people because everyone can put their name in and put their party size mm-hmm. so i have five people and get it. i'm really looking forward to it but yeah really you'll love the mist trail man it's epic all right kitty has three bet ace king of hearts against nick's under the gun open of ace king off yeah and this is a decent uh hand to three bet with the ace eight suited um, versus an under the gun raise, we could just call with the sand. Yeah, I like it. I like the three bet because I feel like a lot of the times when you call, you could get squeezed behind. But exactly. when you three bet, you take away the option for the uh, for the other opponent. Agreed. Opponents. So. And uh, Nick is Nick has a pretty wide range as far as his opens too. So yeah, makes it pretty good. He, she does get four bet there and has to fold, but um, I can still uh, stand with that being a good three bet there. My parents are actually already there. They're like touring on the island. Oh, uh, really? And yeah, and then I'm gonna. Th- I'm I gonna want not to now days. because after Esquire, they have a lot of small Esquire. So the mountain, everything, yeah. is nothing. It was already planned. I think they were actually planning on going to Hualien, but mm-hmm. they. No, no, no. No, no, they're not gonna Hualien. Not they even go like a Thai based mountain, you shouldn't go. Mm. Because we know better, you know? Yeah. No, I think they, they changed their thing. Like, they're definitely not gonna go to the. Yeah, just Hualien stay on a city, you know, yeah. not like a mountain. Kitty here with the ace jack suited. Turbo comes along with pocket sevens. All right, me and Kitty. Yum, yum. <laughs> Turbo seems happy to be in a pot with Kitty. I'm the yum. You know, Nick folded queen nine there in the blind. Oh, okay, he's good. That's All right. Okay. Offer I couldn't refuse. There you go. Turbo makes the call here with sevens. He turns a flush draw. Oh, yeah. But Kitty has top two. You have flush? Not yet, not yet. You got it. it. (laughs) Turbo lays it down. 
Tara says, I, I wouldn't love doing that. I want to relax. It's a vacation. You, you sound like my girlfriend. <laughs> I, I finally convinced her to start going on some hikes, and I went to Yosemite with her, and we actually did that mist trail, and she loved it. It was okay. very, you know, it was challenging. Like, you're going to breathe hard, but she was like, wow, I can't believe That was so beautiful. Yeah. Like, and she's not a hiking person, and now she is because of, because of that. Yeah. Yeah. Took her there and took her to Zion. And that, uh, kinda oh, how's Zion? Is that good? Epic. Now we're even. Better than Yosemite? I need to flop again. I'm from Utah, so Zion, I kind of got a soft spot for, for Zion, and it's a little more unique as far as the colors go, because it's just like red and orange rocks everywhere, which is crazy, but I, I think I prefer Yosemite, actually. Nice. That's right. I play Pocket 7 okay, right? Was it crab? Huh? With the club or not? Yes, with the club. But yeah, I feel you. I like uh, I like going on a hikes and epic vacations, and I also enjoy just going and chilling at the beach and having a drink, you know? Yeah. But I, I always like to do epic shit. I went to Hawaii a couple months ago, and I, no, I didn't just chill at the beach. I was out there, like, snorkeling, you know, yeah, yeah. hiking through the mountain. We went to Road to Hana and hiked up through this crazy jungle to a waterfall, you know, like... I want to I wanna do epic stuff. You know? Yeah, I like a mix of both, to be honest. Sometimes I just feel a little bit you know, worn out from playing or whatever. I yeah. just like to just, just lay on my uh, backside sometimes. And just Just take like two, three days just to sit and, sit yeah. and uh, fry like in the like sun. I take a couple of each vacations every year, you know, but mm. even when I'm trying to do a chill vacation, I usually am like yeah. <laughs> finding stuff to do, go skydiving mm -hmm. or go uh, jet skiing or something. Yeah. Sounds like Tara Harrison's been to Yosemite. She nice. knows... All right, she says she liked it. There's, you know, national parks are nice because you can do epic stuff, but you can also just mm -hmm. take it easy. Yeah. You know, that they're, they're so well designed and well maintained that you can drive to most stuff and just kind of get out of the car and take a look and have a yeah. chill day. Action flop brewing though here. Nick has ace king top top, turbo nut flush draw, and Nick has check raised this flop. Yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even know. Turbo not going anywhere though. Yeah, well, may I? Oh. I don't need that. I can make another baby. Okay. <laughs> Nine of clubs on the turn. Brick for turbo. PG stream, guys. PG stream. Kids need to be able to watch. I poured a little, not because I just figured like I can pour more. Yeah. One second. Cheers. Oh, ladies. Cheers. Cheers, sir. Cheers. Thank you yeah. for the wine. Good, good meeting you. Good meeting you. Hey. So, Nick bets 1,200. Nice. Just under half pot. The wine. Meanwhile, Thank the wine the is a-flowing. Started it. Yeah. For Wednesday, we always have wine, okay? Wine Wednesday. Oh. That's a great By the way, I suddenly remember. Oh, Sorry. such a good wine. Mm. Each of you give me 50 bucks for the step. For yeah. Thank you, thank you. For what? Thank you for the step. Thank you. Turbo in the tank here, and I think with this bet sizing and 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 Nick's uh, you know image, we can call here with the not flush draw still. If we hit an ace, it could still be good. It's not in this case, but we can also bluff if we're check two on the river potentially. But Nick check raised the flop, so. Now he's like, you know, if he had queen ten, he got there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, my God. Turbo puts him in. That's another option. <laughs> I was going to say call, and if, if the river comes maybe like a queen or a ten and Nick checked, oh, yeah, then, then we can bluff. It. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But I, this, is a, this is a sick play. Basically the same thing. He's put yeah, Nick to the test. That doesn't matter. And he knows. He's played with Nick enough that Nick, Nick likes to make big folds. But the, the, the trouble is we're thinking, okay, what did Nick check raise with? And, yeah, maybe he just puts him on some kind of king that, no. that he can get him off of. And if not, he's got backup. He has the nut flush draw. Yeah. One card dealer. Very hard. We are so nice. I feel like Nick is just always put to the test. Always. Yeah, he's been, he's, uh, the theme of the day is him tanking. and. Uh, he called? Yeah, he called. Wow, good for him. Yeah, he got a call there, I think. Not not wow. great, but Wow Turbo Wow Wow, wow. Yeah, 
Thank you. I mean, if you're Nick, if you're on the receiving end of a, of a jam there, you just don't love it, do you? No, it's, it's very horrible. Hard to find hands but, to, you know, uh, if you're up against someone who's bluffing enough, then you got to go with it, I think. That's but, true. But it's still pretty tricky, so that's a sick double up there. Well, Turbo was the in-position player, so usually you'd see the, naturally you'd see sort of ASIC suited just calling the turn, maybe with a view to bluffing the river, but jamming yeah. it in position is something you don't see that often. So. Yeah, it is rare, but, you know, I, I kind of like the way he played it. It's your GG moment for you guys. Hey, Wayne. Yeah. Wants to give a shout out to the esports guys who are turning poker pros. Nickel Nine from Halo, Frozen from Hearthstone on Team Liquid, and Peter Gurney from CS:GO. Seventy-five. We're gonna see these guys here in the streets sometime soon. So if you're an esports fan, yeah, we're about to see the esports poker merger here on Live at the Commerce. But yeah, there's there's players that I would fold Ace King there against. I think, yeah. you know, um, you know what I'm saying. Like if it was our me and Mike doing that to me or, or, or someone else in the game. Like, how, about, uh, how about me, Jared? Thank you, Nick. No, I'm snapping you off. With I'll, I'll put you raise me. No, yeah. <laughs> if I had more money, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd get some more money and put it out there. Let's play for more. Yeah. But since you just... But yeah, I think in general, I'm calling off with that hand, even. you know, begrudgingly. But this hand, this hand, you will be happy to give me one chip. You know what they say, who needs enemies with friends like Robert Hutchison? He told me I need to top my tan up. Yeah, I saw was, that. Yeah, very you nice. are looking Thanks a little pasty over there. I am, I am. <laughs> but the weather's not been great in LA recently, I know. has it? Hey, I'm on. the same as you, man. I'm as, I'm oh, as yeah. pasty oh, white as they well, come. Why so. you give me money? Everybody uh, give me money. I want to win a big one, so I'm prepaying. Oh, yeah, 75. Yeah, yeah. Give me your head of time. Oh! Uh, I'm gonna win. Big one. No. No, no. no. I, I, don't want, I don't want yours against me. Come on. Sure. No, no. No, no, no. Peter trying to set it up, says he's gonna win a big pot against Dr. H, and Dr. H says no thank you. No, thank you. Nine Sir. One call. Thank you. Two Five. Top pair here for Dr. H. And Olven is on the horrible end of a beat from Dr. H. Wants to get him back. Still pretty surprised by the top pocket tens fold from him earlier versus this, the three bat. And wow, what a sick card for him. So now, okay, again. both players have a straight. I'm sorry. Olven has a flush draw, though, to go with it. Right? Oh, I forgot. I get $200 rebate. It's, it's a power. Re rolling. Oh, oh no. Yeah, Olven should raise big. <laughs> oh, made me excited. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and Olven's actually going to lead here. I didn't know. I was seeing that. I was thinking. No. Yeah, okay. And now Dr. H probably coming in with a raise, but we'll see. Just calls. Nick. And there it is for Olven. Payback time. Dr. H even has the ace of clubs. There is a time I ordered a two or three. Wow, that's 50 years. Double check. You're not drinking next 50 years and not buying anymore. You are not here. Next time for you, two bottles for you. Two bottles. Not even one. Two bottles. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Him and I, I think we drank like two bottles of McKellen 18. A bottle of McKellen 18, one shot at a time. 4,000. Wow. That's a great bet. Sick. 1.5x pot, basically, here. Crazy guys. He's the right person. Just don't see how ever uh, Dr. H folds here. I don't know, because here's the thing with Olven's image. Dr. H is very aware of these things. And obviously he's snapping off a smaller bet. Oh. This is tricky. Okay. I, I think Dr. Yeah, he calls. That's good. In the spray. So nice pot oh, for Olven there. Excellent bet sizing. 
No, it's do it. Do it. You take. That's a premium. That is a cooler. <laughs> oh my God. Did you really race with that? I prepared that pain seven. <laughs> yeah, Doctor H way out in front on the flop, and then it just got better and better for Olden. You wanna be my coach? But in true Doctor H style, he takes it very, very well. I have no time for coach. <laughs> Kitty, Kitty is. A Olden girl. says to Kitty, "You wanna be my coach?" And she stab says, "No." <laughs> I do no. usually <laughs> when I call me 19. Thank you. I call you a Chinese people, uh, Taiwanese people. Thanks, for home to ours. Really? I realize no matter why you tell them, they say they forgot. <laughs> so actually, you can tell many secrets. Yeah. Always work. <laughs> Peter now with the uh, the biggest stack. Just under 34k. Man, what? Can I steal one of your drinks? Yeah, Dr. big H hit there for Dr. H. Yeah. Cooler situation. We got two players that are playing more than half of their hands. Love to see it. Have a point, okay? Neither of these players are winning, which is, you know, not always typical. I've seen in these games a lot of the times the uh, the loose players get rewarded. Nothing for free. Dr. H still up a nice fourteen thousand dollars though despite that uh lost about 5k on that hand what about Olven still minus 15k despite that last hand yeah he was down 20 something so no you got to start somewhere though it's on his way back no honor among his thieves just use the accountant for a little inspiration yeah the accountant i think is only down like 5k now he was down like 15 or 16 at one point yeah, he's done amazing. He's kept his uh, kept a good attitude, and that just shows you what can happen. Never give up. No, never give up. This guy. Maybe I be like six percent now. You're six <laughs> hand you play. <laughs> You're six hand you play so far. I think they're giving Olin Allen a little uh, a little shit for not playing too many hands. Yeah, Katie's giving him a needle, but guess who has the lowest leap in the game? <laughs> I have a hand. I, I think they're joint bottom. Kitty yeah, they're both down there. They're both around 15, 16 percent. Yeah, but to be fair, they, they you know, they're both fine players and they play well. They just haven't gotten good hands. So that's kind of be kind of deceiving. Sometimes you know that someone's beat pips low and you see the way they're playing. Okay, they're in it. Yeah. It's only been you know two and a half hours. You can get dealt out of the game for two and a half hours. Right. So when. Think about Not this time, though. Alan facing a three bet now from Nick in the cutoff. We have the worst hand. Fresh off a double up. Uh, king queen. There. So if you. That's your worst hand there. Nine, right, right there. Yeah. I like this. Usually people don't give you too much credit for having uh, bluffs once you've just doubled. Right. And, uh, I like the fact that Nick's coming with the ace jack off here. It just shows yeah. he's still he's still playing. He's still he's still there. Yeah, it's a, that's important after you've just won to, to keep the keep the gas going too instead of just kind of being tempted to lock it up. That range anyway. No, if we want to play loose. Out flops Allen here. Nick with top pair. But your range is always a Y, so you should put to fifty. Okay, thank you. It's enough for you. <laughs> Thanks. You charge too much. You only talk for the two minutes. It's a very good point. Yeah, it's great. It's great. It should be 200. That would be good. <laughs> one, <laughs> one, 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 one. You see, because yeah. if he raises 400 every single time, he loses more. No, no, no. My point is, you charge four hundred dollars per hour. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so two minutes is how many? Well, no, you have to round up to the nearest quarter hour. Mm. The problem mm. is, you shouldn't tell the people if we play same game. Yeah. So this is why I told you them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> same game, talks. Yeah. Your, your style same is game. a wide range. You should always uh, minimize rules. No, you should make, it, should make it 600. Well, you talk about me, you have to give me a commission. Give me so what Kitty's trying to say is if you play a lot of hands, it makes sense to open to a smaller sizing. If you play less hands, you can open to a bigger sizing. Wrong. <laughs> Which I think might be true. Oh, my God. Kitty. Never take money from men, never give money to men. Hey, you just don't like Kitty. Men? No, I do, but... She's a man hater. <laughs> Yes. Armenian Mike with the Armenian Airlines. You know, I Nick's got another so good three bet candidate here. I only met with you. Like Let's see if he just calls. Last year, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. If oh. like, uh, if like. Hey, okay. this is interesting. Did, did Nick just click it? I would really get killed. It. Armenian Mike makes it 150. Nick. Now no more. 300. No more. <laughs> the accountant cold calls. You learn, no? Yeah. no, no, no. Now, no, no. Oh, seriously. Could be a dicey it's spot for a, Peter. You know, so yeah, now, but I have a long. Not play Peter's gonna raise. <laughs> yes, there we go. Peter with a hero fold. Okay. Okay. I would have been really tempted know, there. just because right? of the little min raise was 300. I would yeah, have been exactly. Yeah. I thought he might pull the trigger, but. Especially when it's three, you wake up every two hours, you want to. Got away. You know, just me. I worry too much. No, 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 no. More, um, oh, Mike just goes all in. That's like when they become older. 
A little bit, a little bit on the too big side if we want to get max value here from our aces, but it still might work out. You know, the accountant. Nick might fold. The accountant might flick it in. Yeah, I kind of think he won't. But. Get some minutes. After 14 years, he not One minute. It's yeah. okay. You give him 30 seconds. No, just 30 seconds. How old? What's oh, the youngest oh, sorry, sorry. you have? The youngest six. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, Nick's gone for it. Five, right? <laughs> Did Nick just call it off? <laughs> we stay on the That's ambitious against Armenian Mike. Wow. <laughs> to start with, Armenian Mike is basically open limp most of his hands, and this time he 3x raced. I had one more minute. Right here. <laughs> but uh, the accountant wants time now, too. I think. After Nick calls, I mean, your, your daughter looks like you or your wife. We kind of need to be done with the hand. If we were <laughs> deeper, maybe at, at the same time, I don't know. It's only 3.4K. We're playing 13.6. Energy, my swag, and then this looks perfect. How many do you have? The accountant wants to see the flop. It's tempting, man. Yeah, Ace Queen suit is a pretty hand. Yeah. I think if Nick would have gone all in as well. Of the uh, the accountant probably would have folded, but uh, yeah. now he's getting uh, like a great price Sick to call. Price, yeah. yeah, in position. Yeah, I understand. I've been around. That I know. That that I, that we're on the same page. Ooh, ah. what? Nick that's just played this hand weird because he just like oh, min man. three bet. You know, like just. You mean poker wise no, no, or, or like? Life for sure, you. Yeah, of course. Okay, Poker wise, I'm, 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 I've been you, around. Peter, yeah, Armenian yeah. Mike is in great shape here. <laughs> yeah, he's loving it. I played good, good Poker hey, for a long time. You know, I, I only play serious Poker four years. That's good. Serious You're a great player now. I'm like, Huh? Me? Like I, 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 well, now that the accountant's making a speech, I don't think yeah. he can continue with this I'm hand. I'm stable. I'm, I, or he should. Yeah. You know, a lot of players really kind of tell everybody what their hand is by doing this to say, okay, I can't ever be trapping here with, with aces, or I can't, like, every session, like every you know, I, you're just disclosing what you've got. Uh, it's kind of obvious anyways, I guess, if you call, but it's rare that somebody makes a speech like this. And then just mock, uh, excuse me, and then continues. So so You're the accountant here, Jared. If you want to uh, continue with the hand, is it better to call? Or do you think uh, going all in if you think you've got a better hand than Nick? I mean, here, Nick, Nick, free bet and then called the shove from Armenian Mike, who's the tightest player in the game. So I, there's no way in hell I'm believing. I'm shocked he has King Jack suited. Yeah, yeah. You know? Oh, ace queen, wow. I think so. He has ace queen. I know. I would have snapped. I'd, if he's not in. Armenian Mike shaking his head. He doesn't uh, okay, that's Nick a pretty is, safe flop there for pocket aces. Nick's got 1%. <laughs> Some running kings or jacks that don't have a heart in them, and that's it. So, accountant gets Nobody off cheap. If Nick point. folded, he said he was calling, and of course, uh, you know, no. he was. Nick got absolutely no enjoyment out of that 35. Oh, and Peter had ace so deuce of diamonds. Nice. <laughs> I knew Peter should have got involved. Good thing is, is if Peter like squeezed big there, he would have been like pot committed to call Armenian Mike Shelf. Yeah, that's what happened. That's what happened to me last week in the game. So I played uh, against Sasa Baby. Yes. Um, I believe she's from Canada. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I think I uh, she opened uh, L three bet. I called four bet three five suited. Right. And she just went with her hand, which was ace jack. And, uh, right. Oh, I remember. I ended up getting it in very, very badly. Yeah. So maybe like 2K each. And, right. Um, yeah, I actually turned like a combo draw, but brick the river. So, yeah, um, and then like I'm, t I'm telling you, whatever, the sizing that Peter would have gone with there was going to be too big to fold to, exactly. to Armenian Mike's jam, and he would have given him a nasty beat. Exactly, yeah. Peter's a lot smarter than I am, so yeah. But yeah, he uh, would have been a bad play uh, given the hands, but could have happened. I'm saying if I don't think he could I need your 35 honeys, man. I give I it to you. The accountant's very proud of himself, though. I see yeah. he's smiling like a Cheshire cat at the moment. Loving it. Hey, you. Uh, he cost you money. This guy cost you money. Well, he did, didn't really, because if he folds, I call you, you get the what same amount. You're with my you money. Huh? If you're three but bad, I will fold. That's really? why my yeah. teacher uh -huh. told me I got you're the mix up. <laughs> so you, you cannot even hear you how, like, oh, how I play. You made, you made, <laughs> you made it 300. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even know how, how he play. How are you going to figure out how he play? I don't know what the hell he does. That's going on. I'm like, I didn't want to get jammed on with that. Doctor. What if he goes all in? Huh? What if he goes all in? What do you do?
<laughs> It'd be more okay. believable if they still end up the same. Just Eco says, how funny will it be if Armenian Mike just left the game now? <laughs> that would be classic. Classic Armenian Mike. It's just like, all right, good game, boys. You were so famous. Okay, I seriously, I cannot make anything. <laughs> if you guys are just joining us, this is Bally's Presents Live at the Commerce. We're playing 25, 50, 100 for most of this game. It's been an awesome action game. This is Jared Griner in the booth. I'm joined by pa Paul Heiser. It's been awesome being with you guys. You having a fun time, Paul? Yeah, I'm having a great time. How about yourself, Jared? Likewise. Can you restart it? Always a fun time to be on stream. It's all good, Turbo. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Peter's got a hand here. Not for me. I'm, I'm not Still got plenty of time left for the stream. I think we've got another couple of hours. Yeah, yeah we've got like a, an hour and a half, I think. An hour and a half. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hey, I pay my Time flies when you're having fun. I've been having a lot of fun here, and uh, yeah, I feel like this, this this past three and a half hours has gone very, very quickly. So, yeah, it's you know, like I said, when there's always hands happening. On the same page. Okay. So I want to see what's going on here. Kitty raced the 300 with 10-9 suited. Now let's go. All let's go. It. Don't threaten me. Believe Olven folded. Yeah, Peter's coming uh, with the three. Peter's in the small blind. Don't yourself trying to play with me, doctor. Made it 1.5k. Kitty calls. Yeah. Kitty He's got smart. her dominated. Professor T. Peter flops the ace. Kitty with a gutter and a backdoor flush draw. I have a PhD in losing my money in this damn stream. So hold on. I'm going to cost myself money. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, check here from Peter. I thought you want to down. He's got a, an ace, which is good. Doesn't want to blow up the pot, though, if he's up against something better. You can easily just check call here. I saw something good. And do some bluffs, like a, from a hand like Kitty has. Sneak chief. Kitty wants to check it. Yeah, actually. Which is understandable. And now we'll probably see a bet from Peter, I imagine. Because he takes my chief. Maybe not. Peter's the lucky thing. If he's three bad, you can shop, I will fall. Checks again. <laughs> I need your and now after being checked two twice, it's tempting here for Kitty to make a bet. No, Discipline check. Lavender. Lavender. Yeah. Lavender. Yeah. Just like this. Oh, by the way. Let's see if Peter checks one more time. Maybe Kitty can bet, but the fact that she's checked all the way to this point, it's not too credible. Where are you from? Unless he just has like Queen Ten or something. I grew up in LA. Actually. Oh, you grew? Here. So you're from LA? No, I grew up in LA. I left. I left to go to college. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what? What part of? Uh... Well, so I know I um. Peter went for a pretty big size in here. Two K. One Yeah, Kitty's just done. That that flop would have smashed. If if Peter was in this hand versus L or someone of that nature, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. then I like his line a lot where, where I think she, you know, a, a, an action player is going to bla blast away at it. Yeah, I think if this was out on the, uh, in, in Kiddie's shoes, I think you would have seen uh, a triple barrel bluff mo exactly. most likely, and Peter just would have called down with the 10 in his hand. Yep. Um, I'm surprised Kitty didn't like bet flop return. But uh, Peter played it well there. Yeah, I mean, had she bet the uh, the turn, there could have been a chance. Had Peter had a hand like uh, Queens, for example, he could have folded. Uh, right. Maybe on the on the turn or river. Yeah. And then when the king comes, uh, she's going to have a lot of Queen tens in her range. So exactly. Yeah. It'd be a good spot to bet twice, I think. Yeah. Probably not for when the Owings fold because he has so much hit. I probably fold, but I'm not folding. Really? I'm the opposite. Snap call him. Huh? Why? Why is not playing? What's the reason? I have a lot of, I've played a lot of hours with him. He'll do that with random two cards. I'm rooting for Olvin. I want Olvin to do well. Yeah, he deserves a comeback here. He does, he does. <coughs> Jack 10. Already got some back from Dr. H, but he's still got a long ways to go. He didn't. I raised he just talked. What do you think about Alan's open to 125? What? Looks like that's been his standard open here. Yeah, just like two and a half X, yep. Yeah. I think uh, for me personally, huh? in these uh, games where at the fifth, it's just the 50 on, everybody's pretty deep, you know, two or 300 big blinds. Yep. And people call too much anyway, so I kind of like the four exit, honestly. I think I like 200. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter too much, but like here, just a personal here, here. preference. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, everyone, everyone's different. Um, I personally just go for the 
the for the 150, the 3x race size. Yeah. Um, I just feel like if you go for a slightly bigger size, maybe it disincentivizes, disincentivizes people from three betting you a little bit wider, maybe. Um, good from when you go on a smaller size. But, uh, yeah. In some of these games, like the one I was in last week, though, when everybody's yeah. just got piles and yeah. nobody folds and they're three betting regardless of, of your sizing, yeah. I kind of like to beef it up a little. Yeah, and definitely if you've got people that call too much, then yeah, maybe you should be racing uh, a little bigger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Not poor, talking poor about it. Poor Ovin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> on the bad end of it again this time. You see my good friend? No, but the, oh. I heard. I he's, <laughs> he's Jack Crazy. <laughs> <Good. Yeah. laughs> Nothing wrong with young girlfriends. That's every man dream, that? right? I think Alan's just oh, well, C-bet 200 right? and Ovin's raised in position, is that right? Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Fine, correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. He's stand corrected, so he's just raised. Oh. Huh? You, you, can be, you can still be, uh, huh? You don't have any grandkids, so. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could yeah. be a grandfather, but I mean... Yeah, yeah, you said you were a son 27, right? No daughters. Uh, no daughters. Uh, that's pretty cool. Eight of hearts on the river. That's the ultimate happiness. going to go check check on it, Yeah, it has to, right? Queen. Oh, this is just for fun. Nice. Good. Ooh, kick her play. Ship it to Allen. All right, we peep up up to six point five percent now. <laughs> I really, I, I wonder what it is because I'm just like holy shit. It gotta, it gotta be like twenty two. I'm guessing twenty two. No, fifteen. Oh. And then yeah. now up to sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Gotta play some more. Who has the highest one here? Uh, uh let me see. I think yeah, I yeah. can't count them probably. Who's the highest VP? I might be, yeah. yeah. be second. Yeah. I will not say. I might be I second. I will just have to pay. At the age? Yeah. yeah. I might be I'm also... Me or you, who has higher VP? <laughs> you have a higher VP. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, no, I'm <laughs> and why are you calling me a knit? You have a tighter VP. Oh, tighter. Ah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but the hands I play, I play really bad and big, so I make it up. I think I'm third, actually, honestly. VP is about pre-flop, not post-flop, OK? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Commentators post probably... Post-flop, pre-flop, I play bad, guys. Yeah, yeah. Take it easy on me again. I want you guys to mean I won't come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it count that? I have no idea. Yeah. Commentator is probably telling us this. Yeah, if you count. We've got a Kitty Kuo fan third, in the chat. Third, Sherry Puskota. Deep it. Nice highest? to see you, Sherry. Yeah, I think so. Third eye. Here way. comes Doctor. Let's go, Doctor. I'm not so. calling him. Come on. Three, two, three, him? No. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. You on bed? I should actually not be the first. I you are higher close. VP than he is. 100%. Okay, then I'm fourth. Then I'm fourth. Looks like we've got three calls pre flop. And then we've got Dr. Oh, H who's uh, raised the button with I'm four. seven six offsuit. Maybe, okay. Professor Turbo's called the small blind with seven five of diamonds. Oh, uh, yeah. The put down. Minion Mike's yeah. called and the accountant's called. Does it go down if you leave the table? <laughs> I mean, leave a table, it's fine, but this you leave it too long. going to get a 7-6 off suit. Does that count? Yeah. 7-5-4. Okay, then I'm, then I'm probably last. <laughs> I went two orbits. What happened? Oh, I dropped that's him. That's mm -hmm. One turn, right? It's fantastic. Yeah. Um, hey, check. Check. Hey. 5-50. Dr. H coming in with a 5-50 bet. With his straight draw. <coughs> Looks like everyone's going to call. Everyone's got a piece. Turbo's got a five. Armenia Mike's got top pair. Can you explain? And the accountant's also got top pair at the moment. The best hand the queen kicker. <laughs> What's this for? What happened? God, you guys. You don't like this board? <laughs> Temper is not in my range, okay? I don't know. So There's not really any action turns other than the three of diamonds. That's okay. the only hand. That's the only card that could, uh, okay. could spice up the action here. To see a four thousand dollar bet from uh, Doctor H here. We get three thousand. Sheesh. Professor Turbo cannot fold his hand for three thousand dollars. I guess he's just deciding whether he wants to uh, check call it or, or check jam as a bluff. Maybe get Doctor H to fold some ten x or some overpairs. Sorry. If Turbo goes all in here, he's only going to be a 17% favorite to win the hand. He can only win on the Diamond River now. A six is going to chop. He just comes with the call.
Big river coming up. Big river coming up. We've got Dr. H with the nut straight. We've got Professor Turbo with the combo draw. The middle pair. Is it or no? Oh, no. Okay. Wow, sick hand. Already 9.7K in the pot. Yeah, I think we're going to see Armenian Mike and uh, the accountant. They should get out of the way here. I can't see them. I can't see you. The Armenian Mike just needs to go all in or fold. Give the dealer fifty dollars now. Yeah, and, uh, my money's on him to fold here, but could be wrong. I give him fifty. Yeah, I mean he's just doubled up with the aces, right? So you should err on the side of caution. I had a big sure. he goes all so in much here. Action. If he goes all in here, I don't know what's going to happen though. It's... <laughs> Well, if he goes all in, Dr. H, does he call or does he ISO? Who knows? Yeah, exactly, because if he just calls, then what's Turbo going to do? Like, I don't know. This is a sick pot. Do you like my call or not? This is a really sick pot. I don't know. Yeah. Mike's flicking his cards. He knows he's dead. He might see the cards, so I need to be careful. You really want to show our look. <laughs> He's not going to go all in, surely. Usually, when he does all this uh, show and stacks his chip up, chips up, he folds. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think is going to create the most action? Do you think him folding, or do you think him going? I think him going all in would would pump it up a little more, just because if Turbo bricks, you know, not much is going to happen. But maybe this is for gas money. <laughs> 25 bucks left. If you put it in here with this, it's your gas money, Armenian Mike. Okay, I fold. I told you <laughs> every time. <laughs> That's like an automatic. No problem. Don't worry. You go. The dealer asked him for a time back chip. He said, no, right. don't worry about me. You go, you go on with the hand. You carry on. Fold, fold, fold. So just like predicted, the two, uh, the two 10x have uh, got out of the way. Took and a minute, but yeah. We've got a huge, huge rip coming up here. Huge river. Four. Now, Turbo. Does he have bad thoughts here? He just bricked. He may think that this uh, four river favors him and goes for a lead here. It'd be unconventional, but. Dr. H is going to bet, and maybe depending on how much he bets, maybe Turbo tries to, to hero. I'll think about it. <laughs> Dr. H throws the dime chip I'll out before his clock too. even gets <laughs> <laughs> close. Can you guys use Dr. H is like Tommy Buca, throws the time bank chip in with the nuts. Very smart. <laughs> I mean, Dr. H looks concerned, is the thing. <laughs> you think he's obviously worried about he's Turbo worried about having uh, fives and fours or threes? Yeah. Or tens? I mean, I don't think he ever has tens because it's probably just was like a raise pre and Turbo called from the small blind, I'm guessing. Yeah, but Turbo still has plenty of hands. The one luck he has, he could have ace four of diamonds. Yeah. He could have ace two, for example. Three, four, five, four. Yep. Six, pocket two. threes, pocket fives. Yeah. Yeah. No, he beats some hands, he loses to some but hands. But either way, this is a clear value bet for Dr. H. For sure, for sure. But the problem is, is like, this is another instance of sort of like giving away the strength of your hand when you're doing this. Okay, in case. Yeah, see, uh, I already knew once Dr. H started doing that, he was checking it back. See, Jared, you've got a much better read on the players than I have. I feel like I need to do these, uh, th this commentary lark uh, yeah. a few more times before I get to, wow. I definitely, uh, get to gist with what, what, got the, that what there. the tendencies So it's are. like, man, if Dr. H is doing that and then he bets River, like, yeah. raise away, you yeah, know what exactly. I mean? Like, it's just a... Uh, mm -hmm. I feel like this happens a lot in tournaments. Anything bad. Yeah. It's lower buy-in stakes. People are just kind of, like, telegraphing what they have. Yeah. Especially, like, maybe before they defend the big blind or, or, or something like that. Like, like, they can never have a strong hand based on the way they acted. Mm. You know, unless you get some tricky guys out here in L.A. But mm. I'm, nope. actually, I'm actually starting to doubt myself. I've been watching this for like nearly four hours now. And I feel like every time I decide on what they're going to make the decision in my <laughs> yeah, head of what they're going to do, they do the opposite. Yeah. yeah, I'm starting to doubt myself quite a bit. I used to be in your shoes, man. Yeah. Like, I think I've just played enough and seen enough of hands. So, hey, there who's, he is. Who's that handsome guy on the screen? I mean, L. No, I'm not yeah, talking man. about L. Not talking about L. <laughs> oh, that guy. Okay. I don't know. Hey, tune in tomorrow, guys. It's going to be a sick game. We got Kitty Kuo, we got L, we got your commentator here, Paul Heiser, in the game. 25, 50, 100. So, 3 p.m. tomorrow. I'm so excited about tomorrow. I, I mean, oh, I based on the lineup, it's going to be, it, it, it has a chance to be an all-timer, like these type of uh, lineups mm -hmm. to make for great poker, so I'm excited. I thought you said you don't See you guys there tomorrow. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, to finding out who else is in the game, actually. I know, I know a few of us are going to be there, but I don't know the other yeah. sort of five. five we'll have the full lineup uh, posted for you guys tomorrow before we start, but 
Yes. Me. Uh, me. A couple other action players are in the house, from what I understand. By the way, the results from the poll came through. Was that a slow roll by Dr. H? 71% yes, 29% no. 71% is low, to be honest. It's quite low, yeah, I think so. I think so. It wasn't a slow roll, though. It was just a... No, it's not. You can't call that a slow roll. A slow roll is intentional, you know? So it wasn't on purpose. It was a, a knit roll, I guess. I don't even know what it was. Like, he was never folding. Looks like I've got a fan in the chat, Jared. I see that. Calibrator. Says he watched you on stream last week or the week before, and he's a big fan. You can wear Calibrator, thank you, man. I appreciate your support. Yeah, man. Um, if I hadn't seen you play and I watched that stream, I would be too. It was, it was uh, you put on a, a show. Well, Calibrator, yeah. please tune in tomorrow. Uh, I'll be back on um, the games. Uh, the game's going to be bigger than the one today. Uh, and uh, I'm looking to bring some action, so please come come into the chat and uh, show me some love, show me some support, and I'll, uh, I'll promise to give you my, my best efforts, okay? Tomorrow, I have a play right now. 9 p.m. is so you want to go high? Oh, 9 p.m. is fine. Okay. 9 p.m. less. 9 p.m. Well, well, Dr. H here, Queen High Flush Draw. Uh, no, and right the accountant uh, well, 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 betting okay. into him with Jack High. It should be, it shouldn't be. At a gutter. 30 minutes, maybe? 30 minutes? At 9 p.m., yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe less. But right now, like one hour, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe more. Well, her flight's at 9, so like she probably goes at 7 or 6 or 7 or 8. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Maybe I'll see you there, Florida. You, will you? I don't know. It's sure, it's me and guarantee. Yeah, but we have a 150 hour promotion here. I mean, if you see a streaming, and, and April, on April, right? They yeah. always the first price is one million. Yeah, maybe I will go, I don't know. And also, it's a good time. It's yeah. a hot and food is great. So different. Yeah. I go there for my <laughs> Yes, he has. Yeah. <laughs> he has. <laughs> time decision. Let's go, Dr. H. This is why I've stopped predicting what's going to happen. Yeah, I Some... was fully expecting a call there, so he got he tricked me on that one. Yeah. Hold. Oh, Where want to see the river? You said what's the promotion here? 150 hours for a free roll. Oh. Yeah, and the like 30k package. Oh, really? And then you can probably stay yeah. here. Yeah. I mean, also Sunday. I'm Dr. Sorry. H has played the best today so far. So far, he's my he's my hero. Man. I agree. I love making the all the right decisions. Oh, yeah, I love the way he's playing. Yeah, I feel like maybe he couldn't could have got away from that ace five hand with the sizing mm -hmm. straight on the river, but that is very hard. It's pretty tough to hold the straight there, so I can't fault him on that. I probably would have called too. I mean, with the ace of clubs, that I mean, yeah. if we're talking combos here, talking a bit uh, specific, there wasn't many hands that uh, Olvin could have had that, that would have been a flush. You know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But at the same time, yeah. my, my thought process behind it was just Olvin's image. Oh, okay, just him being tight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you then, know. yeah, you don't, you don't expect him to have any hands with it. He sort of floats the flop with and then has a has a flush in the in, true. in the back door, you know. So. Very true. Mm. The girlfriend gone this week. Come on, I want to see Olvin raised here. I want to see him flop a set. I want to see a 30k pot. You're not asking for a lot. Is he limped? I think I got to find a new hobby, Kitty and uh, Doctor. Yes. <laughs> Hobbies is too expensive. <laughs> Limps. Dr. Kitty, H is going to ISO uh, with the ace eight off. How, how should I, I get help? I get Senses weakness. Coaching. You got free coaching from you? Yeah. On air, Kitty is going to give me free coaching. Let's do something together. Yeah. That'd be cool. That would be a great story. I have you for your tournament. I like that. Mace at 375. Nick folds Queen Jack in a small blind. I love your wife. Big blind. Thank you. Me too. And the accountant Ooh. calls here. I'm so lucky. straddle. He's so sweet. He is sweet. Yeah. I think he misread his hand at the start of the show with the King Jack. You know, the one he yeah, I, yeah. That maybe that was an error because that didn't make any sense to me. Right? Yeah. But at the same time, he's made some very tight folds at times. I think he just has different gears. Mm -hmm. well, I'm feeling it this time. I'm not feeling it this time. So yeah, I think he's shown a, a, a sort of good level of play where he's like made some good folds. He's made some good blocks. And, uh, now he's, he's led out here on this flop. Getting real creative with it. <laughs> I like it. Yo, it's 6.30. Okay. <laughs> Please shoot. The accountant showed it. He showed it. Oh. He pulled his double, queen, double, but you bet. I definitely beat that hand. <laughs> In the one hand, I bluff he has it. Man, I'm so bad. <laughs> She's got five, seven, nine, ten. Uh, call talking. me. <laughs> Look for Kitty, eh? She's waiting for you. Yeah, the accountant is probably stuck only about 5K now. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, maybe a little more. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like a wild animal. <laughs> <laughs> I need a cage and tranquilizer. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Ketamine, man. Strong. Horse tranquilizer. Uh, I need your money, exactly. okay? Careful you Careful what you wish for. <laughs> 
calibrate is going to be tuning in tomorrow to watch me. So uh, thank you, man. Let's go. Yeah, hopefully everyone in the chat today can show some love and uh, come and see us tomorrow and uh, and Sunday's game as well. Yeah, man, I've I've watched a lot of live stream poker as a commentator, and I think like one of the the people that I enjoy watching the most is L. Really? I'm telling you, like when you see if you see the hands he plays, like yep. the moves he makes, like there's been times when he's in a game that's like on the tighter side, yeah, and he just destroys the table, like just bluffing people off of hands left and right, mm -hmm. like it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like he, his his over bets, like he he just makes so many massive bets, yeah, that just make it hard. And I've even fallen victim, like I folded top pair to him a couple times because like there's th th three thousand in the pot and he bets eleven k, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, and he can have it there sometimes too, you know. He does, but he just forces you to play yeah. your whole stack. Those people are very hard to play against, aren't they? Yeah. They're not, they're not fun to play against. I mean, I played against Double A. Shout out to Double A. Same, same thing, man. Yeah, man. He's he's uh, 2x pot in the turn, 2x pot in the the river. He's yeah. just, he's, just uh, he's, a, he's a piece of work. But, uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a great, he's a great player and he deserves it. Yeah, exactly. Sure. But the, the, that type of thing is great to watch, too. It's yeah. really enjoyable. Yeah. So, unlucky for Kitty here. She has a straight Dr. H uh, has jacks, though, and not, not the board for him. Yeah, there's going to be some times tomorrow, I'm sure, where L bets, uh, L bets big on the river, and I'm going to have to uh, close my eyes and put the chips in. Yes. That's just how, that's how the game works sometimes. You've got to hope that that's one of the times that he has his bluff. Yeah, he bluffed me good the other day. I don't know if you saw it, but uh, yeah. I'm not sure. three bet seven, six offsuit and uh, just bluffed like a middle pair when I had top pair and uh, for 10 K, the river, the, the, there was 5K in the river. Yeah. He bet 10,000 bucks, and uh, yeah, I don't know why. I just, I just thought that he, I just thought that he had it, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's the, that's the tricky part, though, is if you play so many hands, he can have all kinds of combos, and it's, it's just a very tough, uh, tough player to play against. So I'm looking forward to seeing that tomorrow. Yeah. I think you did something wrong to him last right, time. Let's have a look at the VP. All right, everybody over 20% now. Up to see that. We still got the accountant leading the way. I need to send you. W 1099 for it. And Dr. H back over 20K, so. This year, man. I'm trying to remember what big pot he won to get. He, he scooped another 5K. You paid oh, it was when he checked back the straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. More than 5,000 from this year. And then didn't he just raise just now with, uh, with the Queen Jack against. Uh, against the account oh yeah that's right that was a Jack decent side pot too so he's won a couple medium pots here to yeah. get back uh yeah, he won three thousand 20k mark that's the thing about these big games just when you think uh you know you're stuck 10k it's a lot of money you, you could be out of it and uh, and winning in no time at all yeah. yeah the other day i played i was stuck 12k came all the way back and was up 3k then it went back down 12k again and then I came back and, 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 and like yeah, nice. broke even in the game like swing up and down between 10 and 15k is yeah. no problem okay. Now Armenian Mike's got no hat. He's gone from blue to white, white to blue, and now he's got no, no hat on. You brought it back. He's got to try all, co all possible combinations. Mm -hmm. yeah. back. Uh, this isn't the combination uh, to win with pocket deuces. No, that's a fake. Fake doctor. I've got to say, he's got a great beard. <laughs> he does. It's amazing. It's, it is respectable. No. Like, that is. Never no. Thick beard. For poker wise. I mean, uh, kindergarten. No, no, no. <laughs> kindergarten. You still not telling me who's your coach? Huh? You still not telling me who's your coach? I'm sorry? You still not telling me who's your coach? How much? Oh. No. <laughs> Don't tell them I coach you. Hey, you have to keep that secret. Uh, uh, you you <laughs> The student has become the master. Yeah. Yeah, that hand right hey, there. The he's, 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 he's zooming. Zoom. Yeah, you coach to teach me. Okay. If, you have, if you have full house, don't show. Dr. H is my coach. Uh, I'm going to get the money back in the upside. <laughs> Coaching us? Oh, oh, oh my. Finally, finally got oh. me mad. <laughs> This is definitely uh, like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Get you out. <laughs> it's about uh, about time the wine's hitting Dr. H over here a little oh, bit. He's amazing. His laugh is so infectious, man. Yeah, I actually want to play with him because he's just good. He's so fun to play with. He's just super yeah. nice. Like, if you haven't played with him before, too, he's he's yeah. always goes out of his way to, like, mm -hmm. find out about you, talk about, talk, you know, talk to you about yourself. Well, that's what I like. Buy a drink. Yeah, he's just very genuine, right? So genuine. Yeah, yeah. I like that. And he's always nice whether he wins or loses. You know, I've been there when he's lost huge amounts of money, won huge amounts of money, mm -hmm. and he's a super friendly guy either way. Okay. Okay. Not a lot for anyone in this pot. There's not a lot going on. Yeah, pocket eight's the best hand. 
Dr. H is going to try to win it, though. <laughs> the accountant's coming in with the race. <laughs> I thought he just called. He's just class. He's got a good sense for where he's at in the hand because nobody else it. has we anything. We have, oh, we have the drink now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, let's yeah, go, right. Katie. Oh. No more begging out. Hey, you, Katie, you, do your, you, you know, me and Tabo, one down. Yeah. One shot? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we we do, really, really. These guys are about to chug this wine. I, I can do a level one shot, but <laughs> as long yeah, yeah. You want more? You want more? Oh, it's hot. Because <laughs> my eyes almost closed now because I'm like a little, you know. Where's uh, Kitty living now? Is she in LA or she moved out? She lives in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Oh, lives in Vegas. Cool. Right? Nice. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm good for now. I, yeah, her and her boyfriend live in Vegas, I believe. But they they spent, she had her baby in Asia. Mm. And she went home and had her baby okay. with her family. So nice. I think she's been back there for quite some time. No drinking. I wonder what it would be like actually live in Vegas like off the strip yeah, yeah I've thought about it many times you know during COVID a lot of my friends who lived here in LA moved to Vegas just because there was no action here you've never done that you've never lived in Vegas yourself yes nope. nope. somebody plays tournaments so much you didn't yeah, consider it before strongly? COVID first of all the tournament scene here in LA was much better oh, okay. much much better so you could just play tournaments living here but then during COVID I got involved in cash games and kind of realized that I was missing out on a lot of uh, a lot of money by not doing that and so because of that now I still play tournaments but the cash games here compared to L uh, to Vegas is way better here. Got it. Plus, I, you know, I do some other things. I have a lot of friends around here, and there's just a lot of connections for other business things here that yeah. I don't think I would like living in Vegas. Had a little bit. <laughs> Get sick of it after a while. Yeah. I feel a little bit. After that shot, I'm Plus, the thing, if you look at all these tournaments, yeah, there's tournaments all the time every day in Vegas, but you look at the fields, like even a $600 buy-in in Vegas during when it's not during like some big series is yeah. tough, man. There's, yeah. You sit it down, and there's like five regs at your table. Yeah. Here in L.A., I'll buy into a 600 at the Commerce, and most of the time I'm the only professional poker player at the table. Mm -hmm. More yeah, often than not. You feel there's a lot more wrecks here in Way the, more, yeah. Vegas, yeah. So it sucks there's not as many bigger buy-in events to play. Mm -hmm. But the ones that are there, like you compare a 1K here to a 1K in Vegas, it's like a different That is true. Universe. That is true. My, my favorite tournament in uh, in Vegas is the $800 buy-in Venetian two-day yes. tournament. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. It gets like, uh, gets like 100K for the winner. So. Yeah, I love playing those two. Those are fun. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like, if I was in Vegas, I'd be playing uh, tournaments every day. But yeah. Come on, this is a chance to get it back. I actually want to give a shout out to the uh, WSOP for the, the way that they actually run the whole tournament because yeah. it, it's run for like seven weeks and everything seems to run like clockwork. You know, I feel, I feel like the management there are very experienced to do it. It's unbelievable, great. man, to manage that many people. Like, I've played so many venues and so many tournaments where they have trouble managing a 500 person field, and these yeah. guys are, are sitting there having 3,000, 4,000 people play in one day, yeah. and, and they manage it pretty seamlessly. Yeah, those fast track machines now are definitely. Oh, helping that's my life. I, I hate waiting in line more than anything else in the world. Yeah, I, I would rather, like, seriously, I would rather just, like, jump off a building and wait in a long-ass line. You just took the words out of my mouth. Yeah, so you're going to no. tell me about jumping off the uh, top of the mountain at Yosemite. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're one. So the fast track, once that's implemented, because, I, you know, I don't, I don't gamble or anything, so I've never had a <laughs> diamond card. Yeah. But, um... You just go deposit money at the beginning of the series. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to wait in line ever again unless you if you show up late and you're an alternate. Yeah, you got to wait in that line, but you exactly. don't have to wait in any lines to reg. All kinds of hands. Well, right, well, anyway, back to the action. We just saw, saw from Peter finally because he's been a bit car dead, a bit quiet. He fought about the ace jack suited and uh, Nick folded the queen eight suited. Can't please up. And getting waiting in line heats me up so much I did completely missed it. I was just ranting. <laughs> Didn't even see the four bet there. Yeah. Well played, Peter. Listen, there's nothing wrong with pushing in line. Can only please your wife? You never, yeah, you never I, know I what you might win. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> See, you hate waiting in line, too, if you did that, and then just won, man. Uh -huh. that's, that's epic. Yeah. You know what actually happened? A week before, I played the millionaire maker. I had a deep run in that. And right. uh, I think I was chip leader with 30 to go, and I oh, come wow. out mid-20s. And uh, wow. it was really funny because a friend of mine said, oh, you'll never make a run like that again. You know, in a yeah. deep, deep, deep run in a, in in a big... In a 10,000-person field. Yeah, yeah, I think it was like 8,000 people, yeah. So, then you just go ahead and do it again the next week. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. Easy game. Exactly, yeah. No, um, yeah, that's one thing I'm good at is navigating yeah, no, those big fields for sure. Dicey spot here. Peter's got top pair. Armenian Mike with a flush draw. It's got to count for something. Yeah, I mean, that's like a actual in like, Yeah, it's a large chunk of your youthful, productive yeah. life. And Armenian Mike had not one apt to check raising, so he just smooth calls here with the flush draw. Could have put Peter in, in a little bit of a tough spot with a check raise. Now, 
Check, check. Ah, uh, that's Banger. not good. Spade on the river. Well, he checks it. Dicey spot here for Peter, though. Seems like a good spot to get a little bit of value. But Armenian Mike's playing style. You know, he could have better two pairs. Great check back here by Peter. Once again, Peter makes the right decision. No, no. A good hand. He wanted to try and bet that and actually fold him off some uh, better two pairs. Yeah, exactly. But he's betting. He's like turning his hand into a bluff at that point. Yeah, I loses. felt like if um, Peter had jack 10, like bottom two, I felt like he would have bluffed yeah. for sure. Yeah, that's smart. And uh, given that the turn went check, check, I don't think, I, I think Armenian Mike needs to bet, bet there with his flush, you know, yeah. kind of optimistic, hoping that somebody's going to bet that river. Um, I agree. 17? Uh, I'm down around the same thing. So me and you, the two fish for sure. If you want to win the kingfish, you can have kingfish. That right? <laughs> second fish is okay, too. Win the kingfish. <laughs> you win, you win, you win. Sir, so you cannot claim that title. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to claim Because you only lost one hand, so you cannot claim. Only way I can... You cannot claim that. Wait, 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 wait. They always forget. They always forget. Come on, doctor, are you going to play it? <laughs> you pay Turbo steaming. He's run bad on stream, man. I've, I've commentated and played with him, and it seems like he's taken a big loss a bunch of times. <laughs> Is he stuck in this game? Just, got yeah, he, he had that uh, that ace uh, nut flush draw bluff. Ah, uh, the ace against the ace king of Nick. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to. I think he lost like Dr. H was in front. 10, yeah. more than 10k on that. Then he had the seven five of diamonds against uh, yes. Dr. H's yeah. nut I think Turbo's probably stuck 15k ish. Oh, really? Do you really think? Yeah. You will see. Good fold. You know, because I'm trying to learn. Did you start off in the big four? I just four? started to learn how to play. Did you start off in like foreign. one of the big four oh, firms okay. first? Yeah. yeah. So just it's a little bit different. Your way there for a few years. The term is really different. Yeah, compared but to cash. I worked for a private equity learn. firm after that. What you work first? Yeah, I never Deloitte? tried that. But uh, okay. Because if you can't beat a six match, you can beat a nine hundred. Mm-hmm. Tournament six matches are harder. But if you can win a six match, mm-hmm. you can beat a nine hundred. You know, nine hundred is more luck. One fifty. Yeah, because you need more luck in nine hundred. Yeah. You understand nine hundred? Must have every hand, sir. You, know that you need to really wait in the hand. Oh. Yeah, initially, at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, oh. But then you got to take Kitty loves the six max. Every time there's a six like, max tournament, she's always wow, tweeting about how happy she is to be there playing it. Yeah. They're fun. Like six max? I love six max tournaments. Yeah, I actually um, played my first one at the WSOP two years ago. I played one last year, and then I actually played at the LAPT here. Oh, nice. At the Commerce. And uh, I just I just never seem to get a good run in them. But uh, I just feel like with my style, my, my aggression, I feel like six max would really suit me. It but, would, yeah. Yeah, nothing's really uh, paid dividends so far. There's, some, there's but, yeah. a few real good ones during the summer, yeah. uh, some lower buying ones, the 5K one, the 10K one. The 10K one is a, probably the toughest uh, non-high roller yeah. tournament that there is. I remember seeing the 5K uh, six packs at WSOP last year, and yes. I think I saw like the final four tables, and everyone just seemed to be amazing. Like I recognized the faces. Exactly. <laughs> everyone seemed to be. Super yeah, it kind of brings out. There's some there's some recreational players that play that, but they're just kind of drawing dead in the six max. Oh, they've got no shot, right? Um, but it, you get some. It's interesting because like in a 1500 six max, there's been times where I'm at a great table and then I'll look at the table next to me and it's five five really good players so yeah. there's also a lot more variance with six max as far as like how good do you run at, at the table that you get like yeah, exactly. table draw is such an underrated factor in tournament in general but like shorthanded it's even, even more so Tigers are moms uh, yeah, it's a great <laughs> format. It's a really great format. <laughs> yeah, like it. Have you ever played the the shootouts yeah, at the WSOP? No. Is that is that the one where you like flip at the start? Is that no, the that's the flip oh, and go. go. Oh, so the, the shootout out is day one. You get a nine-handed table or yeah. ten-handed. Sorry, ten-handed table. Yeah. And you have to win your table to advance. So it's just like a oh. final table. Oh, okay. It's like a t- yeah. It's like a one-table sit and go. Yes, but then when you win, you just advance, and your next table is all people who won from the day before. Oh, sweet. Okay. And then you win that table, and I think it's the final table at that point. Like, because you've already narrowed down the field by a bunch. Yeah, um, that's cool. The thing about it is there's limited capacity for it. So, like, when they run it, it's it's first place, it's only the smaller 1500s. Like, first place is, like, 150. Yeah. 
this year, though, yeah, it's, it's, the World Series is having two flights. So oh, usually well, this 1500 yeah, is only right. there's one starting day. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. with two flights, it's, it's going to be fun and that, that you can play this format, and it's going to be like twice as big. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be a really good event. Yeah. And you can get another shot at it because it kind of sucks. You play that and then you just get cooler. And you bust eight. There's no reentry. Yeah. Because you have to be there on time. It's 1K or 1500. 1500. Okay. And what's the what's the kind of structure like in that tournament? Be like that. I think it's 40 minute levels. Okay, so uh, it's not like a like a really fast like ten minute clock. No, like I got a heads up to... in one once, and it, it we played for eight hours. Yeah, because you know you know the um, I think they stopped it last year, but the year before they used to have those like one table singos. Yep. Yeah, they ran those for years. Yeah, for like yeah, uh, you can either buy for five hundred or one k or whatever yep. it was, you know, small small amounts. Yeah, they're very turbo. Yeah, yeah, it's like ten minute, twenty minute levels, and the shootout actually is treated like a proper. It's tournament. a real tournament. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, Alcohol's a drug. Nice. Alcohol's a drug. But it's a completely different yeah, game because you you know you're playing ten handed, but then you got to know how to play five-handed, four-handed, three-handed, yeah. heads up, you know. It ain't a drug, drugs, you gotta stir it up. You squeezing any uh, cash action, like, during the WCP? If you've got, like, I don't know, like, maybe, like, a day off or something. Or... Yeah, the only times that I have is when I've been running yeah. really bad and just breaking so many tournaments in a row that I, like, I need a little break for a couple days and I've played cash, but almost never. Like, the, the reason why is that every single day there's another really good tournament or another three or four really good tournaments somewhere else to play. You can always find And I'm in the tournament mindset, you know, I mean, I, when I've been playing Playing a tournament for 10 days in a row, playing in a cash game is kind of dicey because I can kind of like I'm, I'm in more of a tournament playing Correct. style. Correct. Yeah, exactly. You make you, you make the wrong decision. Yeah. yeah. This is interesting part because uh, the Queen of Spades is given turbo like uh, up and down straight flush draw, straight yes. draw and flush draw. Yep. Uh, we've got top two from the accountant. Nick's got top pair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we could see some. Really uh, good. <laughs> yeah, I can see the accountant. Well, it's like they just went call, call, call. Okay. In my opinion, and Queen Ten's good here. Turbo River's a king. My score is hard. Yeah. Wow, well, if Turbo played this hand like he played the A6 of Diamonds, they could have got it all in on the turn. Yeah, <laughs> easily could have been a, a big raise there on the turn. Mm. Oh, Turbo's no, value betting now. He's yeah. going to value on himself on this one. Oh, Understandable, though, you know, he has a king. Yeah, I can see the account just calling him. Or... You play different. I honestly have no idea what to expect. I don't know what he's going to do. Sometimes Maybe he's he... going to fold. <laughs> Come on. I love him. I feel like as the stream's gone on, he's taking it a lot more seriously. He's, you know, he's, uh, Two pair. he's not fooling around as much, and uh, yeah. Indeed. Oh. Yeah, he, uh, he just needed to get hurt a little to put his uh, A game on. Yeah. For, for nine hand, but for I think at the start he was just trying to like gamble, gamble and run up like four, 4k to like 40k. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, since then he's actually, I actually think he's played really well. I really do. I think him, I think him and Dr. H, obviously Peter, you know, is the strongest player at the table, but I think for, for, for these guys, yeah. Yeah, I, think these guys, I, think I agree. Like, it, like I said, it's kind of night and day how he played the first hour as opposed to the rest of it. And I honestly, I think the reason why is because he was on his last 5k yeah. and just sort of like, okay, I'm not playing anymore after this. I really need to play my A game. Exactly, yeah. Once he got that double up to like 10, he was, uh, yeah, he's, he's been flying. I think he's up to about 20k now. I think he's over 20k. He, he, he may be. Uh, Maybe in profit. Yeah, we'll check. We'll have the stats uh, yeah, here in like 10, 15 minutes and see. Uh, I'm trying to count a stack when I see it, but I think he may be right. He's either stuck small or even. 200, right. Dr. H is not taking his foot off the gas, has he? Yeah, he loves to, to mess around here with these type of hands when it's uh, just an open. Mm -hmm. Um, not gonna like this though. Should just go fold, fold right with the uh, oh, the uh, six X raise. Yeah, that's a pretty yeah, hefty raise there. Your liver, your liver is good now. I'm your liver? I fold. Let me see. Fold. Yeah, let's see the flop dealer. She folds. No, 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 Wait, no, 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 all right, let's play. Let's play your hand then. I don't say, I'm not asking you. You got you. enough enough money for me if I hit my car. Ah, is that not enough for you? Uh, yeah, I'm telling you in advance. There Come on, go. Dr. H. Come on. Yeah. Come on. See, I'm this is old school Dr. No, H. He used to play hands like this all the time, Listen, the whole game. I'm like, a believer in uh, fortune favors the brave. I want to see, I wanna see Dr. Hey, H. Hey, he's got hand. decent equity too. He's got two live cards. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Like this flop. Flopped an open ender. 1,000. Sucks that he doesn't have any spades out there, but Dr. H, uh, I've seen him raise these type of boards. Just gonna call. Doctor, do you have anything yet? Dr. H is gonna end up bluffing the river here. I can feel it. I can feel it. 
Queen of Diamonds turn. I don't know. Turbo's pretty steamed. I think he might uh, he, he might blast away again, here. Yeah. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Dr. Trace is going to bluff the river. He has to. He has to now. He, see, he played this hand kind of reluctantly, so it just like makes sense that he has this sort type of board. Turbo, Turbo must have the read, though, that Dr. H didn't have a strong hand pre-flop, right? So. Yeah, but that's the point. This board smashes strong hands. I uh, sorry, smashes weak hands, you know, weak, weak pre-flop holdings. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Dr. H didn't <laughs> go for it. It's him bluff. Jack turn, like... It's a good spot to bluff for sure in his spot, but... Now, Turbo, now Turbo wants to bluff. <laughs> I mean, maybe if Dr. H bet Turbo had bad thoughts in mind, he was going to go for it. Yeah. Interesting hand, nonetheless. Thank you, Kitty. But you uh, it's kind of unexpected. Yeah, because he's a donkey. He's entertaining. That's what I want to see. Thank you, mm -hmm. Kitty. We well, are real his friends wife, now. His wife's so sweet, right? There's <laughs> <laughs> no point in making my film. It's not um, point making my friend more to tell. Yes, no? thank you, Kitty. I appreciate you. You are a real friend to me. <laughs> Kitty! Oh, no, we had a rough start, me and Kitty, but now we're best friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Uh. He, he saw that. I have a set. Indeed. I appreciate it. I didn't oh, Kitty, you would have had to hit a set with Dr. Deuces, too. Set or what? Doctor, did you have a pair? I totally missed that. I, I didn't know Ace King. Especially with Dr. H in the hand. I see your face. And Ace King. When you open the good three, hand. four, you see you got the set. I just never follow hand, especially the fish in the hand. Thank you, Kitty. <laughs> Kitty, come on. I, I said Dr. H. Oh, yeah. Me Dr. too, Dr. H. That's two fish. You're, 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 you're not supposed to follow that. Uh, you're older. <laughs> uh, whatever he said. So, okay, uh, Kitty, let me tell you a famous story. Okay. Feminist story? No, famous. Famous, famous story. story, okay. We want to hear famous but, story. But, okay, I, get, I, I, I will only listen to the story. Only you tell me who's your coach. <laughs> no. Ah. I'm not going to. Wow. 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 This is secret coach. is so strong. You got to be Wow. Uh, he's my coach. He's my coach, yeah. Weird. He's my coach. So I can actually hit you. Well, I'm the only player who can have coaching. <laughs> I mean, I want to do the coaching. I don't want to be the, uh, the coaching. <laughs> and I don't qualify the coach. <laughs> okay, so it's only. I mean, you want to be my coach? <laughs> 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 uh, okay, this is a fun game, man. So much fun losing to you, doctor. <laughs> no, you just win something. I make a donation 10, 10, uh, 1,000, 1,100 to you. I supposed to. I had to earn that pot. I, I to supposed bluff to bluff you. Oh, so I, wow, yeah, you bluff, you win. I, yeah. The first guy to bluff win that pot. Uh, <laughs> it's King Diamonds, huh? Close. What's the famous story? Close. I want to hear it. No, I would not. I would not. Uh, I would not. Yeah, pocket deuces. That's the Yeah. Six, six. yeah. <laughs> you can tell me the famous story. Come on, doctor, tell the famous yeah. story. No. Go ahead, go, go ahead. Kitty. Kitty. Doctor. Kitty. Doctor. Kitty. Doctor. Kitty. Doctor. Kitty. Doctor. Yeah. Let me tell the I famous story, Kitty, without telling the coach. You got pocket deuces and a donkey oh. raising pocket <laughs> 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 That was all that in. That was all that in. Two hours ago, sir. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you bet at 2,500, he raised 7K, you go in 30K. Yes. Is that famous story? story. Yeah. Famous story. Is that the famous story? No, sir. Just uh, you ask Kitty, okay? This was not supposed to be an uh, OU for your hand. That's what I should tell me, but I was too late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all you, you have no way out. You have no way out. You already, you already jumped yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> No, you can no save some money. <laughs> no grabbing the wheel anymore. Yeah. But doctor, who was who is your coach? Excuse me, now I want to know. Nope. <laughs> can I say? Oh, yeah. Stephanie okay. from California. We need a full service, please. Full. Again, guys, tomorrow is going to be a huge action game. You know it because Elle is in the house. Another couple very big action players, including Paul Heiser, who's in the commentary booth with me right now, and Kitty, of course, in town, back from Asia, ready to battle. She's winning today. 
Let's see if she can close it out here. We got about 40 minutes left on the sh on the show. Ah, that was, I, I heard for you. Let's see. We had a couple massive pots. We had a 35k pot. Let's see if we can get another one before the show's over. There are several 30k stacks. Yeah, yeah. So if the stars align, you might see it happen. I fully understand your point. If we live in New York, that makes sense. Wow. So basically, uh, he's not live here. Just tell me. In, yes. in a in a famous like a Chinese idiom is like if uh, if a person is, you know is successful enough, so they don't if, care. if they if someone hit him or her, uh, one face shows. The person another thing. Oh, that's Catholicism. That's Christianity. Turn <laughs> the other cheek. You can. Yeah. So basically, what what that person tell the other person is, if because you hit me, it doesn't affect yourself, mm. my life. Mm. Now, if if it let you feel better, if we, you can hit the other thing. Mm, turn the other cheek. Wow. Uh, if it hurts so much, I'm not turning the other cheek. <laughs> yeah, of course. It hurt I'm a little not, bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Hit yeah, so yeah, much, yeah. I gotta hit back. Oh, no, 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 hit, no, hit, no hit back. No hit back. No hit back. No hit back. Doctor H, no the pacifist. Back. No hit back. You're right. Doesn't follow a very good poker player. Everything they coach you. I'm interested to see the accountant's uh, stats in this game. I want to see. Uh, I want to see if he's winning or not. Yeah, we have him every 30 minutes, so I think in like 10 minutes we should know. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can get a good view of his stack, but he's got to be close. Yeah, how much he's got there? 10, 18. He's got about 20k there. Yeah. He's got 20k, and I think he's in for about 20. Yeah, exactly. So he's out of it. Thank you. No, kitty, kitty. Speaking of. Well, oh, there's Nick, and then the accountant calls, actually. So Nick opened the Queen Jack suited accountant. It was just cheating. Smooth calls. Ace nine, no. Okay, go ahead. So we become pretty good friends. Oh, that makes sense. So that's why it's, it's not, okay? Oh, so they were tired of taking your money. They said, you know what? I give you, <laughs> you a bonus back. I'm tired of giving you a bonus. Get out of here, Nick. You're done. I'm done with you. What? No action for Nick, so actually, uh, Count did fold the ace. I know. You want king? Sorry, I thought you. Smart play. I thought it's a, it's a free money. Come on, Mike. I thought, why not me? No, 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 money here. Free. Nothing is free. <laughs> I feel like I just want to be friends with Dr. H. He's the best, man. I'm telling you. You know, I've uh, I've had some drinks with Dr. H, and then the funnest time I had with him, I was sweating him. He's a big Ultimate Texas Hold'em player. I don't know if you ever played that table game. Oh, it's, Ultimate Texas Hold'em. Yeah. yeah. Such a fun game. Yeah. yeah. Really fun. So he plays massive Ultimate Texas Hold'em at the win. Nice. And last December, I was over there sweating him. He was betting like one or two thousand a hand. Jeez. You know, and when you do that, you, you also yeah. have to bet yes. two or three other times. Four, so you could be risking times, seven, eight K on the hand. Jesus. And he made a straight flush when I was there. Oh, wow. He won like a hundred K or something wow. like that. Is that like 50 to one? Uh, something like that, yeah. yeah. I think a straight flush is 50 to one. Yeah, exactly. And a royal you, is 500 to one. If he's betting two K, what is that? It's like a... Uh, yeah, he won like... hundred K. Yeah, something like that. He won, yeah. It's not your race. Oh, you caught. No, uh, now I don't want to... Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I thought I'm not looking, looking. Yeah, if, uh, if Dr. Age is still around once the uh, stream is done, I'm going to go and say hi, introduce myself. Just, yeah, uh, absolutely, you should. I say I'm not looking, I'm not looking. But yeah, he's around, I bet you'll play with him eventually. I hope so, yeah, he's a pleasure to commentate on too, so... Okay, okay. Dr. H, uh, I give you extra 500. you're a good man. This hand, this hand. Very entertaining. Yeah, he's been dipping his toes into tournaments too, so he, oh, may, yeah? play this, he may play this commerce main event. Okay. No, he's That's most of this stuff, what him and I have talked about, it did a little coaching with the months and tournament stuff before yeah. he played that 10K at the oh, win nice. last think, year. Okay, so he'll be, he'll be back in Vegas for the series, you think? He'll probably, yeah, I'll play the main event for sure. He told me he's uh, he's just going to be at uh, like the end of, you, end of uh, June. Cooking. I always wondered whether it was better to play day 1A, B, C, or D of the main event. I'm never really too sure. I played a bunch of different days, mm -hmm. and it's always I've always had a good table. One day I had a really horrible table, but all the tables around me were yeah. stellar. So yeah. I don't think you can go wrong. I, I think... Um, Let's see if the accountant wants to bluff at this here with six high. Just gives up. Check, check. Honestly, so many like good regs, like decent players, wait till the last day. Because they think it's going to be the best day because it's the last day, so all the people are coming in town. But if you think about it, like 60% of the regs are playing that day. So, like, yeah, you're, you maybe you're fading some crushers that play earlier in the day because just want to get it over with and move on to their big games. But I think, I think. 
my perception on it is that you, you're more likely to have like a decent table, like table with a, a four or five pretty good players. Maybe not anybody crazy, but like mm -hmm. I've played day one B, day one C, where I've had, you know, me, one good player, and everyone else is just there for fun. No, that's amazing. You know, in a 10K, like that's... Yeah. That's the dream. That's what you want, right? I, I'm learning... Music. Wow, that's good. You're doing a lot of things. I like that. That's and last year, I'm still salty about my bust out last year. I ran Queens and the Kings twice and was down to like maybe 30% of my starting stack or something. Yep. I, th mm -hmm. I think I had like 25 to 30 bigs. Okay. So you're not here. And I opened Jack 9 suited in the, in the cutoff. And the button is a very tight player, but he three bets like a tiny size. The big blind is a super spewy player and he cold calls. Okay. So now I just have like the easiest call ever with Jack 9 suited. Yeah, you can't fold it this point right for sure. comes jack nine six with a flush draw now mm -hmm. he's going to raise. and i check the the button bets large uh, at, at the way that my stack played out and i was so positive this guy had an overpair yeah. just like always has an overpair just jammed it and he had pocket jacks yeah. Come on. oh my god no way yeah. that is just a horrible way that's a horrible like the way to go main event like that i was sick i was yeah. like how do they do that to me man yeah for you to put your money in drawing completely dead is, yeah uh, and I, here i was thinking because i was right like and here I am about to get it in with this guy and get get an easy double and yeah. no. Well, I, I hope you've got your bad beat uh, story out of the way, um, Jared. I hope you have a good good deep one. Yeah, this that's, year. I'm not a bad beat story guy, but you know that one, yeah. the main event bust out. Yeah. Did you guess this? We could do this, man. I could have seen a flop. Bro. Come on, man. I missed something there. What everybody just go nuts about? <laughs> <laughs> I have a Clinton Spade. Wow. Come on, baby. He's the best. He's probably thinking he's a great player now. <laughs> it is what it is. Don't Think look. about... Thank you. Can I give you coach number? <laughs> no. That's the first time we've heard from Ovid. He's been pretty quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Like, no, 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 big job. <laughs> there they are. See you guys tomorrow for this game. Like we said, 3 p.m. They could have put a better, better picture of me, Jared. Right? Yeah, you've looked better, I will say. I know, I had a hair transplant, that's why. I was going a bit bald. Ah, I had a hair transplant. It was just on the, just on the way. Uh, grow, it's just looking growing back. good now, man. You like it? Wait, did you really have one? I actually did. I had a hair transplant. Dude, yeah. I've thought about doing that. My hair's okay, but like, what was your experience like with that? Uh, well, to be honest, I, I, you know, I wasn't in like desperate need, but I just right. felt like my hair went high. Line that was a little bit too high and yeah. on, the, on, the, on the top. Right. I went to this clinic in uh, in London. It's pretty easy. They just shave your head. They pass some follicles in, and uh, yeah, they take it from the back of your head and put it to the front. That's exactly right? what they do. Yeah. yeah, it was very, very painful. Very, yeah. very painful. Recovery on that's kind of rough from what I've seen. Your head's yeah, all exactly. messed up for a while. And I said, you know, I said I didn't want to play the World Series that year. I said, oh, how can there be a bracelet winner with a uh, with, 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 yeah. with, 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 with a messed up head? You know? Right. And, then and uh, there I was. I shipped it. You know? so, uh, yeah. Maybe. Are you allowed to wear a hat after you have that done? Uh, you you can, but not like straight away. I think you have to wait maybe like a couple months or something. Uh, okay. yeah. That's my play if yeah. I get that done. And you can't be exposed to, to any sunlight either. Right. So, you, uh, and you, I think for the first couple of weeks, you can't even exercise. You're not supposed to sweat heavily yeah, or anything. Yeah. You know, the GTO place to go for that is Turkey, whatever. You can go there and get it done for like $3,000. Exactly. By like yeah. an expert place. I should have gone to Turkey, actually. I think I'd do a better job over there. I, think I might have it done again in the future. Yeah. But, um, well, I'll consider yeah. it. If things get worse for my hair, I'm going to follow you on that one, buddy. Jared, if you need one, let me know. I know the, I know the best dude in, uh, in Turkey, so let me know. All right, sounds good. All, right. All in Alan with a little sneaky check here. Yeah, Dr. H doesn't fall for it. He checks. And oh, Dr. H is going to lose some money here, that's for sure. Yeah. I feel like on these double paired boards, when I have the bottom full house, it's hard for me to lose a ton of money. No, um, but I think Dr. H here, given the, the flop action, is probably going to put Nick uh, all in Allen on um, either the same hand or uh, like an underpair, which is bluffing. Yeah. They were good. True. <laughs> but I think in this spot, I'd probably just go call, call. No, I agree. I call, agree. turn, call, river. But I think he's going to lose a couple thousand. Oh, whatever here. Allen bets he's calling for sure <laughs> not the best river he does have a 10 he goes in the seven. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. That's karma. Uh, our media Mike just does not look happy by the. Uh, Why is it funny? Dr. H is laughing. Yeah, he's he's very annoyed. He's frustrated. 1.3k. All Dr. H can really do here is just flick it in. I actually like the size here rather than like full pot. I actually like the size. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, you could even maybe get a sticky ace high to call you or something. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to make a, I'm going to make up the loosest call. <laughs> not <laughs> it's not that loose. As is a it? boat, yeah. it's gonna make a loose call. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Wow. <laughs>
Dr. H knew it. He says, yeah, I know. Ooh. Sometimes you know and you just can't fold, can you? Yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter if you know because if you fold that and they don't have it, then you yeah. look like a complete idiot, yeah. you know? Even if you've got that little guardian angel in your head just telling you to fold, you just, yeah. you just It's kick, weird because I wish I would just follow that all the time because it's almost always right, yeah, you know? But there's just your brain just can't yeah. wrap its head around it sometimes. It's like, well, no, I, have, mm -hmm. I have a, you know, mm -hmm. I can't fold this. Uh, yeah, it's stupid. It. Yeah, it's true. It down, huh? No one wants to get bluffed today. Mm. You're probably drunk. And I'm drunk. Anybody driving? Don't drive if you guys have been drinking. I'm driving. Uh, <laughs> you drinking, Could Could be a lot of DUIs here, uh, Jared, I think, after the show. <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> we we got the cops watching the stream just to see how many sips everyone's taking. They're waiting <laughs> exactly. outside. Yeah. Don't hurt yourself, Jared. BMW usually? Earl told me he couldn't even have one sip. Yeah, he's very strict about that after he got yeah. that. Uh, he had, he's open about it. He said he had the DUI, and now he has to stay off it 100%. Cause he doesn't want to risk it. Wise, wise decision, I think. Thank you. Good morning. And Peter's been kind of dealt out. He's been so car dead. Yeah. Even Kitty as well. I feel like she's she's been pretty car dead, and uh, she's just kept to like strong ranges. You know, she's played pretty good hands. Yeah. The whole time. And here she's got another good one. The accountant yeah. came in with a limp, but the queen ten suited. Doctor mm -hmm. H getting sticky in the hijack. I feel like the accountant's laying back a bit. He's sitting back a bit in his chair because <laughs> yeah. he, he's, he's unstuck and. Uh, yeah, he's chilling. Like he's just trying to get to the end of the stream at this point. Survive in advance. Oh, well, there's a good flop for him. Check. Dr. H actually out in front right now with a pair of nines. Okay. 525. That's 525. This is a type of board with the, the accountant out of position that you could definitely come in with a check raise. <coughs> um, call's fine too. Check. And he hits the pair of queens on the turn. And should slow Dr. H down. He does check. Check. Huh? Queen. Uh -huh. Four of spades on the river. Careful, Dr. H. I saw your hand. I think uh, accountant definitely could have value bet that river. Uh, Dr. H probably bets turn with a lot of his flush draws. Mm. Um, but I don't mind to check. <coughs> I'll just check. Call's fine. EKO says, I recently shaved my head. It's pointless to hold on. I accepted my fate. <laughs> I kind of feel you on that too. I think it just depends on the situation. Sometimes it's just like, well, no, this is this is unsalvageable. Yeah, but the EKO's shaved head looks right? better. <laughs> yeah, the sh that's what he's saying. Yeah, but the shaved head look is better if if it's beyond saving. I just got a little receding hairline, you know, like it could come down like an inch or two. But I don't know. A lot of enemies. We'll see. Nice. Where's uh, where's Eko from? If you're in the, if you're listening, Eko, let us know where you're from. Come and say hello one day if you're uh, at the commerce. Come and say hi. Yeah, the nice thing I like about this stream is they're showing it on all the TVs at Commerce. That is so really I've gotten cool. some nice comments from people walking nice. around or playing because everybody who's here sees you playing. You yeah. know, so it's kind of fun that way. Yeah. What should we do with this? Do you have a one more? Yeah, there was actually a really nice guy who um, I play at the uh, 510 with. He's actually uh, speech impaired and he actually came up to me and uh, wrote a nice message to me on his phone and showed me and just to say that he uh, saw me playing in the bigger game oh, and just nice. said that, he, that was, he was supporting me. Yeah, he was a really nice chap, actually. Really nice guy. That's amazing. Yeah, that was. Uh, I even got you. T I think you texted me because it was on screen the other day. I got an ace king against aces and I won. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got a few messages on the spot from that from people who are inside the commerce watching it. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? When a big hand goes down like that, you get like a reaction from everybody watching, you know? Yeah, exactly. I've said a thing. Speaking of that, you know what was epic this past summer is they were playing the World Series main event stream on all the screens while yeah. everyone was playing. Yeah. So everyone was watching the action and yeah. it was just, there was a, this electric vibe just because gasps. everybody was so, every, like, there's two tables left in the main and yeah. everybody gets to watch while we play. Mm -hmm. I really loved it. I hope they do that again. Yeah, you know what? Just be, just next to where they have the 5, 10 and 10, 20 tables uh, over on the casino floor, they've actually implemented new uh, screens on the ceiling. They, they haven't, they've put the mounts, they haven't actually put the screens in. Oh, really? And perhaps they're doing that in preparation for the summer or to get people more people aware of of our live stream here, you know? Nice. That's uh, genius. Yeah, I think that's a great idea because uh, I think a lot of people who are just like on their phones or just not like, you know, looking elsewhere while they're playing, I think they're going to have a better chance to see a lot more action. Yeah, um, love that. It, it, it uh, kind of um, 
promotes more interaction at the table with each other too because everybody's talking about the hands and reacting so. to it together instead of just kind of in their own zone yeah you're, you have your own little poles at the table you know is he going to fold yeah, is he going to call exactly. so yeah that's great yeah, yeah. I, I could just get an amazing buzz about the world series of poker and even if i don't know anybody per, per personally that's made yeah. the final table yeah you can just put yourself in their shoes or just sort of like feel it, like man this is so sick like this guy's playing for this much money yeah. the only thing i wish they would do is that the um the world series of poker is like on the final tables is um, you, don't, you don't really get like a, a great view of the actual table. Um, you obviously can't get too close to the table. Yeah. Um, I feel like they should do it in, or maybe like a builder stand where you're able to kind of like have a better overview as a, 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 a as the spectators. As a spectator, yeah, yeah, watching it live, it's not really fun. I mean, it's fun if your friends are there because you're sweating them, but you can't even tell what's happening. Yeah. The only thing that they put on the TV is the actual box where they right. put the flop, turn, and river. Exactly. And, but you uh, really can't see what the action was or who's in the hand or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. That's a shame. I think that that should be really looked at. I don't think that, yeah. I feel like for the last never. however long I've been watching poker, it's never been improved. And, uh, There's got to be a better way for sure. Yeah. Definitely. Previously, when the World Series was at the Rio, yeah. before the advent of live streaming, they would do the taping for it uh, for the main event um, in this Penn and Teller theater, which is more of like raised seating. Yes. So people are like up in the air, and you could, if you're sitting a little higher up, you could see the whole table. I've been in there. I've been in. There. I've been into that theater, and I think that would be a great idea. Yeah. It's something yeah. that we could maybe building chat some about. kind of grandstand for the main, but it's such a big thing to, to just throw up there and build, you know? Like a week. They're really not in it for the live viewers. They're trying to get the people watching them, you know, to have a good experience on, on stream. Yeah, I think they actually had a stand like that in, like, Fort Lauderdale, in, like, a Seminole. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you been there? Yep. Yeah, yeah I've seen that. exactly what you're talking about. Very light. Right, how long we got left to the stream, Jared? How long's left? We've got about 20 minutes left, so okay. we'll see if Dr. H can continue his run. He's got a nice stack formation there. Yep. Yeah. It's, like, very even. Does he want to... Uh, does he want to dive back into yeah, it? For the that's last the 20 problem. Minutes? Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. You know, my buddy Fausto always talks about the knit stacks at the table. You see somebody, they've got their chips. I know who you're talking they're all about. in a line. They're lined up perfectly. Uh -huh. Okay, this is not the man that uh, that you want to be calling uh, calling off against. Yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out to Fausto. He's a lovely guy. And um, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I've seen his Instagram stories where he yeah. um, searches for knit stacks out in the tournament world. Yeah, he or likes the world. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. If they're all in a line, they never bluff apparently yes I mean I think that's a pretty accurate read I once said that about somebody who was wearing a uh, mask during COVID or just post-COVID yes. and uh, I folded and guess what they bluffed me so yeah. you never, you never, you, never, you can never be too like, sure yeah it's hard to say I feel like in general like after all the mask bans were lifted if someone was wearing a mask you could you could assume at first that they're probably on the conservative side. Yes. But I've sure. seen some mask wearers that are uh, full-blown psychos. So yeah, yeah. some yeah. people are just germaphobes, you know, or they have yeah. a condition or whatever. But uh, yeah, I agree. that's yeah. a good read. Or like the chips are a good read. Mm -hmm. Somebody who's uh, got their big chips stacked and like in a tournament, especially they got the betting chips underneath other chips. So every yes. time they have to bet, they have to remove chips, Correct. do a whole maneuver. They're probably Correct. not playing too many hands. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, we've got 20 minutes left. Hopefully, we're going to see another big pot or two or three uh, before the end of the day. But uh, I guess a lot of the time, it takes two people to have a, like a really, really strong holding for uh, for all the money to go in, right? So Yeah, or, or somebody very aggressive yeah. willing to bluff it off. Yeah, yeah. And I think Turbo's the, a good fit for that in this, this game, but he's already kind of yeah. stuck enough. Yeah, Dr. Ace is really a six here. Yeah. He was ahead with six eye. Might be good, yeah. Doctor. It hasn't necessarily been that kind of show, but uh, you never know. Things can change, you know. Poker, anything can happen. Yeah, especially the last little bit when the stream's about to end. Some mm -hmm. people who are stuck or even, like you said, are like, I, I got to make a move. I want to win. Yeah. You know? maybe, maybe, maybe someone's going to think, oh, they'll never, make, they'll never put me on a bluff now. There's only five minutes to go. So yes. I don't know. You know? I, wanna, I wanna pay that guy. I had a, that happened to me versus Harry last year yeah. on stream. Yeah. I was up 38k in the game, mm -hmm. we had a and I didn't realize this stream ended and they dealt us one more hand we were going to be done we played the hand yeah. me. so i have ace king i raise lynn three bets harry cold three bets from the small blind yeah harry cold calls in the big blind mm -hmm. so i four bet you squeeze yep good lynn folds and harry just calls again yeah and the flop comes ace jack jack with two clubs and i have ace king and right. harry just opened shoves for like 15k <laughs> there's like 12k in the yeah. pot and harry just opened shoves uh -huh. so obviously he never has a jack you know yeah. not just open jamming so i called he had king ten of clubs yeah ace jack jack two clubs and just yeah. turn the turn the straight 
I was up 38k and I ended up winning 7k in the oh, game Jesus on the one Christ. hand. It wasn't even on the stream. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. And Harry was doing that. Like he, he cold called my four bet because of that that same thing. Is like oh, I want to win a big hand before the game's over. Exactly, yeah. When you wish you could just take the last five minutes back. You know, yeah, and he usually runs it twice. Even we get it in. He's like I'm only running once this time, Jared. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, so GG to my thirty thousand yeah. dollars. So it sounds like EKO, who's been in the chat with us today, sounds like he's from uh, Orange County, California, he says. So, nice. Yeah, I know um, Commerce isn't necessarily the closest casino, but uh, it's definitely the one with the most action. Yeah, so, it's not uh, too bad. I used to live in Orange County. Yeah, it was about 30, 40 minute drive. Yeah, so at bad. worst. Okay. That's the thing. I live, I live in L.A. now, and like when there's no traffic, it takes me 25 minutes. But if there is traffic, it takes me an hour and 20 minutes. I played. Nice. From OC, yeah. even if you leave during a bad time, it's 45, 50 minutes right. stop. Okay. Because I was paying. Well, anyone in the chat should come say hi. So, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Sure. yeah, come out here. And like I said, if you're a cash game player, it makes no sense to be playing anywhere else besides the commerce this month. I agree. The games are really good. So if you're playing 5-5, five, 5-10, five, five, mm -hmm. limit, whatever, yeah. you know, it's, it's $600,000 free roll. Yeah, this promotion is incredible. They're giving away six hundred thousand dollars in um, in tournament entries and spending money, etc., etc. We're on the seventeenth of April. We've still got thirteen, fourteen days remaining of the month. Yeah, you can. Get hundred hours is definitely doable. So, uh, you know. no doubt. This this one guy, he hit he hit the hundred hours in uh, nine days. I saw a picture. He's the first one to hit it. Exactly. <laughs> Lives at the casino basically. But. Yeah, you never know what can happen. So come down, play some play some cash, try and get your hundred hours in uh, free roll tournament here at the Commerce on the fifth of May. So Turbo, you and, have um, a Thanks. Yeah, you never know. You could be off to could be off to Vegas playing the main event. The big myself. Where's the big? <laughs> I've been looking for the big. Who's the big? Three bet pot here. Nick's gonna three bet the ace king. Alan with pocket sevens. I don't give it anyone money at the table. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Expect to continue here. No, he folds. Break even. Why you do that, right? No, I don't want to lose the bet. Yeah. Pocket sevens. there, probably got to continue there. So three bet. Especially Nick. Nick's three bet ten seven suited. He's three bet a bunch of. Yeah. Yeah. Bunch of loose hands. So. Yeah, I think Nick's probably the loosest in terms of the three bets today, right? Yeah, a hundred percent. So. Make sure, again, you guys tune in tomorrow. Hope to see you guys there for this uh, action game, 25-50-100. It's going to be a fun one. We're lucky, yeah. yeah we're lucky, guys. So count your blessings. Did you win in there in Haslo? Did you win in there? Overall? No, no. But I'm, I'm in Korea. So. Oh, uh, Dr. H is a winner over here, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> no? I also lost. I lost three sessions in the row. <laughs> yeah. Mama, you're lucky charmer. Huh? <laughs> Every time you win. Well, Kitty's Dr. H's lucky charm. Or lucky charmer, as she said. Because today, I determined I want to win. Ah, you were determined to win. I, the next time, I I'm going to be change. determined. I, I changed. I can see that. Dr. H is on his A game today. I stream back her uh, because that's my decision. She will okay. fold. She will fold. It's almost done. You can tell me the first thing you fold but. 4800, what you have? Oh, HP. Yeah, I guess. Oh, they're talking about the uh, first hand of uh, yeah, the show when Key just arrived, yeah. yeah. The worst case here, yeah, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think that hand would have played out any differently had Kitty either been stuck or maybe if it was later on during the show? Do you think she would have played that differently? Kitty's pretty solid. I don't think she tilts too hard. And, and it's like she said, like Dr. H four betting is a yeah. pretty dicey situation. Yeah. You don't have it. You, you are, I'm the button. You're under the gun. So Armenian and Mike here with top pair, accountant with a straight draw and a flush draw. Oh, are you? We're losing to doctor. <laughs> he thinks he's playing chess over here. I, I cannot remember. All you raise, you call. I raise on the oh. button. That's you, why they better play it. They don't remember. Kitty, that's why you are young. I, I told her for that. Mike makes the like call. Two hands ago, I told her for that. Hey, you are in the Nick gets out of the way, and we're going to go to the turn. You horrible. Why? Why you should make it so big? You should just make it 3K. Okay? And there's the flush for the accountant. Making his comeback. Oh, Mike's got top two. Yeah, oh, oh my no. gosh, I didn't even realize. <laughs> and Armenian Mike, he just oh, did that man. little move. Did you see? He almost did a little joke. Yeah, the pump, he's the like, pump fake. Bet. Yeah, yeah the, the pump bet. fake, yeah. But all the time, that means that he's actually hasn't got much of a, a, a good it hand. It can be, that. or it, it can be he just wants. He wants to see the river. Yeah, he wants a check. I mean, the worst case, you have a. Accountant just bets a thousand. Yeah, With a flush yeah, like this, good. probably could have bet a little bigger, but. Yeah, exactly. Now he's not going to Now he's not gonna be able to stack Mike. Ooh. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, Mike went all Mike in. shipped it. Wow. 
Not Armenian Mike's day. Yeah, I feel like with Armenian Mike, he doesn't really bluff much, but he just does things impulsively. Yeah, you know? He's not exactly. really a bluff. He's not really sure whether it's a bluff or, or, or a value bet. Exactly. He's yeah. just like, doesn't want to do, so he's just like, oh, I'll just stick it in there. Yeah. Like with the pocket eights earlier on Correct. like the king 6-6. Yeah. Six, six. No, a lot of recreational players tend to play their hands like that. When they're scared of facing a bet themselves, they tend to just bet themselves, if that right. makes sense. Yeah. yeah, but I mean... Mike's had enough. His hand is very good. Like he, he could have just shoved turn after the thousand dollar bet, honestly, because top two yeah. pair there mm -hmm. with his stack size is, mm -hmm. is pretty strong. But yeah. no well, someone actually asked in the chat about ten minutes ago if uh, Mike had played any hands since he doubled up with uh, pocket aces, but he's definitely played now. That's there for sure. You go. That's all it takes, Got folks. Stacks. That's all it takes. Yeah. Get on stock. Yeah, of course. He's up now. Oh wow. Yeah. Opposite fulfilled. Accountant is up money now after One that. I think he's up 5K. Come on the Sitting accountant. Sitting on 25.7. Come on the accountant. Just dusted off three 5K bullets real quick, and then on his last 5K, spun it all the way back. You love to see it. Say it again. Mike. 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 And that's all she wrote for Armenian Mike. How long we had? How much did Mike lose in the, in the game? Do you know? My wager is 15K. 15? Maybe 10. Mike. Do you know what Mike does for a living? No idea. No idea? I assume retired, but I don't know what he used to do. Uh, give it to Wayne. Wayne no, no, he's right there. You have more chips left, Mike. Shout out to the Armenians, though. I have a lot of Armenian friends. Played in a lot of uh, mm -hmm. private games like with them during COVID. Yeah. They're a, a unique culture. I really, they really stick together. Mm -hmm. You know, they always support each other. That I agree with. They, they, definitely they won't stick be messed around sure. with. Oh, I agree. You know, I agree. They're not to be trifled with. Mm -hmm. no, but not, if they're friends with you, yeah, you know, they'll, they're loyal. They're very, very loyal and lovely awesome people. people. No, I agree. Yeah. I totally agree. Yeah, from my experience of, uh, they don't have many Albanians in in London actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, they tend to have a, a bigger sort of Albanian culture. I see. Um, yeah, Armenia, uh, Armenia, LA is by far the number one spot for Armenians outside of Armenia. There's more Armenians here than anywhere else. Yeah. A bunch of them emigrated here uh, yeah. 100 years ago. Oh, I agree. They love they love their country. They love where they came from. And um, you're right. They actually uh, do support right one another. They have each other's backs for sure. So much so that even when they're playing poker together, they get heads up in pots and they just check it down. They actually do. Just have an agreement like we're always checking it down when we're together. Yeah, I've got a couple of Armenian friends. Shout out to Harry and Shara. Who play the 510 yeah. game uh, with me uh, fairly often. And uh, yeah, they're, they're great guys. They're really nice. They come to play every day, they battle, but they uh, they never rub anyone up the wrong way. They're always very humble, so yeah, shout out to them. Nick here with the pocket tens. So you are local, right? And Peter it hasn't really been his day as far as cards go. He's still up 10K. Yeah, I can't ever see Peter folding here. Yeah. Sure. Right, come on. I mean, the game's about to end. I feel like he knows he's beat, but he just... He wants it's the, he just wants a pretty the, hand that yeah. you can make a lot of hands with and, and potentially get Nick off of. Yeah. yeah. So you live like Peter might be thinking of <laughs> more than just calling here based on this. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, no, he's he's just, he's, go. Yeah, he just knows. He just knows. No, not respect. I, I don't feel that's, that's... Yeah, I think if we were in a different game, for example, the game Peter played on Sunday, yeah. literally never folding that to a three bet. 100%, yeah. Especially when double A does this with 6-3 of diamonds, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. And, you know, kudos to him. He was uh, pretty far behind there, but... Well, Peter's actually had a couple spots today pre-flop where he could have gone for the more aggressive option, but uh, as it turns out, he's, um, he's kind of made the right decisions up. Yeah. Than the one where uh, all in Allen uh, three bet the queen ten off from the from the big blind. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But that. Yeah. It's big blind three betting, especially for less experienced players. If someone three bets from the big blind, they're usually very strong. I agree. In general, most players are extremely well, unbalanced three, uh, three betting. Who's your coach? Who's your coach? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the Olvin's raised to one hundred and ten dollars pre flop, and uh, Peter said, "Who's your coach? Who's your coach?" So, yeah. Yeah. On the internet. Yeah. 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 Two point two. <laughs> 1.1x. 110 not allowed, so this guy's milk. made it 150. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like a guy at the 2040 who raises to 90. Yes. Everyone gives him a load of shit. It's like, why don't you put 100 dude? bucks in, man? Yes. When everyone calls, the dealer that has to like, get change and give it to everyone. It just takes takes more time. Actually, can I get the hard... Oh, look at the accountant. Come on, the accountant. All right. <laughs> Mission get unstuck no, is, is well underway and beyond. I want to see this check through and there'll be an ace or a queen or a king or a jack or 10. Well, Nick has top pair. When? Thank you. <laughs> so somebody's already got something. And yeah, I, th I think... Uh, well, Nick's got Nick's got top pair. The accountant's just coming in with the smooth call. I like it. bet 400. I see. Turbo bet 400. Turbo, turbo. Yeah. yeah. 
-hmm. Not a great board to bet on with like six handed with ace queen, but mm -hmm. understandable. Mm -hmm. And on the on the turn, probably gonna check through. Okay, we need an ace or a queen for some blood or jack. Ace or a queen for some blood oh, or jack. Oh Turbo. He just Turbo. can't help himself, can he? Yeah, it's like I said, he's stuck. The show's about to end. He wants to make something happen, and I don't blame him, man. And then candy? No candy? Yeah, of course. Okay, here we go. Sashimi, have you ever played her? No, never. Six of clubs on the river. Okay. You think Turbo's going to go for it? Nah, he gave up. Oh. He figured it out. We, no comment. Ship it to the accountant. Okay. Yeah, after he's bet turn, like, and, and then called again by this guy, like, we're not getting a, a, a fold on the river. Wait, what odds would you have given the accountant to be, like, a 10K plus winner in this game after the first, <laughs> yeah, like, hour? It's insane. It's man. insane. Yeah, I would give him, like, 2%. Yeah, but it wasn't even the fact that he was stuck. It was the fact that he was, like, gambling quite yes, heavily. He wasn't exactly. playing particularly well. Yeah, and then... he was stealing a lot. Yeah, exactly. No, that's me. No. Confusion. Oh, really? Oh. All right, we got a few hands left, boys and girls. Let's see if we can get another spicy one. Appreciate you guys joining us today. It's been a fun show. A lot of fun hands. A few memorable ones. And also, everybody in this game is really likable. I like everybody here. They're all fun players. All really nice to be around. Boss. Shout out to Dr. H. She's a boss. She's a state, yeah. Crusher. Fucking soul reader. Fearless. Really important. Yeah, speaking of comebacks, it was I got it wrong. It was Tan last week who, who won 30K right off the bat, and it was Andrew who, who got stabbed. Oh, Andrew was the guy. He had okay. a straight draw flush draw. Tan had top set. They got yeah. it in. He lost. Yeah. Down 30K. He came all the way back and won 30K. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, and also Lin Ling. We got Hank the Tank. We got Brad Owen in the, in the chat. Who's the famous Brad Owen. China. Is that him? Shout out to Brad Owen. Yeah. Brad seems to, Brad seems to know uh, Soina in the chat, who's uh, a big fan of Olvin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who are you talking more? Yeah, I saw her. She's supporting Olvin big time. Hopefully, hopefully he can get a seat again, again in the game at some point. Yeah. Not, not get stacked with aces, hopefully. Yeah, exactly. Soina's basically saying that Olvin uh, is usually a lot more action than, than he was today, and he was uh, just very, very carded. I, I, I kind of agree. Yeah, and after you lose that hand with aces, it, it I'm kinda... the only one calling right? <laughs> Uh, pokes a hole and everything and kind of deflates you, so <laughs> sometimes that happens. Yeah. So Nick here with Ace King, he's got top top. I mean, they all fly. Alan, they all fly. Got a mystery hand. I'm not joking around with you. Mm -hmm. I'm the person who always call your face. Three bet pot here. No problem. Okay, everyone so, fish. You can Kitty. call me Shun. <laughs> That's fine. Kitty, everyone fish. That's okay. No. I just feel. Now I can make one comment. Yeah. You know, it's free country. I think you can. <laughs> you, you need to mix up a little. No. Ah! <laughs> so how much would you charge Kitty to both her? <laughs> oh, it, all in Alan's got the mystery hand, right? Yeah, he does, and he's just check raised here. Hi, right? Three bet pot. Oh, see, she's very consistent. With a decision here with top top. Yes, yeah, he can make money, but not. So he's just gonna call, or is he gonna go with it? <laughs> Surely Nick just goes all in. Yeah, with his stack size, kind of has to, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, let's call it. Shoves it in. All in Alan's not snaps. Snap, yeah. so. right. Ace King definitely the best hand. Alan likely has some kind of straight draw combo, flush draw. Must not be too strong either, because if he had like the nut flush draw here, he would probably have to call it off. <laughs> we'll never know, but nice hand, Nick. Yeah, it would have been nice to see uh, All in Alan with like Queen Jack of Diamonds or something yeah, there. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's not clear we, want, we want blood. Talk around and find out. Talk around and find out, brother. It can't be blood every time. Sometimes the card distribution just doesn't allow it to happen, you know? Indeed. EKO says, I wonder what the H in Dr. H stands for. Dr. Hernandez. <laughs> Good one. H is his last name, but it's, uh, I think it's Wang. Something along those lines. Yeah, I don't think it's Hernandez, do you? Hernandez, uh, that's a bad read there. <laughs> if it's Olvin's surname, I can get a uh, last yeah, name. Yeah, that get one I believe. It. Yeah. So Dr. Hernandez here got ace, deuce of diamonds. <laughs> and all in Allen. All right, with the tilt three bet. Yeah, he's got a real hand, though. He's got a good hand. Olvin in the big now with ace 10 off. Again, we got like a couple more hands left, so these people see a hand like this and like, man... 
is my chance. I could win a hand here. Should I call? Does let it go wisely, I believe. Dr. H uh, is going to stick around. Right. Now this is this could be it. This could be the one. Yeah. With a we'll little four space uh, on the turn. Dr. H is raising this flop, especially with this small sizing. If he goes, if he goes kind of like three, four X, then we could probably see a float from uh, All In Allen, right? Yeah, we could. Um, I think a lot of players would do that. My my money is on a fold, but yeah, he's gone what twelve hundred or a thousand? Twelve hundred, yeah, three X. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Ace and of Spades can easily continue here. Yeah, All In Allen is never folding for you know, especially after the last time where he's check raised and folded. I can't ever see him folding for eight hundred. Yeah, more. I mean, it just depends on what he thinks of Doctor H. Probably hasn't played with him much before. Has made some tight folds so far, but there you go. There's the call. Makes the call. All right, what do we want to see? Four of spades, queen of spades, jack of spades. Four of spades for Max Payne. There we go. Oh. Eight of spades. Interesting turn card now. Doctor H out of position. But he's got so many outs. Straight end flush draw. Looks like he wants to bet again. Is that 2,000? More, I think. 1800. Oh, less, 1,800. 82. Thought it was like 23, but it is 1,800. Now, Allen has the nut flush draw. Here's what I want to see. I want to see Allen call and then a brick river. See if Dr. H can pull the trigger. Mm. Dr. H didn't bluff the last one, did he, against the accountant? It's no. slightly different pot, but... Uh, yeah, once he gets called flop and turn, I think he does give up a decent amount on the rivers. But... Got five. Let's see if Alan uh, five, five does call. Four. Maybe, he, maybe he wants to raise it up. I think call is definitely uh, the most standard thing here. We have so much equity. I don't know. We start with five. Could be up against some really strong hands. I think the river's going to be interesting regardless of what card comes because either Dr. H is going to bluff or uh, Alan could get there. Yeah. I'll buy for $5,000. Or if it's a brick and Dr. H gives up, out does it? Shoves. Wow. 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 Alan is all in here with, this, with the nut flush draw. Dr. H with the straight draw and the nut flush draw as well. And this is just a gross oh, spot for Dr. H. It's That's, such a big shove. Yeah, it's very frustrating if you're Dr. H, right? Yeah, I don't think he can call, really. No. And kudos to Allen Allen for, for, you know, oh, like 15, five. making this play at the right time. I think Dr. H could easily have some sets here. Some King X. But he also has straight draw, flush draw. We know this is a three bet pot already, so kind of condenses the hands down a little bit more. But yeah, nice play here by Allen. I, I do believe Dr. H is going to fold. One thing I'm hoping we get from the DOJ soon is the approval to run it twice, because I think people make loose calls more often, knowing uh, that they can run it twice. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I, I tend to always just run it once. Uh, like I said earlier, I think it's just for the dynamic of the game. I think it's yeah, I, I defer to the other player typically, mm -hmm. especially if, if they're recreational players, let them do what they want to do. Yeah, I think but I just saw in the... Saying, um, if they know you're running it twice all the time and they have a draw... Yeah. They're like, I'm going to get there on one of the two, I call. Exactly, yeah, that's exactly the way they think. But the equities are the, the same, same, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Of I'm um, just saying that that uh, perception, you know. GG moment, one of the last hands of the night. We got a big one, 21K in the pot. Dr. H needs to call 14K here. He's got 28% equity. <laughs> I don't know how important this is, but Dr. H has run out of time banks at this point. So oh, no, I has think, he? I think he's basically got um, about a minute left. Yeah. He's got a minute left to think in time and if no more time. If they enforce the rules, if the time runs out and he hasn't acted, his hand's dead. Yeah. Yeah. 
Dr. H uh, the kind of guy who wants to gamble, even if he's not necessarily getting the right price with this kind of hand, do you think? On the flop, yeah, on the turn here, I that think. That guy really needs a teacher. <laughs> He says what? He says he really oh, needs a teacher for this one. He's a teacher. He's asking he if he can phone a friend. Yeah. He's folded it and he's thrown it over to Kitty for her for her him. seal of Private. approval. I know, I know it's this Private. hand. I know oh. when you bet this hand with him. I think it's a good fold from Dr. H. He's not really getting the right price there. Thank you. And really good fold. Yeah. You know. Alan, Alan's hands seems so strong, but sick play by him. He yeah, did have the best hand, but but just it's unclear, and, and it's hard to say what's going to happen on the river if you miss. So taking the initiative there and jamming. Yeah, I like it. That was a really fun play to, end, uh, to, to nearly end the stream, right? There's yeah, few, few I think that was it. So really nice hand to end the stream, actually. Would have been fun if Dr. H called, but uh, I think he made the right play. So well done, Dr. H. There's your stacks. Yeah. The accountant coming in strong, highest VPIP in the game, followed closely by Nick. And we'll see here, but I believe the accountant booked a win after being stuck. Come on, I want to see the accountant with a, with a, with a $10,000 win. The accountant, 11.2K. That's incredible, <laughs> man. Yeah. It was just down piles. Yeah. Big winner is still Dr. H. Could have been the huge winner if he called and won that, but mm -hmm. he would have actually been a loser if he called and lost. So. Yep. Yeah. dynamic there but thank you guys so much for joining us it's been awesome this is jared griner joined by paul heiser this has been bally's presents live at the commerce we'll see you guys tomorrow at 3 p.m see you again soon take care guys thanks for tuning in take Later. care bye